everybody. I have been missing for a short while because I was in the hospital. And uh, I think I want to do a proper thank you video tomorrow to, uh, especially to Kinder Spirit and to all the birdies uh, that watch our channel and send me their love and prayers, especially Elizabeth and Sheila. And of course, Robert Woods and Roby. And our hearts go to Rachel. Uh, uh, Rachel was, had a, had a, Post fire, according to a video I listened to from Ruth, and I almost felt wrong coming on here and talking about my surgery, knowing what my friend was going through on the other side of the world. But um, I'm out of the hospital now. I have a few few bandages on me, and uh, I just wanted to thank everyone for their love. And I was hoping maybe tomorrow to do a better um, a better story time video because there's lots of stories to tell. And I just, oh, we have a visitor. Want to come see everyone? Here's Diego. Diego the Digin. So I'm here with Diego the Digin. He just gave me a kiss. Um, we got laughing doves here. And uh, I have a deck of tarot. I have the tarot familiars and I have the divine feather oracle. So if anyone stops by, we can um, do a reading. But this was just, I'm just sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm in bed. And um, long story short, I'll give the longer version when I'm a little bit more um, myself. But uh, when they brought me to the hospital, my bad body mass index was too low. So they couldn't give me full sedation. So they had to give me partial sedation. And they still did their biopsy. So I was awake for it and I screamed three times and it was very painful. But I was so grateful because of the fact that during this time where medical health is really scarce, um, I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to have the operation. And the professionals I had yesterday were absolutely amazing. And they took great care of me. A nurse dropped me home. But uh, all the funny stories and stuff, I'll probably save till uh, I'll, I'll film a video uh, tomorrow when I'm just a little bit more myself. I'm still kind of like in pain and holding my side, like, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm very happy to be home with the birdies. And uh, oh, that's my glaucoma eye. <laughs> See, my doves think I'm funny. At least someone does. But uh, I, I didn't tell anyone I was going to go live, so I don't know if we're going to get any visitors. I'm hoping we're going to get someone, uh, one of our regular broody reviewers, so I can say hello and thank you. And uh, I do have a very special uh, mail from Australia. Uh, it's from a new Australia birdie viewer, so not Eileen this time. And uh, I want to open that up on the... Uh, uh, tomorrow when I do a proper thank you. I'm just kind of out of it right now and I just wanted, I, I just felt like I wanted to be with my flock and that is you guys, anyone who watches and I just want to express gratitude and thank you and just how amazing things are and you know, the thing is, is like when the doctor says you can't put you under because your body mass index, I've been on a liquid diet now for five months Um. I have digestive issues with my pancreas and, and tumors and my bowel. And um, it's a blessing because that means if you put me under, that means they may not be able to bring me back. So it's like you have to say, like, okay, he couldn't put me under. But, oh, well, the benefit is, is I'm still here today to make a video. And he was very impressed with my tolerance to pain, although I did screen three times. I'm not like a little girl, too. I somehow... I, I'm so feminine, little and Alice in Wonderland, like in my real world of pixies and elves and leprechauns and unicorns. But, um, you know, I have a high threshold of pain. And uh, I also, um, I, I tend to scream like a man. <laughs> like, a, like a lion. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I did it. I'm really proud of myself that I was to do that. But I didn't do it myself. I did that with the love, light, and prayers of everybody who sent their love my way. So again, I will do a proper thank you video in the morning. And um, when I'm like showered up a bit, like I'm too sore to move right now. So I just wanted to stay stationary. And uh, I have two decks of cards here. I have a, a, um, 
I have the Tarot for Minnows, which is one of my favorite decks, and uh, the Divine Feather Oracle. Oh, Diego's purring. Now, I also have, have some very special news. Um, Diego is a Dijon. And a Dijon is, uh, he, all my birds are rescue birds or ups babies. And Diego's father is a great big giant peace pigeon named Sunshine who has appeared on our channel. And he married a little tiny uh, Eurasian black collar dove who also appeared on our channel named Pumpkin. And they had Diego. And Diego is half pigeon who is like is bigger than my African gray, like wedding release pigeon. Uh, he's white with blue eyes. And one pigeon, or one little dove, who is a little black collar Eurasian dove. So she's gray and she's white and she's beige. And this is their son. He was born April 9th this year. He has a pink tummy, but he has a lot of white, a lot of black. And um, his beautiful amber eyes, which you probably can't see in his lighting. And uh, they're supposed to be sterile digits. So half pigeon, half dove is called a digit. But he got married to a dove named Angel, who was a pure white uh, laughing dove. And she's about four years old. And uh, they have a baby that's due to hatch any day now. So uh, I have an ultrasound, which I will post of the baby inside the eggshell. I'm moving around and kicking. You can see the heartbeat. You can see the, the, the outline of the baby. So it's like a birdie ultrasound. If you have eggs at home, please don't do it unless you've been a trained professional. Uh, don't do that at home. I mean, I worked with uh, endangered animals in Africa and South America, and I'm, I was trained um, with by avian vets and avian doctors uh, in animal rehab. So I don't do not do that to your own eggs at home. But if you are a trained professional, then so I will share that video with you because it's so beautiful. Uh, but we have someone here now, and it's uh, CA8620. Hi, I really have security issues. I'm worried about going to jail. Since my mom tried to escape, I cannot sleep, not think. I cannot talk to someone I know. May I ask without prejudice? Yes, you most certainly may ask without prejudice. The only thing, though, if you're in harm's way or anything like that, we have to make sure you get to the proper help, okay? Um, security issues to me sound like we need the police or someone or a woman's shelter to keep you safe. Um, were you worried about going to jail so I'm trying to escape? I cannot sleep or not think. I am a tarot reader, but I'm not a regular tarot reader. I'm the type of tarot reader that gives you encouragement and love and light and prayer and hope. I'm not the kind that, you know, has a crystal ball and, and wants stuff. I have two women in a cage in my house, and they will escape soon. Do not worry. I see. Okay. Well, I really, really wish Liz was here because Liz um, is a great friend of mine, and she rescues skunks and possums and squirrels and all. She sends me the most beautiful photos, and she would have something to say Um with our lovely viewer here who keeps women in cages. I have to be honest, I don't even keep my birds in cages. My birds are in aviaries, so I wouldn't have anyone. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's something. That's called trolling. So in some ways, you know you've made it on the internet when you seek a troll's attention. But uh, the more you, know, you feed a troll, the more they go. But still at the same time, that is an interaction. Um, I, I recommend uh, calling the authorities and, uh, you know, your security issues. If, if you're having women in cages, perhaps um, you belong in a cage yourself uh, at the local uh, police station. So whether it be your federal penitentiary or uh, a jail, I think it's leaning towards federal from the crimes you're expecting. And, uh, you know, we don't believe in shaming anyone, whether someone is prostitutes or not. They're, we love everyone. Everyone deserves respect. And that's no reason why to harm someone. And uh, so I, I wish you luck, but you definitely need the care of a mental health professional, which I, I it's not an insult. Uh, but uh, if, in fact, you're sincere, please call 911 and uh, invite a nice policeman over and they will help you with your problem. So 
Yes, troll. I had a few. Some of them are funny and more creative than that, though. I like the ones that make me laugh. That one didn't make me laugh at all. Hi, Leo Sign. How are you? Are you new to the channel? Or Gazelle Tarot? We've been online about two years now. And I'm here with my Dijon. Oh, you're doing fine. Wonderful. Would you like me to do an oracle card for you? Or do you have a question? You like an oracle card? Okay, we a divine feather. Is there any question you'd like to ask? I'm getting my eye styled by Diego here. I just got out of the hospital, so that's why I look sort of kind of rough. So I'm sorry, guys. Your next week? Okay, what's your next week is going to be like? And you'd like an oracle card, or would you like tarot? I have both. We have tarot familiars or oracle card. Seems to me, if you're asking about your week, you might want tarot, because I'll have more to say. Sure, definitely glad with Donna. What's best? Um, how about for you, we'll do both, Leo. Leo, sign, we're going to read three tarot, and then we're going to draw an oracle card, and then we're going to do Black Madonna, okay? So that's the order of things. And hopefully Liz will show up. She's our monitor and takes care of, 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 of pesky trolls. We just kid around with our trolls here. We're never mean to them. They're just people trying to have fun, too. But Hi, Zara. How are you? So right now we're going to be reading for Leo. Uh, about uh, the next week, and then we're going to talk to Black Madonna, and then we're going to talk to Tara. Zara, beautiful name, by the way. So this is for Leo. It's next week, and we're going to have three cards pop out. We had one. This is the Black Cat Familiar uh, Tarot deck. We're just here. Um, I'm recovering from surgery, and I just thought it'd be fun to spend my evening with you, getting your energy here for next week for uh, Leo sign. Okay. What do we have for you? Oh. Okay. Hopefully you can see these cards. I'll try to bring them so you can. We have uh, the Hermit card. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the King of Swords. So what I see for you is that um, you're going to have a potential love interest. You're going to have uh, or something that attracts you. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be a hobby that really excites you or an idea that you're really in love with. And the whole idea to that is you're going to get really enthusiastic about it. But then you're going to start doting yourself. And then the King of Swords comes along. And that's what he, he wants precision. So you're struggling between the idea, the, that, that, that cusp, you know, where there's dreamers and doers. That's a slogan on the Nova Scotia license plate in, the, in Canada, in the province of Nova Scotia. And you're struggling next week between doing things and dreaming things. So now, because you have to make, when your hopes turn to plans. Remember, do you know that, are you young enough or, or is you're old enough to remember that song, song by Shakira? And she has a beautiful, there's a very beautiful lyrics in it. She says, when you're, um, Lex, hi Lex. We'll add you to the list. Um, where she says, you know, where you turn uh, your hopes into plans, you know, when, when your dreams actually, you have to do something. You can't just have your dream. Yes, definitely, Mac G. You're, you're, you're on the list. Right now, we're reading uh, for Leo Sign, and then we have uh, Black Madonna, then Zara, and Lex, and then Mac. And we're doing, uh, right now, we're doing Leo Signs next week. So you're going to be caught between, thank you, thank you, Mac G, for joining us. And also, welcome to subscribe to our Gazelle Tarot. I just got out of surgery. I just got home from my hospital, so I have some IV hold on me. And um, so normally, I don't look this rough, but I just wanted to uh, spend my evening with you as I recover. And uh, um, I also have a daily tarot channel. I'd love for you to join and support. And uh, we have a community of uh, lovely people that just that support each other with love and prayer. That's all we do. That's we're not, we're light workers where we don't, we just embrace the world. So I'm very, very, very honored of everyone in our uh, community. So, so back to you, uh, Leo Sign. You're going to have an idea that you want to become a reality. 
and you're going to start doting yourself on how you're going to make that happen. You're going to say, I'm not good enough. You're going to say, oh, I don't have the resources or the timing's not right. And you're going to be discerning this. And so you're going to withdraw a little bit next week with the hermit card. And, um, and that's a beautiful little hermit, the kitty cat looking out the window. So that's you like that lonely looking out the window with the, with, at the candle, just thinking about it and discerning it. But uh, we're going to look at the Oracle's card to see what happens. But I, I know for myself, different times I get really, really good ideas and I don't know if I have what it takes to make it happen or not. And that's what's going to be going on for you next week. You know, you have this idea, but the King of Swords is saying being realistic and the King or the Knight of Cups is saying be all dreamy and everything. Everything's possible. And my dad used to say you can do anything you want, but not everything. So sometimes you you might be asked next week to pick a priority in which you have to, you can't do everything. I mean you can't you can't go for ice cream with one friend and then go for for supper at the same time with another friend or you know you can't you know so you, I don't have a silly example but I mean you can't study to be a rocket scientist and be a stay at home mom of eight kids. Like, there's no way that it, at, in tandem you can't do it. You can do one and then the other, but not at the same time. So I see you at uh, priority. Exactly. You have to make up next week. You're going to have to realize your priorities. And with the Oracle card, it'll give us a little more idea of what, what we're going to, what we're talking about when we talk about our priorities you might be facing. So this is the feather divine. I really like the feather divine as a bird rescuer. So please like uh, our video if you are enjoying your time here. And also please subscribe to Gazelle Tarot. We very much appreciate that. We are unmonetized. We don't, I don't like the currency of money. I work for the currency of love and prayers and hope. And uh, just support for each other when we're down and we're happy. So if you have a happy something to express, you can come to my channel. If you're sad, you come to my channel. And you're allowed to be sad. Acknowledge your emotions. Never bury your emotions. So what priority does Leo sign? Oh, thank you, Mac. Thank you. And that's the tail of a digit. If you see the little tail come across the top of the screen, it's a birdie. So priority for Leo sign next week, please. We have the loon. And the loon says, pay attention to your dream time. Ooh, message of guidance is drifting in. So let's check to see what the Oracle book has to say. So this really fits your reading very well because it says check the amount of time you're dreaming. Because I am a dreamer. I love to daydream and plan. And then when it comes to execute that, sometimes I just get so distracted with another dream. So maybe that's where you're at too. The message of our, your oracle card is follow, is as follows a Leo sign. The feather message encourages you to pay attention to your dreams. Dreams are an extension of the unseen worlds, whether they be your subconscious mind or from many realms beyond the physical world. With the presence of the loon, your dreams may seem more colorful and filled with more symbolism and messages. Keep a dream journal to record what you're experiencing. Your dreams may be calling your attention to certain sorts of situations and giving you valuable input. Now is the time to listen and be aware. Your energies are dreams, messages, and consciousness. Very interesting indeed. So uh, are, are you a dreamer? Do you remember your dreams? Yes, certainly, uh, Destiny. Uh, we'd love to give you a reading. We have a few people ahead of you. We're, we're on Leo's sign right now. And uh, so we're asking Leo, you think so? You think so? Well, have you ever tried? Thank you very much, Destiny, for joining us. Please subscribe or like our channel if you do. Uh, I have a daily tarot channel too. I just got out of the hospital. That's why I'm looking a bit rough. But tomorrow I, I tend to get back in there and get back to myself. So thank you for joining us. You want to start a business? Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. And how are you feeling about that? Are you feeling really good about it? Or are you feeling kind of like, I'll be right to you, Black Madonna. We're, we're almost ready. I'm, ooh, that's a tough one. We'll, we'll definitely get you covered. Um, we want to start a business, but I'm far away. You're far away in your plans? Well, do you know what? Now is action time. 
Now there's two things you need to do. One is a dream journal. Because some of the greatest inventions happen by dreams. It will take time. All things do. I mean, I used to be a professional tarot reader a long time ago. I made $50 a reading and I worked in a book room like 20 years. Um, thank you. Uh, about 20 years ago, I worked in a book room where I got $50 a reading doing tarot professionally, uh, you know, five days a week. And then when I wanted to come to YouTube, I, you know, I, I decided I wanted to do it without charging money. I wanted to give my gift, you know, I, um, like this is me giving my gift of myself and, and my energy and my love. And then, you know what happens? All the love and energy that you guys have, are you're giving it back to me, which is very healing. And then we have a community. So that's my business plan, right? My business plan is not about money. But it's okay to be paid for your professionalism. I'm not saying not, not that. But you need an action plan. You need to do some research. Of, so, of course you can, Marva. We have a few people ahead of you. But uh, we're talking to Leo Sign right now, who is uh, interested in um, getting a business. Business does take time. Uh, especially with the, the economic way the system is now. There's things to consider, like your marketing, uh, probably internet. Internet is really great working from, uh, you know, having the whole cyber world ahead of you to reach customers and, and that type of issue. But according to uh, your reading, it says that you have to make priorities next week and get your dreams off the ground. Even if you take one step a day towards your business, like maybe you're going to watch, if you're doing something that you do, for example, watch three or four of your competitors. Look at people who have, um, oh, hello, welcome, uh, Turner Chow, very much. Thank you. Um, but look at your competitors. Look at who you admire. Look who, who and like, don't judge people, but watch objectively who you really like. My mentor is Kindred Spirit, Ruth and Ruby. And I also love Gregory Scott. And a magnetic tarot. Those are three tarot readers I really like. And then there's some other tarot readers I don't resonate with. So in your business, um, it's not for you to disclose unless you want to or what that business is. But say whatever that is, look for mentors. And if you get the chance, work under a mentor. Find that mentor, get a connection with a mentor, and then they will help you grow. I've helped people grow their channels. And other people help grow my channel. So... You know, we all work together. Like get into a community. Don't try to go it alone. Mentor. Get a mentor. Great. And get into a community of like-minded people where everyone's there to support you. And you're not competitive, but support you. And you might even find a partner that will maybe is really good at another aspect you're not. And then together you might even soar even further. So that is a wonderful reading. Definitely. So thank you so much, uh, Leo Sign. I uh, again, I I would love to have you as a subscriber of my channel. I'm not monetized, but uh, I like to keep in touch with you. Thank you, Black Madonna. So I uh, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Leo Sign, and uh, thank you for your, thank you. I'm a Sagittarius sign, so fellow fellow uh, fire sign there. So it's very pleasant to uh, get to know you, and I I look uh, I look forward to. Uh, see you and let leave me comments on my daily videos. I read them all. So, uh, uh, like tomorrow, I'm going to make a daily video so you can just leave me an update how you're doing. Just talk about everything and everything. We're friends now. This is a community. We do. We're getting together for tarot, but it's really about a community of love, and everyone's welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So, Black Madonna, thank you for joining us. Uh, you're a new name to me. Uh, um. I hope you're a, a, a subscriber just because I want more birdies in my flock. That's what I call my the people that on my channel. I don't like subscribers, um, but I like uh, the birdies because I have a lot of rescue birds. I have macaws, I have African greys, and they often make cameos on our uh, channel. So I'm looking at your question here. Uh, what will be the outcome situation of the betrayal from a Pisces friend, female? Ooh. It's very sad when you see betrayal from friends. I've been there myself. And uh, I think we're going to use, uh, we're going to start off with the Tarot Familiars deck for you. And then we're going to get an Oracle card to make it more clear of what it could be about your, your Pisces friend. That's sad. Pisces are cool people, but they're secretive. And uh, my dad was a Pisces. 
Very, very, very intelligent. Now, maybe there's a misunderstanding there. Who knows? Sometimes there's a misunderstanding. Like, I'm, I'm half Irish, I'm half Scottish, and I'm from, um, I was born or knit in Northern Land, Canada. So sometimes my expressions, people don't understand, they might misunderstand what I say, or sarcasm. There's lots of reasons why misunderstandings can happen. But betrayal, that's a bit different. So your first card is King of Pentacles. First card. We're going to go for three cards for you, Black Madonna. Outcome of situation and betrayal from Pisces friends. Who's a female? It's concentrating really hard. We have another card for you. Knave of Swords. Okay. That's good. That's an auspicious card. One more for you, Black Madonna. And we have. The Three of Cups. Yes, this is good. This is good. So these possibly could represent people. When we have the King of Pentacles and the Knave of Swords. So that's the Knight of Swords. Um, uh, excuse me, the Page of Swords, my mistake. So the Page of Swords... And the King of Pentacles. So I believe these represent two people. Now they may represent you and your friend, or they may represent you and the person that they betrayed you by. And uh, the King of Pentacles is coming along, and that they're very the the betrayal could have something based into being uh, selfish, self indulgent. Uh, just focusing on themselves as earthly pleasures and just not being, not thinking of anyone other than themselves could have caused this problem. It could have been uh, just, just amassing uh, jealousy because they were, they wanted attention, not because they really wanted it at all. They could just have been playing around. It's like, like someone goes to the store and there's a dress and they know it's your size and you're the same size and they snatch it off the rack, not because they want it, because they know you want it. Like those, that kind of energy that just, so just kind of like, like a, like a, I want to say a hateful streak, but like a dark streak in them. And it could be some sort of hidden aggression that is deep in them. That has nothing to do with the situation at hand. And it could not, it could perhaps even have been outside your own friendship. And then we have the Knave of Swords. This is an auspicious card. So we have a raven here. And it says it's a sign of things to come. It's like a warning. It's a warning that, um, you know, having this person in your life, if you welcome them back in your life, chances are they already shown you who they truly are. So you're going to expect the same behavior from them again. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't bring them back. It just means that don't be surprised if this behavior of betrayal makes another uh, a return. But, you know, we can't all be defined by our worst mistakes. Um, I have a friend, I, I have a thing about words, for example. There's certain words I don't like. And I, I have some American friends and they say some words I don't like. I'm thinking of one particular friend of mine. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't like diminishing verbiage. Like if, if you fell down the stairs and you broke your ankle, then that's the sentence. But my friend would say, I took a header. Oh, I, uh, my 90 year old grandmother took a header down a flight and uh, whacked her, uh, her, her ankle and, you know, or something like that. Like just some people speak in diminishing verbiage. And that is example of something I don't tolerate. I don't mind or alliteration. I hate alliteration just used for sensation like the uh, mysterious murder of Marla May in Manhattan. And it's like it's some poor girl's murdered and they're making headlines by trying to catch your attention by starting every word with the letter M. Like that's a pet peeve of mine. But sometimes people get a hold of pet peeves and they just jab you with them whenever they want to just as a message you control. So I'm suggesting your betrayal that they had may have not have been because they actually wanted to betray you, 
but because they were just selfish and self-indulgence and wanted to take things that weren't theirs. And that, and they had no scruples and they could lie. They would lie, bore, or steal to do it in the moment. But that doesn't mean deep down, like that's a, that's a character flaw. If you can see beyond that and you still have a great time together, then that's not necessarily a reason to take them under your life, but don't expect them to change. So the betrayal they have done to you will, will happen again if you welcome them back in your life. But I also see this beautiful card as three of friend, three of um, cups, which does mean celebration and friendship, but it also indicates gossip. So sometimes the cause of the betrayal when you have the three of cups could be caused from Say, say you have four friends and one friend's not in the room. So guess who everyone's talking about? But the talk about the person isn't there. And that's not a good philosophy. A grand philosophy we all should try to follow just for our own safety in this world of friendship is never say anything about someone unless it's necessary, unless it's true, unless it's kind, and also that you wouldn't be afraid to say to their face. And it looks like you, when you found the betrayal from this Pisces, uh, they got caught out. Maybe they would have never told you about the betrayal unless you caught them out. But deep down, there is a friendship there. But it takes a long time for a leopard to change their stripes. But also, people grow up and people do learn from their mistakes. But ultimately, this says friendship. So if you're willing to look past, if you're looked, if you're willing to look at why they betrayed you. And you can see reason in that and you can look beyond their selfishness and because we're not all perfect. I, I, I'm not perfect. I, I can be selfish and grouchy sometimes, you know, uh, but if someone maliciously try to harm you just for fun, that's rough. But if they if they were just not thinking and they're just they just doing it for a laugh. You know, they didn't realize how much you would invest it. We have often that in boyfriend, girlfriend, or girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend relationships where you, you might really, really, really like someone and everyone else just thinks you just kind of have a crush on them. And they didn't realize how serious you'd like them. So they just, for fun, thought they would go take them for a dance and, and um, you know, kiss your boyfriend in the corner kind of thing at the, at the, at, at, on the, at the at the dance club and then the next thing you know it's like why did you do that well i didn't think you had anything serious it's like what do you mean so misunderstandings can happen too but i i would give them a chance to explain themselves because you know what if they come clean that's the true essence of who they are if they can admit they they did wrong and they're genuinely sorry but if they admit and don't try to make excuses for themselves then that's a true friend. But again, I honestly, sadly, I do see with this is that the mistakes will happen again. They will betray you again. But the answer is go talk to them and give them a chance. If they come clean and say sorry, then I'd say give them a chance. If they make excuses for themselves, then they showed you who they are 10 times over and you don't need that drama in your life. It's time to move on. And we'll get you an oracle card as well, Black Madonna. Woo, that was quick. We got the parents. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It's time to embrace who you really are. So never apologize for being yourself. If this person has betrayed you in some manner uh, that related to something personal, maybe it's your personal style or a certain outfit you had on or you know, something like that, and they're talking about bad about you or betrayed you in that way, then, you know, n never forget who you are and always be yourself. Don't change yourself for a boyfriend, for anyone. I learned that a long time ago. Uh, I went, uh, I met a boy and we were kind of in, like, get, he, he had leukemia, adult leukemia, and he was taking a trip around the world and I was working in Thailand. And so he was going to he was going to Australia next, but I already had made my plans to go to Austria to go ice sea diving with my female friend Katie. And I had to make a big decision: do I go with my boyfriend or do I go break my plans with my girlfriend? So I decided 
to go with my girlfriend because I already committed to my friend. And um, so that was one of the big decisions I had to make in my life. And I'm glad I did because I, I got to go ice diving with my friend Katie in Austria and then in the Alps. And then uh, I met up with my boyfriend in Canada after he went to Las Vegas and I didn't want to go to Las Vegas. So this is your Oracle card, Black Madonna. It's Parrot. And I have two macaws here of my own, Star and Lucky. They are off screen right now. But during the day, sometimes I have them online. What are you doing? <coughs> this is a digit. We're looking up Parrot right now. And we're not looking up digits. If we were, we already... That's my laughing that was in the background. So this is your Oracle message, uh, Black Madonna. The divine parried message comes into your life to remind you to honor your unique voice. Very often we get caught up in the judgments and opinions and values assigned to us by others. They are false truths. Your individuality and personal expression and being encouraged to come into the light. This may feel challenging, but it's safer and easier to hide in the shadows. Begin by paying attention to your own mind. Then gently allow yourself to see all your positive attributes, your personal colors and talents. It takes practice and courage to step out and embrace who you are. Parrot encourages you to do just that. Once you do, you will feel your truth easily coming into the light. And your affirmation is, I honor my individuality and unique expression in the world. So I do not know how this Pisces betrayed you, Black Madonna, but I know that you are called to use your own unique voice. You are you and be proud of being you. I'm proud you are you. I just met a new friend today, you know, and I'm always here for you. I honestly mean that. I'm on disability because I have I have tumors. I just came home from the hospital for surgery on my pancreas and bowel and stuff. So like, this is my fault. I'm a, I do rescue rehab and then I do tarot for free because I, I heal this way. This is my, you're welcome to our healing circle. So Black Madonna, you're in our healing circle right now. And this card is telling you, embrace your own unique voice. Don't let anyone walk on you. If your friend betrayed you, and you have the three cups there, so it shows that there is a real friendship there. Be the bold one and nicely, not accusedly, but give them a chance to explain themselves. This will reveal everything you need to know. This will. If they say they're sorry, if they if they recant, then, then that's a good thing. But if they're mean, then not so. I'm sorry, I have to take this in case it's my nurse or something. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bob. How are you? Oh, d oh. 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 Oh, well, I'm here if she ever wants someone just even to sit quietly with. I know she likes quiet. And she's welcome just to sit and watch Butterfly, Candy Cane. You know, I, but I know she's a person who appreciates her privacy. And, um, yeah, I thought that tool would be helpful to your aquarium and just make it a little faster. No, she doesn't have to thank me. Just her being her is. And I, Nicole confided a lot into me over the years. We have a lot in common. No, I didn't. No, I'm, I didn't. But well, you're allowed to fight. Everyone else in the building does. <laughs> but you're also living during COVID all cramped up in one, you know, like. You... Yeah, she's. Oh. oh, and my love to Nicole and no need to apologize. I. I just want you guys to be happy. We are, we're so, we're, I think we're like a family because I don't, I have an external family. So you never even have to say I'm sorry to someone that's in your family. You just, it's understood. <laughs> but, 
have a good night and, and love to Nicole. And I'm always here for both of you ever need me. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. So that was a telephone version of Gazelle Tarot. <laughs> Hello, Black with Donna. Are, are you happy with that, honey? Are you okay? Thank you, Black with Donna. I'm glad you liked your reading. Um, so next up, I believe, is Zara. You're very happy. Thank you. And let us know how it goes. Um, I'm going to start doing my daily readings again. So uh, please subscribe to Giselle Tarot, even though we're not monetized. And you can leave comments, and I'll remember who you are. I have a very good memory. So, uh, But leave comments on my daily videos, because then I'll read them. Because then I, I probably won't go back to the live chat. But, um, yeah, and come meet my other birdies. So Zara's next. Okay, Zara. Very, very nice to meet you. Beautiful name, by the way. What uh, what question do you have for us today? I'm waiting here for Zara. I love names that start different. One of my pets here, she thinks to me. Her name is Quills. Like I love names that start with a uh, with a unique letter. That's Quills. <laughs> And Diego spells his name D apostrophe E G G O like an egg. Diego, because he's a digin. Diego the digin, and he likes egos. <laughs> How will I go in dance classes so far this year? Oh, you're in dance. I love dance. I love dance very much. I also love male figure skating. I follow um, Eugenie. Uh, Plashenko and his little son Sasha. Oh, I love I love dance. The grace, the beauty. I love all kinds of dance. I was a Highland dancer as a child. I wasn't the best, but yes, it's how far will you go in dance class this year? Poor Zara. I have a friend who is a dancer in uh, the Royal Ballet in London. So for Zara, we have already two cards popped up for you. And my, my little digit opened another screen. And so far, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Wow. The Ace of Cups is a very good card. That's a blessing from the universe. So one more card for Zara. How far you'll go in dancing lessons this year? Queen of Wands, oh my gosh, this is a wonderful reading. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is very practical. In the normal Rider weight, uh, this is the only knight that has all, all four of his horse's feet on the ground. So it shows that you're very studious, no pun intended with studio, uh, but it shows you're very focused, you're very determined, and that will make the difference. Dedication will make the difference on how far you go. So um, I know from dance class that I, the kind of dance I studied, uh, there was a lot of repetition. And, uh, but it's, you know, it's amazing when you watch on YouTube, the progression of the different levels of dancing, how each year you can just see the grace and grace grow and grow. And like the rhythm and rhythm just grow and grow as you might look like you're doing reps. Uh, yes, you're, yes, I'm dedicated, oh, I bet you are. But when you do each of those reps, do them like they're the only one you're doing. That I used to be a competitive swimmer, and we did each lap like it was the last. Each lap, every lap. And uh, and do that. Like, have your focus. And live in the present, I'm hearing. Like, when you're dancing, all you're doing is focusing on the dancing and the movement. And um, if you're listening, if you're able to listen to the music, just become the music. Let your dance become the music. That would be so, but when you're doing reps, I know uh, that is, the, you never told me what type of dance you did, but uh, for me, it was, uh, I did uh, Highland and there was a lot of like dance work on the bar, you know, a lot of repetitions. And I, when I was young, I found it boring. But then when I was older, I studied like adult ballet at home and I just love it. You know, I play music and I just love it. You know, just the grace, you become the music. So I see that you being very serious, but then also embracing the delicate art of music. It's sort of the most beautiful ballet 
stars or any type of dance or any type of dance, um, Beyonce dancing, like uh, I, like all their dancing, they just through through movements and music themselves. And I hear that you're very studious and that you're very determined and that you're also going to become part of the music. Now, next up, I see the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups here is an owl, which is the very wise owl. And aces represent a gift from the universe. And cups represent the element of water. So this, again, is emotion and flow. So what I'm hearing, too, as much as you, there's almost like, to me, I'm a very emotional person. I'm not a very logical person. I just... I just, I'm ruled by my emotions. But dancing, people might think is all emotion, but it's not. It's technical. So you have your dedication of doing the hard work, those drills. Just think of those, I love Olympic gymnasts, same thing, Simone Biles. I just love Simone Biles. And when they're in the gym working out, it's all for that moment, you might think, to shine on the, the Olympic stage or a competition, but not really. It's about living in the present. So every single time you go practice, every single time you meditate and imagine your routine in your mind, live in that present moment, like embrace it with like a big warm hug. Now, this is saying emotion again, because it's a water element. And it's saying that your emotions could, your self-doubt perhaps, your, your worry, you're thinking you're not good enough, you're looking at other people. Maybe you're even looking at other people's body types or what someone else is able to do. But I suggest very strongly not to do that because it's very interesting. Sometimes everyone's focused on one or two attributes, but you might bring an attribute, attribute to the table that the professionals or the people teaching um, really value. Yes, I'm very emotional too. Sometimes they take me too much. See, I'm not in the same way. I'm very emotional. Um, when I do beer, bird rehab, I turn into this. I, I turn into a different person. I just go turn into like a, a robot and I assess the scene and I do my bird rehab and I do all this. And then later I go away and cry. Like I can separate the two, but like with, with dance, you have the technical element. So you have to get like all the perfect, you know, the perfect moves down the way your teacher wants them. And then at the same time, you have your emotions. So use your emotions use the way you feel and put them into your dance whilst keeping all the technical rules depending because again you didn't tell me what type of dance you're into it's really hard to do that like something like the irish jig the actual official irish jig um you, there, there's the professional movements of the the scheduled dance but then you can also have the movement the, the, the emotion someone puts into it and the same with uh like ballet and, and ice skating uh just the emotion that they feel like there's some artists when they get out there, the skaters, you can feel, I just feel the movement. I feel the music. I just feel the energy. And that's where you have the gift. You have the gift like uh, Blaschenko. I don't know if you follow Russian figure skating or not, but Sasha's really cute. He's only a little boy, he's seven. And uh, he's already competing with uh, a few years higher than his division, but his dad's like a world champion retired um, Olympic medalist, uh, Eugene uh, Plushenko. But like when he dances, like he, when he went to, he was poor and he was sickly as a child in Russia and poor Russia because he's, he must be in his late forties or something. And his mom put him into ice skating just to help him get his dexterity going. And then they said, well, this is child. He doesn't have a lot of strength to do all the, the jumps like the other kids. But he has this grace that none of, of them have. So he had this special attribute. So you have to find or allow to develop a special attribute in yourself whilst you dance that you just forget about everyone else. Learn the technical. Just like you're driving a car, you learn the rules of the road. You don't make them up as you go along. But then once you have them, let your emotions flow into them and then become the music. That's what I'm hearing. And I hear you will go far. And your final card is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is fiery, creative, efficient, and determined. If she was going to, if, uh, if there was going to be an Olympic athlete out of the four, um, 
four suits, I had birds flying by there, it would be uh, it would be the Queen of Wands because she is so fiery and determined and lively and creative and just she embraces it. So we want to embrace your music, your talent, and your flow. Hi, Jay. So very, very, I, I suggest, um, so to recap, I hope you, like I mentioned, I just feel, I feel these emotions. They say, gift from the universe, you're going to go very far. You're blessed by the universe with your dancing. You have you have to work on your, your technique and be very dedicated to learning your the footwork or the dance work or the, the routines. Be very faithful to that. Treat that as just meditate on your moves before you even do them when you lay in bed at night and go to sleep meditate on you dancing and doing reps and live in the present moment don't worry about going up another level or you know or dream big dream about dancing at wherever that that your type of dance will lead you like i mentioned my friend uh she dances in the, for the london uh academy of of, of ballet uh, as the top and she has ulcerated colitis so that was very hard for her but uh, she made it uh, but you have to dream big but then at the same time live in the present so that's my message as well and then finally you have the creative uh, influence and power and determination of the queen of wands saying you are going to go far so then from that we are going to draw for you a feather oracle to help talk about how far you're going to go in dance class. Yes, Jen M, you may ask a question. We have a few people ahead of you, but I promise if you stick around, we will. I have a digit on my head. He's half peace pigeon and half dev. I just got out of the hospital, so I'm looking a little rough. I still have my IV pad stuck in it. I had an operation yesterday and I'm still kind of recovering. And um, or this morning or sometime. I don't even know. I still have my armband on. I just felt like I wanted the community love and the oh, and so I came online to share my wee gift with you guys and uh, <laughs> uh, well Bender I, I quite appreciate that um, uh, thank you thank you Zara please again we're not monetized I do this for I don't do this for money I do it for love light and prayers Please join um, the Gazelle Daily Tarot and uh, keep us updated. And you can leave messages on my daily reads. I'm going to start posting on daily again uh, now that I'm home from the hospital. And um, I'll remember who you are. And just keep keep on sharing your good times and your bad times. And I promise my community, we have only 600 subscribers. I've been doing this two years, but I don't charge money and I don't advertise. Uh, but I used to be a professional tarot reader, $50 to read. And now I'm just doing this for love, light, and prayer. So I work for prayers and love and light and community. So uh, uh, but my community is so loving. And they're not here right now because I, this was a state when I just got home from the hospital and they weren't expecting to be online. But normally there'd be other people in the chat supporting you and wishing you well and everything as well. My regular uh, birdies, we call us. We have a name for our subscriber. We call you the birdies. Uh, and as for Bender, um, they they tend not to because mine are host broken. They have, uh, I'm a bird trainer. I used to be a bird trainer and um, they're host broken in the sense of they always like to use the washroom on some newspaper on a designated area uh, over there. They don't like to poop and sit in it. So they tend not to poop on me or where we're working. But that's a very funny question. They're pro birds. Oh, yes. They're pro birds. Yes, some of them are retired magic show birds. Yes, so some of them are professional birds on stage. And they're retired now. So uh, we just finished talking to Zara. And so I'm trying to go back here to see who's next. Let's see. I don't have my moderator with me tonight. We talked to Black Madonna. We talked to Leo. Uh, we talked to Zara. Well, Lex. Is Lex still here? Oh, we want to get an oracle card. We first want to get an oracle card for um, for dear uh, Lex. You're here. You're up next. You're still here. I'm going to get an oracle card for Zara, and then um, we're going to get to Lex. Okay, Lex, you can write your question whilst we get an oracle card for Lex and how far she's going to go in her dancing this year. Okay, we get Hopper. 
we got the herring. And the message is, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. So that's very beautiful, too. And see what the message is here. I think, it's, to me, just even without reading out of the book, I think it's saying, like, you are a different person. You're probably an empath. You're very emotional. You just got a gift from the universe with the Ace of Cups. And that you should really embrace your own style and your, your own unique way. And don't compare, like, don't use your attributes to compare them to other people because you're your own unique uh, creation from spirit. And uh, don't, don't compare your body type or any of those things. Just follow your teacher's uh, advice and on how to train better and then allow your, the music to become the music. But the message the card has for you to say and from the book, from the herring, uh, the herring message wades into your world to encourage you to embrace your unique path. Let go of the pressure to conform to unwritten rules that may be keeping you stuck. As you begin to steady yourself and find a different way around an old familiar pattern, you will feel more certain you can indeed stand in your own in this way. So perhaps maybe you want to take Pilates up on as an extra curricular activity besides your dancing, like something to get you working other muscles in your body or something. I really enjoy Pilates and I just do it at home. I have my, I have my own gym pad and, um, you know, just something to get you even, I uh, just add something cool and fun to your own new workout, work, uh, warm up routine, something like that. And, uh, be creative. Um, your unique viewpoint can assist others in resolving issues. So maybe there's some other people in your team, in your dance team that are struggling and you're going to be the one that helped bring them, uh, it says bring, bring them harmony. So you could be given the position where you're going to be bringing harmony to someone else. I'm wanting to know because I'm calling toward a business because I'm going into circles. Okay. And, 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 and the affirmation for Lex is I now embrace and accept my true life's purpose. So maybe you're going to be a professional dancer or perhaps a dance instructor. But dancers do lots of other things, too. Like, dancers work in many different industries. Um, one is live theater. I've done live theater. That's fun. Uh, there's this being just, a, like, dancing is lots of different things. And uh, I think you should really expand on that and really celebrate who you are because you've been given a gift from the universe. And, yes, you're going to go far. You have the determination. You've got the two sides. You've got the structure, and then you've got the creative flow. Because do you ever see someone play the piano and it's like, or hear someone play the piano and it's just like flat? Like they're playing every chord perfect, but there's no feeling in it. And like that's where we're at. And it, this, the cards indicate that you have you have the complete package. It's up to you what you want to do with your gift. And yes, you will go far. Just always stay true to your own unique self. And also be generous with your heart if someone is struggling. And you can help them achieve balance because there's the true reason why we help each other is because we love each other. We help. We love each other's community. But the more we help each other, the more love that comes and it reflects back into our life. And it brings more positive, positive opportunities towards us. And so then we have more friends and ears to cry on when we need them. And then we have more people to celebrate our success. And, um, uh, so there's a beautiful future for you, Zara, and I'm very excited for you. So thank you so much, and please keep in touch. I sincerely mean that. It's been a pleasure. So now we're going to talk to Lex. I feel like I'm walking into the unknown, and my family and friends have betrayed me. I am actually a lone person. I can relate to that uh, very, very much. Um, as a youngster... I, um, oh, we have a caller. I'm going to come in right back to you, Lex. I'll just have to, have to take this call. I'll come right back to you. You calling towards your business? Oh. Hello there. I'm uh, doing a live stream right now. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, bye bye. Bye. Oh, I want to see the deer. Show us the deer. A friend of mine wanted to show us a deer in his backyard. I'm a gazelle tarot, but then he, he hung up. So, uh, so you're wondering what's my calling towards my business. Okay. You know, there's a YouTuber I recommend to you called Trevor Isley. And he talks about the dark night of the soul. And there's different reasons to listen to that. But one thing is that's when you, you're, you right now, even when I'm drawing cards, which I should draw cards as well. But you are reaching another level. You're being, you're leveling up in your spirituality right now. So that's why you're feeling unknown and your family and friends betrayed you. I'm so sorry. Um, but when I was a young person, I was always unique. I was always, um, I worked at a, as a busker. Um, I'm an INFJ, so I'm, I'm quiet and nerdy. But then I love like, doing tarot or entertaining and that kind of thing. And my family betrayed me too. And uh, they, they said lies about me that weren't true. Uh, my mom at one point had even said that I was, um, you know, a lady of the night. And um, 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 uh, a dancer, but not the kind that a dancer that uh, Zara is. And um, nothing against those professions, but I am such a nerdy, skinny person. I'm, I, I wouldn't make enough money in those professions to uh, be a prostitute or, or, a, or a stripper. But my mom decided, she told one of my family I was a stripper and a prostitute because I was busking on the streets reading tarot. So they betrayed me too. And it, uh, it really made me sad because I've never done, I'm such a nerd. And to have such a nerd... Yeah, you don't you don't trust them. You know that anything you say will be will be used against you. Okay, hello. Oh, thank you. We're doing a live stream. If you want to say hi, We're, hi everybody. That was a call from uh, up in the Catskills. So we're okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah. So um, that was the person he sent a video of the deer. We get a lot of friends of the channel. See, once you become my friend, you get my Skype and you'll be ringing me all the time. One day that might be you. But uh, yes, it definitely uh, a strange. And, but you know what? People need time to grow. Everything is like with the wheel of fortune. It, everything goes in cycles. And you're strange. I was estranged from my family for six years, and I came back on my dad's deathbed, and I, I, I literally in the hospital in his deathbed. And I said to my dad, I come in the room, he hadn't seen me in six years, and he says to me, what are you doing here? And I'm like, oh, dear. Like, And he says, after the way I've treated you, I'm very surprised you would... Um, even want to be with me here at this time. So I had a very happy ending to a very painful estrangement with my dad. And so always you're estranged now, but just know that you're healing and you're growing, you're leveling up. I do recommend Trevor Isley to listen to just to get you into the idea that sometimes we feel like everything's broken and we're isolated and we're alone when sometimes that's the way it's like when you build muscle, you actually have to break some tendons to build more muscle. And um, that's what probably you're in a period of time. But you're never alone. You always, again, I know I'm not much, but you always have us in our community. And you have spirit and God always loves you. Spirit's always there. And one of my favorite songs of all time, if not my favorite song of all time, is by Andy Grammer. It's called I Wish You Pain. And you know why I love that song? It's because in it, he's like, it's, a, it's not like Andy Grammer is this really positive, upbeat guy, really helpful person. I really admire him. But the song, I Wish You Pain, uh, talks about, I just, I hope everything goes wrong in your life because I love you very much. Yes, take a listen to please, to Andy Grammer, I Wish You Pain, because at the end of the day, you are going to come out stronger. 
The only person you need is your, as you define the higher power, spirit, God, however you choose, how, how God resonates with you and yourself. And you can do it no matter how many things go wrong in your life. You're not alone. I'm here with you. I listened to that song probably 10 times today because I feel the same way. I'm far away from my family. My fiance died four years ago and I'm in a city where I don't have any friends and I'm, I'm have cancer tumors being removed and stuff like that. I'm as well on my own, but um, I think it's cool because you know what? I'm sinking my teeth into this and I'm being optimistic. And I'm laughing and uh, I'm having a great time because I know God is there for me. I know spirit's there for me, just like God in spirit and love and light is there for you too. So you are not alone. You are not, you feel that way. So this is your first card, seven of cups. Very, very adequate there. A knave of swords again. That's very auspicious. That means good luck coming your way. One more card for Lex. Okay, and we have the magician. Ooh, look how spooky, spooky kitty cat. So, as far as your business plan goes, you have the man, the magician. So, this is a card saying you can manifest your dreams to reality. So, you set your dreams, but just like we had another. Um, person on earlier talking about business i'm a little hot so i'll take off one of my seven sweaters i'm wearing i live in canada and it's really cool um i'm indoors though <laughs> but we had snow um you have to have an action plan and there's a time like i mentioned the nova scotia license plate doers and dreamers <clears throat> there's a point where you have to be you have to stop the dreaming and start the doing you got to start making your business plans turn um you know turn your hopes and dreams and in, in, into goals spirit is with you and spirit is with you like honest to god that's what pulls me through is uh these times you know because i have an enlarged heart and i just had a surgery and they uh, tried to put me under and then they said it was too dangerous because my my uh my bmi so they had to do a biopsy surgery uh with me under a general anesthetic and I just thought of that Andy Grammer song, like I, like, like God gives you this pain. You don't know if this what you do, what you're calling. Okay, but I was just to finish my point before I forget because I tend to ramble. Is you're given all this pain because you can handle it. You will not be given any more pain than you can handle. And the thing is, it makes you stronger. Every time your heart does break, you know, my heart's been broken, you know. And one thing I did yesterday was I wrote to a love of mine who I loved. I had a late fiance. He was the love of my life. But there was this guy I loved and wanted to date. And then when we dated, he didn't wasn't very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Um, he was he was a narcissistic person and he put me down. What's going on here, guys? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm having a little, little uh, scrummage going on here with birdies. But um, there was a boy who uh, I really, we really resonated, had a great friendship, but he just, he was a little narcissistic. And he just said, like, I don't own a cell phone. And um, he said to me, like, if you don't invest in yourself, why should you do it? Why should I invest in you? And, and all sorts of really mean things. And it just sort of like all those things in life that don't work out for you really tend to allow you to find the, your, your, your tribe as a, there is the catch phase of the day. Uh, it allows you to be with the people you're meant to be with. And it allows the people to separate you, even if you do love them, of course, with your family. Hopefully that will turn around, like I mentioned with my dad. So there Maybe it's like the cycle of the moon, you know. But someone disrespects you, you, don't, you put, don't put up with that. You don't put up with that. But you don't respond to retaliation and, and, and do anything mean either. Like my, mom, grand, my mother and grandmother hate each other. And she used to take a box of nails and go over to my grandmother's house and pour it on the, on the lawn. And then when my grandmother mowed the lawn, she'd be running over like roofing nails that were shooting everywhere all over. 
Like, I mean, that's, that's how I was raised in the upper northern Atlantic Canada. Okay, okay. All right. So Lex, um, yes, continue every day. Looking, thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll look better in natural lighting, and I do feel very excited. But I'm alone. I have no one. Like, yeah, I just what I'm saying with I'm estranged is like I'm alone here with no one to. Like, I, I would like to have a shower right now, but I'm too weak, and I. I would like to have, I wish I had my boyfriend, but it's like, I wish I had a family member, like a female, female family member or something to just make sure I don't fall or just be in the bathroom so I don't fall, but I'm by myself and my fridge is like the length of my home away. And like, you know, just little things like that, or you're cold or you're, you just want a sip of water. And it's like, you know, one to ask. And it's just like, then you just realize that you could do all this. No one can take away your power, but, but you, like you're stronger than you think. And that all these pain things just make you grow. It's like pruning back the bushes and we're, everything that we cut out of our life gives room for new things to grow. But one thing I am an INFJ, if you follow Carl Jungian and uh, I speak with a psychotherapist, she thinks I'm too harsh. Um, I do the INF door slam too quick, but uh, just with men and uh, hi angel. Um, but sometimes, you know, you, you cut people low too quickly or like I've been estranged from my brother and always with a number six, uh, but, uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful number in numerology, but I've been estranged from my, since my dad died, uh, about six years ago now or six years. No, since my fiance died five years ago now, um, I haven't talked to one of my siblings and I didn't want to talk to him because I, I just saw he knows that I, he found out that I'm sick. And so he just wants to talk to me because I'm sick. Well, I've been here and I've been healthy the whole time. So why do you want to talk to me now just because I'm sick? Who is that for? Is that about you or is that about me? Like, that's how, that's my reaction as a hurt person who was estranged from their family. But my psychotherapist said, well, why not give him a chance? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You know, so you can let people in, but let's set boundaries, you know, is there, a list? there is a list. Uh, we're doing things in order. Um, right now we're with Lex. I'm not sure who's next after Lex. And yes, there is a list. And uh, people, I, I just scroll back. My moderator isn't here with me tonight. Um, I didn't tell her I was coming online because I'm home from the hospital and she doesn't know I'm online. But Liz, if Liz shows up, uh, she will keep everyone in order. She, she's really good. So Lex, here we go. Um, oh, did I just draw your, did I just draw your cards? I'm so full of, I'm all excited here. Yeah, I did draw your cards, but I don't. I think I mixed them up in there again. I'm trying to remember your cards now. You had. I think we better. I think maybe after that, the spirit angels change, so we're going to give you. We're going to give you a fresh shot after that. But I think you needed to hear that, my friend. I really do. I'm alone by myself, and some nights I just even, you know, being that I have like the the pancreas. I'm on a liquid diet. I haven't had solid food in five months, and it's like. Like, I think, Lord, Spirit, why? Like, why? Like, I worked in the third world and volunteered with orphans, and I, I work with people with disabilities, and I work with birds with disabilities, and I'm a good person. Why Why does this happen to me? And it's because it's God's time for you to get a lesson that you are stronger than you think. So, you know, do, have you ever heard of the prayer of footprints? And it's what it is, is like you're, you, however you define the higher power. So you walk, you see two pairs of footprints going along and then you see one and that's no ma'am. <laughs> well, it's like, I'll do my version. My version is you're looking, you're asking God. Yes, yes, certainly, Ashley. We, we have a few people ahead of you, but if you're willing to hang in there, um, I would definitely love to do a reading for you. But uh, right now we're talking to Lex. And uh, I, my moderator isn't here, but I'll just scroll up and I'll get the next person. Uh, it, I'll ask if they're present and in order too. So you're you're in the mix. Um, so Lex, um, we're talking here, uh, the footprint prayer uh, before, before we draw your tarot. So I like to give everyone a full, I want to give everyone a, a, a encompassing everything. Like I don't want to give everyone just little short little readings. I want to give everyone my best. 
um, because that's what I'm here for, you know, and we all can live together in prayer, live, live in spirit together and pray for each other as we do our readings. Um, and please, again, welcome to uh, like our video if you do like our live stream and uh, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to. Because I do daily reads and I always have little little birds, all sorts of different little birds come by, macaws, African greys. And I have lots of fish too, lots of tropical fishies. So the footprint prayer. Picture a beautiful ocean and two sets of footprints going. And you think it's you and, and, and God or spirit. I, I resonate with God. So me and God are walking in the in the footprints. You see the footprints in the sand. And then all of a sudden, there's just two pairs of footprints. One pair of footprints. Two to one pair of footprints. And then I say, God, that's when you abandon me. And then the second pair of footprints appear. And there you go again. And then you think, God abandoned me that time. God abandoned me at my worst hour when I felt estranged. I don't know what to do with my business. My family's estranged. I'm all alone. No one understands me. But then God says, no. The time where you saw the two footprints, like this, the one, two, one, two little footprints instead of four, was when he carried you or when he or she carried you, however you resonate with spirit. So the very fact you're here with us here tonight just shows that people care. You know, you just met me tonight. I've never met you before. And we just met tonight. And I hope we continue our friendship. But you're not alone. And people do generally care. Like the amount of prayers that I received uh, from my channel, from my viewers, uh, which we call the birdies at Gazelle Tarot, uh, was immense. And uh, Kindred Spirit dedicated a whole video to me. She's another tarot reader uh, I met through YouTube. She's my mentor. Um, I've been, I had my channel for two years, but I've been a professional tarot reader for 20. So, uh, yeah, so it's just like, you're not alone. That, and that's why that, that song I told you with Andy Grammer is like, you listen to that. It's like, God loves you more than you'll ever know. And that you have to know that you got this, you got this. Even if you're just reaching out to people like me, who am I? Right. But I'm a real person. You're a real person. I know this is a cyber world. But at the end of the day, we're still real people behind the screen here. You know, this camera reveal I'm a real human being. And if we were in the same town, we could meet for coffee and we could talk and we could be friends and you wouldn't be alone. But we, that's not the way it is. The only medium we have right now is a deck of tarot cards and our friendship through the screen. But, you know, who knows what day we'll have maybe a Giselle tarot um, a get up, get together in, a, in, a, in some city. I'd love for us to go to Glastonbury Tower. Wouldn't that be something? For everyone to get together and we can be Craig B. Scott and and uh, Kindred Spirit uh, with Ruth and Ruby and get together with, with friends like as a community because this was we almost, most often have ladies here and men are welcome too but you know I just want you to know you're not alone and we love you when you're down in the dumps and we love you when you're happy okay so you're not alone you've got me I've been through the dark night of the soul especially when I lost my career I had a very, very uh, good career. I traveled 48 countries and I work with uh, wildlife and I also work with um, teaching people with disabilities. And then my kidney ruptured. And, um, you know, so that was a big step down for me. And then I found my fiance and I had another job I really loved. And then my fiance died of cancer about four years ago. And then I lost my other job because I lost 30 pounds like right away. And so that's when they found cancer in me. And that was four years ago. And I was ready just to check out of this world because, like, I thought, not, I don't belong here. I just, I just, this is too much. And then I thought, I listened to Trevor Isley. And he said, and this is advice, this advice is from Trevor Isley, but I believe it. It says, oh, thank you, Dustin. Think back to when you were happiest as a child and someone said, no, you can't do that. What were you doing? And that's what you should do. And for me, being that my mom, I mean, my mom went to see a tarot reader when she was pregnant with me. And they said that I, I was going to be, a, she was pregnant with a gifted child, a gifted child who was going to be good at tarot. So I always grew up um, with my mom thinking I was going to be a gifted tarot reader. So 
I had tarot deck in my hands practically since since I've been born. And I don't even remember reading the tarot. I just remember I was reading the tarot when I was five, when I was six, when I was seven. I go to the county fair and read the tarot. I, I use the money to do because I live from the day where you had to pay to have the pictures developed. So I take pictures of my pets and I use my tarot money for that. And um, so it's like, uh, it's just the way I communicate is the, and the gifts and the love is, is through the tarot. So I don't, I don't believe in tarot. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I personally am a Christian. I'm a Catholic. I'm an Irish Catholic, half Scottish. And uh, it's just spirit is God. And this is just our way of communicating with love. So uh, there's nothing, there's nothing here. Darkness. We're, we're here for light and love and friendship. And me too. Okay, Mary. Thank you. So much you. So we're here together as a family. And like I made my own community here on YouTube because without reaching out, starting my channel two years ago, I started my channel two years ago on Gazelle Tarot on November 1111 for the gateway number. And uh, it was so I could meet people, like-minded people. And that's what you have to do, Lex, is you have to start meeting like-minded people and people who believe in you, who don't put you down, who love you for who you are. And that takes a while. And sometimes it takes, um, you know, sometimes it takes a few failures. I met a few friends and they didn't turn up. They let me down. Some people use me. That's the dangers of online dating, which I'll throw out there in case that's something some people are involved with right now. You get, I'm not mean to pick on gender, but you get, you know, people from whatever gender orientation that you're courting. Uh, for me, it's men. And they read your profile. And I don't, there's a cute little show called Corner Gas. I don't know if you know it. It was filmed in Saskatchewan, Canada. It's a cute little family show about a gas station and they're just a quirky country town. And uh, I love that show. And so uh, I put it on my profile that I really love the show. And so a guy went on YouTube, watched a bunch of, or a number of episodes and talked about him like, wow, he's so cool. He loves Corner Gas. And it's like, uh, it's a cute little comedy show. I recommend it if you ever want to laugh. It's a, it's a Canadian show. And it, it's really wholesome and light and fluffy. And, and you know, it's there's no, no romance in it. It's just all situation comedy. And it's just fun. And um, But he just read my profile and fed me whatever he wanted to hear. Just try to get something from me. So be very wary of meeting. When you meet new people, not to reveal too much about yourself as well if you're meeting people online and now i know i'm online but i'm a tarot person and i have nothing to gain because i don't charge money for my readings as though i could oh thank you destiny i do tend to talk a lot but i, I try to treat each person like they're my friend in front of me so when i get to you it'll be the same thank you mary thank you so this is for you uh lex you're next mac mac is next we're getting new cards. I think I had cards from her, but I just, I just get this overwhelming feeling you had to hear that song from Andy. Oh, thank you, Lex. You, they have to listen to the song from Andy Grammer. Um, uh, I wish you pain. And also, I love the one naive. And that's that's my mantra. If I if I had a song to play at my funeral, it would be Andy Grammer, a uh, naive. It's a uh, it's a very beautiful song because it's saying, Lord, help me, please. If it's it's if it's wrong to be naive and think the best of other people, then I'm naive and I'm proud of it. To be proud of who you are and you're not alone. I've been where you are and I'm still alone, but I'm not going to be forever. And I'm not alone either because look at, look at all the people that showed up here tonight for readings. So were these your this cards for you and your business, okay? We've got um, Knight of Wands, and we got the Queen of Wands again. Our ring light was knocked down, but I don't know how much we need it. We have the Fish Aquarium light. There we go. You can see how, uh, you can see my tan now. <laughs> Thank you, Destiny. That means the world for me. Oh, wow. Here we go. We have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Wands. Okay.
So this is very, ah, Liz is here, Liz is here, everyone. I was telling you, Liz is one of my favorite all-time birdies, and I'm not just out of the hospital, Liz, and uh, Liz keeps everyone uh, in, uh, in order. And uh, we had a troll earlier, and Liz wasn't here to protect me from the troll. So now that Liz is here, we know we're safe. But we had no trolls other than the first one. So uh, thank you so much for your beautiful photos. I've thought about you every moment when they was in the surgery. And tomorrow I'm going to do a story time on my surgery. But I just feel a little weak right now, and I want to – I'm not strong enough to stand in the shower yet. So I just want to shower and look good tomorrow when I give my official thank you. But uh, thank you for your beautiful uh, email of your beautiful pictures and uh, your love, light, and prayer. So everyone, uh, a fertility of the tarot and truth is here now, and she is my moderator. And uh, she will help make sure everyone. Mac is the next person in line. And she is. Uh, she will engage with you in conversation, too, and add to my reading. And she'll add some really cool points because Liz always does. So, uh, Liz, we're reading right now for Lex. Uh, I don't think so. I think we have a few people before Lauren, but we'll worry about that next. Um, if you scroll up, but Mac is next for sure. And then we'll call the next name and go down through. And then uh, that way no one gets mixed up. But Mac is the next person. So right now, uh, I was just, just to fill Liz in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lex has been feeling very isolated and uh, estranged and betrayed by her family. So I told her about uh, some songs that I really recommended. Oh, thank you, Bender. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please subscribe. I'm really, really sorry you missed us today. Leave me a message um, tomorrow and uh, maybe we can get together soon. I normally live stream Friday nights. Uh, I'm so sorry, but it was a pleasure to meet you. Already did. Okay, we'll keep in contact. And the next time you come on, tell me I you you can jump ahead the line, okay? I know the feeling to live with a narcissist. See, Liz. So okay, Bender, the next time I'm online and if you show up, you say you you I I promised you a reading, so you get to skip the line. Okay, thank you, sweet. Thank you. Um, so uh, Lex uh, has been going through like kind of like a, a mini dark night of the soul. Doesn't know what. Um... Yes, I believe it is Mary after Mac, but we're gonna we're gonna finish with Lex first. Uh, I guess my mind gets. I have too many plates spinning, but at least we have Liz here now, and she so so my raccoon has been gone for two nights. I miss them all because it's cold. We have a high winds here. Um, so first of all, we established that Lex feels this way because she's reaching a higher, you reach your plateauing, you're reaching a higher level of spirituality. You're becoming closer to spirit. As your heart breaks, it threatens the same things when your spirit breaks, it threatens. And I'm just breaking up a bird fight here. And um, now we're going to move on to your business. And so these are the cards we drew for your business. We have uh, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Um, the Ten of Cups is make a wish card. So the relationship spirit is saying now, like I told you with the footprint prayer, when those two foot, those two sets of footprints turn to one, that's when spirit scooped you up, loving in the loving arms of spirit. Can you imagine being held in the arms of an angel? That's what I do. That's what I do. Sometimes I hug myself and I just imagine it's my guardian angel holding me. And no one has to see you. You're home. You're in bed, you know, alone, no one looking. Just give yourself a big hug and just think of the person you love the most or think of a loved one that passed on or just like, I'm not alone. I've got this. Dear Lord, please help guide me in this difficult time. Spirit, please fill me with your love. Like, don't, don't ever succumb to despair. You know, I mean that. I've been there. I've been there. And uh, I just really care about you, Lex. So first of all, you got the Make a Wish card. We got the Ten of Cups. So this is, uh, believe it or not, the Happy Family card, which obviously you and I both don't come from. But that doesn't mean that's not going to happen eventually, or you're going to make your own family. You're going to find your own tribe. You even have tonight. You found us. 
Isn't that cool? You found us. So you do have a place you can come to when you're sad, when you're happy. And um, as you know, I got a few phone calls tonight because I'm as I make friends with my a viewer, we call them the birdies. They end up on my Skype list or my have my phone number and then we talk. So like I'm always around and I don't charge money. I'm just doing this for love, light, and prayer. So, you know, I'm, I'm sincere. I have nothing to gain from this other than thinking of you. So look at people's intentions. Max, that's very, very important. So make a wish card. So this is a time Spirit is giving you a chance to really make a wish and decide what you would like to manifest into your life. I do remember before we did draw the magician for you in their other card reading. And we both have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is a really good listener. He is, has the kind of power that he's a great leader, but he's so confident in himself that he's not threatened by other people's ideas. So that is a sign of a very good uh, boss, a very good friend, a very good partner, a very good everything. Now, this could represent you or it could represent something special in your life. Uh, that perhaps you'd like to uh, mentor with and, um, you know, get closer to getting your business on flow. Because like, if you're going to start a business, I know from like with Gazelle Tarot, for example, even starting your own YouTube channel, you have to look at Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all the stuff. It really adds up. Then you have to think about taxes. Um, in my country, you need a GST uh, number. You need like, there's a lot of things to a business. Are you an online business? Are you a mail order business? Uh, do you, what are you selling? Are you, are you a reseller? Like there's lots of things to work out um, depending on what country you live in. If you're in Canada, I can help you with Canada, but uh, that's the only country I really know anything about. Um, but as for your business, it's make a wish. You can make this happen. If it's an SD, if it's an online business, that's really ideal because you can work from the comfort of your own home during this special time that we're living in right now. The King of Wands, like I said, is someone really willing to listen, but also has great leadership and loves to hear about other people's travels and adventures. So, I mean, is this you? Is this someone in your life that's going to help guide you to find out what more about your business? Because you need a mentor. You need a mentor. I was a professional tarot reader for 20 years. And when I came on YouTube, I still found a mentor on YouTube. And that's Ruth and Ruby of uh, Kindred Spirit. And uh, and Liz knows who Ruth and Ruby, of course. And uh, so you need a mentor. So that's just the first step for you, Lex, is decide on your business. You get to make a wish. Find a mentor who's doing what you like. Look at why you like what they're doing. And then at the same time, look at people who are doing things you don't like. There's some tarot readers I don't like because they they do things just for the, the instant chat, like yes, no answers. Yeah, I can do that. I can whip through all of these readings. I can give you five minutes apiece if you like, or I can treat you like you're the only person in the room with my undivided attention, which is what I'm trying to do the best I can with my OCD and just get in the hospital. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Um, I, I, that's the kind of person I am. So like I get, get a mentor and find out what you like about the mentor, find out what you don't like about the competition, find that special niche to be uniquely yours. And as for the queen of wands who showed up in, uh, I believe it was Zeros who was studying to be a dancer. Uh, it's, you have the creativity, you have the fire, you have the passion behind you. You can make this. So again, we're going to get an Oracle card for you, but, um, my song is Naive by uh, uh, Andy Grammer, but your song for you today is I Wish You Pain. And I listen to that song 10 times a day to help me get out of my funk because, you know, I am in so much pain, but it, you're stronger than you know, Lex. You really, really are. I'm feeling it in my heart. You're stronger than you know. You'd have to just stand up for yourself and say, you know what, I'm doing this. And for every time you... You fall, fail every time you fall. You're going to get up a hundred times more. That's what a true friend's going to tell you, and that's me and everyone else here in the chat and everyone else in the Gazelle Show. So let's get an oracle card for you, Lex. You don't have to figure this out all tonight. Just meditate. Be kind to yourself. Thank you, Lauren. 
Okay, you got the growth. Cute little guy. Embrace the power of dance and movement and access your highest guidance. So this is a calling upon you to reach out to your spirituality, to really get to know God's place in your heart and spirit in your heart. You know, you don't have to be a perfect person, you know, or anything like that to get God's favor. God, you are God's child. And unlike our parents who are, have, there's lots of people on my channel who have narcissistic um uh, parents and it's really sad and it's it diminishes you as or makes you, it takes the shine off you but we're here to take a polish cloth and shine you back up to what you're what god meant you to be and and say that we're you're going to reach your highest guidance so let's read from the oracle book lex and um, get a message for you the growth spir spirals and whirls in divine messenger and movement Dance, the sacred dance, as an intention to reclaim, to connect the highest guidance. The dance can take the form of free flow movement, yoga, or any other rhythmic practice that allows you to go into a meditative state. It's here in the sacred place of stillness, surrounded by movement, that we can fully connect more. A new flow of energy brought in by inspired by movement will support your progress. And your affirmation, Lex, is... I seek and open the unique sacral spiral within me. So you are on a journey right now. You want to start a business? Start taking steps, baby steps. Take a journal, write down a piece of paper, things you need to do to start your business. But also find a mentor, find your guidance, find a spiritual mentor if you feel one, or maybe you're okay to do it alone, which you can do it alone. Just concentrate on your, you can read up on chakras. You can um, listen to positive people. Don't listen to, I hate to say the word charlatans, but basically if someone wants something from you and they have an alternative motion to uh, offer you or, or take from you, then uh, that's not uh, the kind of person you want to put your trust in. You want someone who's there for you because if she lives here, oh, wow. Uh, you want someone to really be there for you, okay? So uh, please know that you can you can trust in us. Business, you have the Make-A-Wish card. I remember the card I drew for you before was the Seven of Cups. And in the Seven of Cups, you have all these things. Seven of Cups, each, everything's coming out of the Seven of Cups. There's like a snake. There's a castle. There's jewels. There's Michelangelo's face. There's uh, a serpent. Uh, they, there's everything there and you're trying to decide what's real and what's not. And I'm just saying, go back to the footprint pr prayer and think about those two sets of footprints. And when they disappear to one set of footprints and then the two, and that's when God's carrying you and spirits carrying you. And that's now. So I believe you were meant to meet us tonight. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You were meant to meet our community tonight and we are here with you. So you're not alone. Please reach out to us daily. I'm not monetized. I promise I don't make a penny out of any of this. Uh, but uh, reach out to me even tomorrow and leave a message on my daily read. And we'll continue our friendship. And we'll work together as a community of birdies. Men and women are welcome, but we tend to have mostly women here. So uh, we're here to love you when you're down and when love you when you're suffering and love you when you're discerning. All that. So I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, that, Lex, and it was a pleasure to get to know you. Please keep in touch and know our love is with you. I want to take a moment to read from Sheila, my very first subscriber. Sheila Marie says, just pop in briefly, Laura, as I have to turn in and be up early for work tomorrow. But I know you had your surgery today, and I want to send much love from Jonah, Noah, and I. Thank you. I've received your beautiful white lion. You can trust Laura totally. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, surgery was yesterday. It was yesterday. There was some complications. And um, and there's my IV hole there. Um, but I, tomorrow I was going to do a story time when I once I got a chance to freshen up a bit. I'm still two weeks to go in the shower. So uh, tomorrow was going to be my official thank you to Kindred Spirit who dedicated um, uh, my uh, a reading on the 18th of November for me. Did you see that, Sheila? Wasn't that touching? Oh, my gosh. 
And uh, I had I, I had my operation. I had Ruby's uh, locket with a, a locket of Ruby's hair and a heart shaped locket that Kindred Spirit Ruth gave me um, on me during the operation as well. Yes, yes, I'm so excited to see Sheila. Sheila's one of my regulars. And see, as you guys become one of my regulars, I'll be just as happy to hear from you too. It's like, wow, ah, Sheila's here. And Sheila and Liz. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, Mac, uh, are you here? I love you, Sheila. Thank you. You made the difference. You were the first person to make me have a surgery. And just to let you know about tomorrow, tomorrow in my story time, I'm going to say that I got there and they wouldn't do, they couldn't do the complete operation because I was underweight. So they had to do it with me semi sedated and I was awake and it was so painful I screamed. But I did it. They did their biopsies, but I was awake for it. <laughs> and then Andy Grammer says, well, I wish you pain. So there you go. I, I proved I was strong. I was, I wouldn't be able to do it without Sheila. So Mac, what's your question, please? It's very lovely to have you here with us today. I love you too, says Sheila. Oh, your goodness. You sound, it sounds tough, but you are amazing strong. I am strong because of you. It's because of all the love and light that I give out. It comes back to me in three folds, four folds, five folds. And I wouldn't be able to do it without the birdies. Oh, Twilight surgery, not fun at all. The colonoscopy, the, oh, ooh. Yeah, I had some biopsies done, and it was, um, memorable. <laughs> Thank you. I've been enjoying myself. Thank you, Mac. You're, it's so lovely to have you. Are you your uh, first time uh, with meeting us here at Gazelle Tarot? So my question is about my relationship with my girlfriend. I want to know and what to expect if she's being faithful to me. Okay. So this will just guide us in the energy. And this is an energy fluid. So we're going to first hour. Yes. Will you please welcome to subscribe to Gazelle Tarot. And uh, like our video if you do. And uh, we're not monetized. We're in it for the love and life. I just want to keep in contact with you guys and see how you're doing and get updates and see how you're doing. And please feel very welcome to have conversations with yourselves, like amongst yourselves while I do readings. Sheila is talking to Liz right now, and that's, that's, that makes me very happy because people make friends on this channel, see? So if you feel alone nicely, you can make friends. So this is for Mac and um, about his girlfriend and her likelihood to being faithful. So far, we have the Three of Wands. For Mac and his girlfriend, and to expect, I want to know about expect and if she's being faithful to me. Okay, here we got our card. Oh my heaven! We've got the sun. We've got the star, and we got the three of wands. So I say yes. Your girlfriend is being faithful to you, but I—that's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting faithful. Um, I would like to, I'm not like the kind of tarot reader that, you know, like, like the gypsy and the, you know, we're scaring you and, and, and with the crystal ball and, and smoke and mirrors. I'm the type of tarot reader that reads energy. And the energy that I'm getting is uh, from the sun. You have the sun card here, the star, which is a very beautiful card. And of course, it's your wands. Now the sun card, of course, is like the happiest card in the deck. And it means uh, love and excitement and commitment. And here we have a little bunny looking towards Stonehenge. So that's very, very good to know. Uh, this could also be a, a phase, like a honeymoon phase in your relationship where, um, you know, things are very optimistic and going. But then when you have the star, it's about making wishes and making wishes come true. Now, in the regular Rider Waite, you have one, you have an uh, archangel, you have an archangel um, tipping his toe, one in the water and one in land. So it's like partly in dreams and partly in... Um, in uh, or in the star, my have my apologies. I was thinking of temperance. The star is uh, Aphrodite, who has a dove, and I have a dove sitting on my lap right now, um, in the trees, and she's she's pouring water into uh, a lake and some water onto the ground, and so it's like the water is exchange of subconsciousness and consciousness. So 
Oh, that's very good. Just what, what Liz says here. She said, um, yes, we are a family here in Flocka Friendly Verdes. If someone's cheated on you before, you have to heal. So you don't punish your current girlfriend for it. There has to be trust and love. That's very, see, I told you Liz off, offers a very good practical advice. I'm a very emotional type person. And Liz is very emotional and loving. And also another fellow animal rehabber. But she also is very practical. Uh, I have no earth in my chart, astrology at chart at all. I mean, like, I'm really rare. I'm all my chart is uh, air and water. And my fire sign is a sun sign. So um, I'm very, uh, very empathic, very water, very fluid, very emotion. I really pick up uh, on subtleties. But then then there's the hardcore earth practical facts about things that they tarot also teaches us. And that's very, very true. Did so you have to ask yourself why you think you might? Um, you're all over some fire. See, there we go. That's that's exactly. I, I thought you had earth in your chart. I could tell. Uh Gregory Scott is quad, Gregory Scott is quadruple Earth, uh, but but like like Kindred Spirit says, it's good to have a mix, you know. So then you have many to draw on. But sometimes when you, when you have when you work together as a team, you learn more. But one thing is you have to ask yourself is why would you even think that your partner is cheating on you? You know, that's something I think about because I had previous partners cheat on me. You know, so that is that something like like Liz mentioned. Um, my girlfriend and I are both Capricorns. Oh, that's very cool. Both Earth signs. So they're very practical, hardworking people. Capricorns are cool. Sheila is also a proud Capricorn. Two? I didn't know that. I didn't know he had two Scorpio parents. Because I know his mom's in Austria. We're very global here, all around the world. Yes, Capricorn is a wonderful sign. It's very down to earth, very practical. Uh, they take their commitment very seriously. Uh, having the star says, having the sun says happiness. Having the star says that she, I think she wishes for, for, um, uh, you know, for things to go further and longer for you guys. So I'm very committed. I don't think she would cheat on you. And the three of wands is a very cool card because it is a fire card. And it's actually the young emperor. Uh, of the major arcana uh, standing, um, looking o over the hills. And he's like planning. He's like, it's like the kind of like a falconer. Like, you know, you let go of the falcon and you wait the falcon to come back. Uh, yes, Sheila's here and she's a uh, very proud Capricorn. <coughs> well, actually, one of my best friends of all time is a Sheila is one of my best friends of all time. She's a Capricorn, but also my childhood friend, my teenage childhood friend uh, from Ireland is a Capricorn as well. So I really am attracted to Capricorns. They're very, they're people I relate to. Oh, Mary, you're a Capricorn too. Gosh. But I, I, I attract Capricorns. I don't know why. I'm so flighty. I don't know how guys you put up with me. But yes, this is very much. I think she's, she's probably thinking and discerning about the future, but she's wishing upon a star, and she's very, very happy. And no, I don't see cheating. I don't see cheating. I see her thinking about plans and being practical, and seeing if, like, in the long term, that your goals align. I think this because this is this is a card. It's a three of wands, but also it's a young emperor. So she wants to align your plans. Like, what are your long term plans, and what her long term plans are, and if they're a long term match. So, for example, if you want to go backpacking around the world, like I did when I was young, and the other person wants to study to be a medical doctor, that's not necessarily a good match. Uh, well, that's good to know. But we're also going to read for you an oracle card to help get an idea too of the energy. So this is the divine feather. We have Diego on my shoulder. So this is for Mac and his girlfriend and their future and their faithless commitment to each other. What does spirit would like Mac to know about his girlfriend? We got the we got the loon. We had a loon already today. Pay attention to your dream time. Messages of guidance are drifting in. Diego, isn't he a handsome boy? I don't know if I told you, Liz. Diego got married, and his wife Angel is expecting a baby any day now. There could be a new chick in the house as, as early as tomorrow morning. I saw, and I have a video. Uh, I I have an ultrasound of Diego's baby that I'm gonna post. 
So you can see Diego's unborn baby inside the eggshell. Um, so this is for you, Matt. I know, I know. He's he, uh, Diego's only seven months old and he already got married and has a family. So see, that's an example too. Of, they're doing this type of bird. He's a digin. Normally doesn't get married till they're one year old, and he got married at seven months. So some some people are ready for commitment. It's not age; it's just a number, you know. So let's see what the loon has to tell you about your situation, Mac. The feather messenger urges you to pay attention to your dreams. Dreams are extension of unseen worlds, whether it be from your subconscious mind or from the many realms beyond this physical world. With the presence of the loon, your dreams may seem more colorful and filled with more symbolism and messages. Keep a dream journal and record what you experience. Your dreams can be calling your attention to a certain situation or giving you valuable input. Now is the time to listen and be aware. And your affirmation, Mac, is my dreams and visions are powerful, vibrant, and clear. So now we're going to turn the question around on you. It's like, what are you thinking about your girlfriend? Are you thinking about, you know, getting a promise ring or moving the steps up? So that is very, very special. That is a beautiful, um, the loon makes a beautiful call. If you don't know it, you can look it up on YouTube. They have a very haunting very spiritual call. I know we have a loony in Canada. The loon has other orientations, but we're very proud of our loonies in Canada because the loon is one of our uh, our national uh, treasures or national birdies um, because of the beautiful sound, the haunting sound, the, the song that just awakens your heart. It sounds like an angel. So thank you very much, Mac. I hope you like your reading. And uh, please keep in touch and leave messages on our daily reads. I want to marry your lover. I just want to be sure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's wonderful. I, you got the sun card. You got the star card. You got the three of wands. And, and you got the loom card. So it's like, listen to your dreams. You know, that's wonderful. I mean, uh, it's uh, like some cultures, uh, they give a promise ring. Like if you're really young and you're not ready for marriage, you can buy her like a promise ring. And... Um, Anyone, like someone's dating can wear a promise ring and then you can give her, or you can go right up to the engagement ring. But uh, promise rings are, are very cool too, because that gives you, because I don't know how old you are. Like if you're still very young and need time to discern, a promise ring uh, makes the lady feel very, very special when you have a promise ring on your finger, if you're not ready for the get at the engagement ring. So that way you can bring your level up, your relation up a step higher without like engagement rings means your wedding planning and you're getting going down to the town hall and getting the license and moving in together and all that stuff. And, uh, but if you get like a, a, a nice, uh, air, and they, they're inexpensive, more inexpensive too, but a nice promise ring. Um, I just realized I was responding to an older chat. So I've been out of sync with my comments, must have had my head off to bed for real. Wishing sunny thoughts to us all. Rest well, especially Laura. Thank you very much. I am in pain, Sheila. And hearing from you helps me heal. Truly. I'm going to have an official thank you uh, tomorrow story time on Gazelle Tarot as well as getting back to my readings. This is my passion. This is my love. And I'm, I, I got into tarot when uh, I was first diagnosed with cancer. And Sheila was the one who made me uh, see my sense to go see doctors. Mary's up next. Thank you, Destiny. Fertility. Just as Destiny, avoid diamonds due to social costs. The people lose their lives, money, and then a huge racket. Go for the green garnets. Green garnets? Like Mac here, Capricorn. What is the birthstone of Capricorn? Good night. Lots of love, Sheila. What's the birthstone of Capricorn? I'm trying to think of the birthstone of Capricorn right now. I'll have to look it up if, if no one tells me. Okay, I'm looking it up. First of what you can, um, I mean, sapphires are really nice. Um, but I'll look up the birthstone. I'm sorry, I'm Irish. Birthstone. 
of Capricorn. Garnet. Yes, yeah, so that's what you meant, Fertility. Garnet is garnet. Wow. Garnets are so pretty. They're so pretty. Yeah. So say garnet is. It says garnet for those under Capricorn signs, suitable garnet. Um Lucky stones for Capricorn man. But we're doing them for a lady. But um let's see. Lucky for stones for Capricorn. Ruby, uh, black onyx, but that's not so pretty. Well, it can be if you like black onyx. But it looks to me like, um, do you know what one that looks really nice, Mac, is if you get one with two hearts, like, and it's your, like, a sweetheart ring, it's called, and it has two garnets, and they represent both your birthstones because you're both Capricorns, and it's, like, two hearts with two garnets in them. And uh, that would be really sweet. Yeah, that would be good. Let us know. Keep us in touch. We have a lot of girls on our channel, so they have a lot of ideas of what girls like. Not that you don't know what your girl likes. Anything you choose is beautiful. But uh, I suggest a sweetheart ring with uh, two hearts and uh, garnets. And you can have, as just a suggestion, because you both have the same birthstone. So that's pretty cool. Cat for the Christmas Eve birthday. Wow. Yes, yes, let's hear it for Mac. Congratulations. Let's, when, when were you thinking of giving it to her? Were you going to give it to her soon? Or Hi, Pinkie Pie. So you let us know, Mac. We're very excited. We're, we're doing great. We're having fun. We just found out Mac is very interested in getting married to his girlfriend. And we were just talking about kind of promise rings that maybe, and because they're both Capricorns, he could get like a sweetheart ring with two hearts with both of her stones because they're both, that would look so cool. A New Year's! Whoa, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. Please keep in touch with us. We're, we're all love, uh, we're all romantics here, and we would love to hear it. Very nice, Mac. Keep in contact. Who's on my shoulder now? I can't even tell. Do I have one many jumps do I have? Um, that's very exciting. Thank you, Mac. Keep in touch, please. I really want to know. I'll be thinking of you. Let's see who's up next. I think we had someone help me out there. Destiny said Mac, Mary. So Mary, Mary's next. Thank you, Mary. Would you like to ask a question for us tonight? Yeah, I'm very excited. I love to have love. Thank you. Thank you, Mac. Oh, we're so excited. We're always here for you. We're, I, I, I normally do daily reads, and you can me with lots of different birdies, and I have lots of fishies. Please add me on the list. You're on the list, Pinkie Pie. So, oh, I love romance. I wish where I took my rings off because my partner passed away. But once I was, uh, once I had a promise ring from um, um, a Scorpio, so I wore a topaz and a, a blue topaz because blue topaz can be also uh, December. Mary, yes, thank you so much. Will my ex Chris come back this year? We broke up in July. And he's a Pisces, and I can't, not sure why I can't get over him. Okay. Well, first of all, we're going to have a wee talk. I felt the same way. I I fell in love with this boy, and I'm still kind of in love with him. I know my I had a fiance; he passed away, so I've been single four years. And you know, he still keeps he gives me breadcrumbs. He gives me breadcrumbs. He's worried about my surgeries and and that kind of thing. And he still pulls up my heartstrings, and I just I drop everything just just to hear his name. And um. I still have a piece of uh, cellophane from when we did our first date when I twisted into a heart shape because he bought me a cookie. And when we were on a walk after we had some tea and the gazebo, you know, we had our first hug and all this romancy stuff. And then, you know, when you have all that background, it sounds kind of hokey, but it just, it, it creates in your mind these envisions of how much you love them. And it's so hard to let them go because those moments were perfect. And you can't imagine having them ever again with someone else. And um, 
it's very hard to let go of that. So sometimes it's hard to let go because you know what? Honestly, I had a boyfriend that joined the Merchant uh, Marines uh, once and he said in time, you know, he said, this won't hurt in time. And I said, I don't want it not to hurt anymore because I always want to care about you. I don't want there ever to be a time I don't cry. You're not in my life. This is me when I was much younger. So I just want to let you know, yes, we only dated a short time compared to my other relationships, but I loved him so much and he didn't love me back. I just, I don't know. I want to hear from him. Thank you so much. Yes, our own personal experiences very much. A couple of little cliches I'm going to give you as, 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 as one friend to another. And, and I'm a fellow person who loves someone who doesn't love them back. Um, I even wrote to him yesterday because he was so worried and prays for me every night. And, you know, I, I do exciting things and I, I, I stream uh, videos of my birds to a school in a foreign country. And all the kids get together and got to get well party for me you know just it was just all those children say oh get well soon get well soon and i i sent it to him as almost like not i showed it to all my friends and liz hasn't seen it yet but i'm sure he will is it and uh but it's like i sent it to him almost to say you know what i'm doing well see how well i'm doing with my career teaching children and I'm happy without you and I'm doing my operation by my own, by all by myself. I don't need you by my side. I'm doing great. See how good I'm doing. And all I wrote, I wrote him like this long and he wrote me back in like three lines just saying, sounds like things are going well. I continue to keep you in my prayers. Like if something's not your priority, if something doesn't make you a priority in their life, do they really deserve to be a priority in your life? Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you. I, we are going to do a reading 100% for you. I'm just letting you know that even in, even like yesterday I was, I was on, under aesthetic. So I, I was like, kind of like, it's almost like being a little inebriated when you come out of the hospital and had an operation. But I used a grammar check and I, I wrote him a perfect letter and that's what he gave me back. And I told him that I had like, I, this is a digin and they're supposed to be sterile and um, for some reason, the ster this bird is supposed to be sterile. Like, that's what the vet said. But he conceived a baby, and the baby's going to be born any day now. And I just gave a hint. I just said, like, uh, for your Thanksgiving weekend, I'm going to send you a surprise video and all this stuff. And he never even mentioned about the surprise video. He never complimented me on the little children saying, uh, in broken English, get me get well. Like, what do I care about that guy for? Like, I don't know. I've been in five serious relationships long term. I'm only 22, but I can't get over this guy, even though I'm okay with being on my own now. You sound just like me. You sound just like me. I only was Chris short March, July, which is short. Well, it's ladies. It is and it's not because it's like anything. It's like time is relative. So it's the, you might condense an awful lot in there. You have to take real time to heal and love yourself between relationships. Trust me in this. I had two marriages back to back and it wasn't good. I was I was engaged to get married, but my only time in church with my partner was when his dad died and, and when when he died. But the, the 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 priest was so nice and he he mentioned our love a lot during uh the 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 funeral. So it was sort of like it was our marriage and our funeral at the same time. So I, I know what it's like to be widowed, and also I know what it's like to be dumped, and I know what it's like to be ghosted. Now, how did, like, when you broke up with, with Chris, like, did he still string you along with breadcrumbs? Because that's the feeling I'm getting. My last relationship before, I a year before that, but yeah, I've been back for back with months in between, but still. Yeah, I, for me, I, I've had years, but I've also had major illnesses, too, which... And see, I'll tell you, my friend, he said to me, he knew me when I was healthy. He told me in May of this year, he said, and I'm, my partner's been gone four years. He said, um, if I gained um, 30 pounds, he would like to be with me. Now, how would you feel if Chris said that? If you gained or lost 30 pounds, you'd like to be with me. And I have a potential terminal illness. 
So I said to him, I said, I am the same girl, whether I'm 30 pounds heavier or 30 pounds uh, less. So, um, no, I'm not getting back with you. And he just wanted, like, he just wanted, he didn't even want me. He just wanted to see if he could get me. So I'm just warning you about that with Chris. Um, sometimes that can go on. And Pisces are very secretive. Um, not quite yet, Pinkie Pie, but you're on the list, I promise. Uh, my last to do. Don't settle for breadcrumbs. Okay, we agree. So we're already going into this. But like, as I'm not saying we're all women here, but there is a lot of ladies here, and we we're really close to the high priestess. So it's a lot of intuition, and um, just generalizing. So I shouldn't do that. But um, we're just telling you from other women's helping other women here um, that that's what's probably going on with Chris. Is that he's probably giving you a few lines, just like my friend did. And like last night I got home from my surgery and he says like, oh, let me know how you're doing. Call me as soon as you can. When you get in, oh, I'm so worried about you. And then I pull out like, this beautiful written letter. I used like a grammar program so I didn't sound like I was incoherent. And then they just gives me a few lines. Like he was just seeing what he could breadcrumb me. Narcissistic. Because I dumped him. I dumped him when he said, Oh, yeah, if you gained 30 pounds, I'd like to, you know, get back with you. And we were romantic, and I'm very, very, very selective. This guy had my heart, and perhaps he still does. Good thing Chris and I have been in contact for a month. Yes, it is. Gives you time to discern. So this is about um, whether you and not, you and Chris should get back together. I, and also, time is fluid. So now, might be now, but then... What about two years time? Like people come up. My mother dated my dad when they were in grade nine, and then he made. They got married. Then they dated. My mom got married to someone else, and she got divorced. And my dad dated a few other serious people, and they ended up getting together when they were like twenty three. So, yes, yeah, I feel like also closed off to think if you are attracted to emotionally male person. Very true. See, this is why we love Liz here. If you feel like you're also more closed off than you think, it's your attractive to emotional available person. Yeah. It keeps you safe. It keeps you safe to be attracted to someone who doesn't want you. Because then you don't have to go through this all again. That's psychology. The truth. So right now we're looking at will you and Chris get back together in the foreseeable future? So like soon, okay? That doesn't mean not in two years' time. We're looking at right now. We got a first card. We got two cards. Ooh. We got the lovers. And we got the king of pentacles. We're giving you all this adult advice here. And then we pull out the lovers. But do you know what the lovers used to be called? The choice. That was too many. We can't put it all. We want more card for Mary. Well, he was love bombing you at first. There you go. And also, this is one, it's a like cliche, but it's so true. When people show you who they are, you have to believe them. Have to believe them. I had boyfriends, like, try to dump me, but, like, I'm kind of a nice person. So, like, sometimes when someone likes you but doesn't size, you don't have a romantic future, they try to say, like, I'm not a good person. You can do so much better than me. Like, when people start doing that, that's the gentle trying to let you go. And that's when you gracefully bow out and say, thank you. I respect you. I hope you find someone that makes you happy because I know I'm going off to find someone. I'm wasting my time on you. So here we go. He did tell me he dated a girl in college for two years and never loved her. It would freak me out. Ooh. But totally did. Oh, my gosh, Mary. Did he say he loved you? Oh, are you see Liz and I are on the same. I think Liz and I are in the same spiritual plane. Okay, your final cards here, Liz. Or, um, Mary. You have the Chariot, the King of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Okay. This isn't about just the cards. This is about, that's a red flag. No. 
sometimes what we we just want what we can't have you know i'll try to be brief but i i watch like i'm i'm, I'm a stay-at-home bird mom right now because of my illness and i had a, a celebrity crush which means nothing a celebrity crush right you don't know them on uh, John Kerensky, the, the Jim Halpert from The Office. And I started to watch every video of his, every video. And I tried to get to know who he was. And as I got to know him and know him and know him, and I saw different things about him, I thought, you know what? This guy just has a whole lot of charisma. And then he goes married to Hollywood actress that's, that was relatively famous, um, that is relatively famous. But he used to be with Rashenda Jones. That's the daughter of Quincy Jones and another actress. And she does all this women's rights and reaches out for women in poverty. And she's very, she's very pretty. But not, I'm not, excuse me, my apologies to Rashenda Jones. I'm saying she's like me. She's just, a, she, I, don't, I don't rarely wear makeup. She's, but she's, Rashenda Jones is a natural beauty. She has no, like, no implants. She is like a healthy shape. She's not Hollywood glitz and glamour. She cares about helping women. She helps about her marginalized. Like she's she's musically gifted. She plays lots of instruments. And then, you know, he breaks up with her and then he marries someone who had breast implants, someone who had chin implants, someone who had all the Hollywood deal. And it's like, you know what, like then, then my celebrity crush became, um, you know, Dwight Schrute or or uh, Rain Wilson. I th I find him more attractive now, you know, just because, like, I mean, he's married to the same woman for the last twenty five years from college. He admits that he had al he was addicted to everything under the sun, and now he, um, now he, he he runs Soul Pancake. He reaches out to help other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you kind of get to know. Who people are, like there's they get high by the charisma. If you seek the approval of others and go out of your way to please others, there are some good people who help that uh, gives divine guidance and videos go fancy in Facebook group too. Who next love? Um, after Mary is. After Mary is Ja. Ja is after Mary. Uh, but I mean, I'm always going to be on. So like, I'll, if I don't get you today, we'll get you another time. Uh, just subscribe to my channel. I'm not monetized. I don't do this for money. I do it for love and prayers. And so we'll get back to you another time if you can't stay along. But Jaw is next. If Jaw is not here, we'll work on to the next person. But right now we're talking to Mary. Thank you, Angel. We're growing our community of birdies. Um, the thing is, so, I mean, for someone who said that he lied to his last girlfriend, like that's their way, that's men's way of pushing you away without being the bad guy. Because they don't want to you know what everyone says you should sit down and have a talk to someone, you know, things aren't working out. So I think we should see other people. Do you really want to hear that from someone you love? See, you know, like when people ghost or they distance themselves or like slowly distance themselves, we get the hint. Like, I think it's really kind of brutal in some ways. Like sometimes it's good to just take that sword and cut that bamboo straight and, you know, but, um, Oh, Jazz's still here, so Jazz next. But uh, here's your cards. Now we got the lovers. Now the thing with the lovers here, we have a woman and a wolf, and there's a story about that. In the heart of everyone is two wolves, and this is a Cherokee Indigenous uh, um, legend. And the and this card used to be called the Choice, and now it's called the Lovers in the new tarot deck. But in the old tarot deck, it's called the Choice, and you choose what. One wolf is, 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 a, is a very ferocious wolf, and the other is a very loving wolf. And it, it, in fact, he's not a wolf anymore. He's a domestic doggy. And you ask yourself, well, with which wolf in your heart's going to win? It's the wolf you feed. The reason of breaking up kept on saving me from going through what his ex went through.
Okay. I've been there. I've been there. I've, da I've dated the same guy. <laughs> he did the same thing. He said to me, I, I don't want to date you because I don't want to hurt you. That's his way of saying, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, the lovers mean the choice. You are the wolf you feed. He's feeding the bad wolf. You're feeding the domestic doggy. You're nurturing yourself. And you're nurturing yourself here with with Liz here of, of uh, Fertility Land. And, and everyone. Marcy is here. Hi, Marcy. Marcy is a regular birdie. Um, you, all of us here are nurturing you and loving you. You deserve better. But I have the same problem. I have the exact same problem as you. You know, they catch your heart. And... Um, you know, I had to take his pictures, put them in the uh, in a vegan leather pouch, like a pig leather pouch, and put them in the closet. I can't look at the pictures anymore. There's something about him. I just his sadness in his eyes. The, 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 and then when they when he got angry and frustrated, and when he cried, they flared and they had like he has like black, almost black eyes, but he's like Caucasian and is and is. You know, and we had a lot of in common. I was a twin that died, and he had a sibling that died right before he was born. And, and we had so much in common. I thought, like, I still know you. I know your heart. We're meant to be together and all this stuff. But then he still plays little bread coming games. And no. Yeah, you know, no. Even if he comes back at you, he's giving you breadcrumbs. We have the king of, um, of pentacles here. He's, he's self-indulgent. He's just eating all the grapes he can. And uh, he, he wants you, sure. He wants his cake and to eat it, too. He wants you and every lady. He's, he's secretive, and he thinks he's special because he's so secretive. I feel my wife. Why are you thinking of you? Thank you. I just had my biopsy surgery done yesterday, Marcia. So thank you for thinking of me. And then we also have the chariot. And the chariot is ruled by cancer, which is another uh, water sign, which is about balance. And here we have a beautiful unicorn, but in the Rider weight deck, you're holding it together and it's a chariot and you're, the power is so strong. You can just split in two. You can split in two. It's a, you have to choice the choice. You have the darkness, you have the light and, um, and pets like that try to fix damaged people. That's why we're attracted to these people because we want to fix them, but they, they they thrive in it. They, they think they're so special. Um, uh, Halsey sings a song about that. Um, you know, you think you're so dark and mysterious and unique, but the truth is you're just the same as all the other guys who think they're dark, mysterious, and unique. Like, really, they're, you deserve someone who wants to make you um, their their priority. But we're going to re get an oracle card for you, Mary. This is your oracle card. This is your future. So we're going to forget about Chris. He's a breadcrumber. And believe me, I still suffer the same. I was broken hearted last night over this loser who dumped me because he didn't want to hurt me. And then he kept on coming around. He said, oh, if you gained 30 pounds, I'd like to date you again. Then he needed a surgery. He needed he had a surgery on. He had like a, a day surgery. And he wanted me to go be with him. And I was going through cancer surgeries and CAT scans all by myself. And I still betrayed my own heart yesterday and exchanged mail, 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 you know, you're going to the same thing as me. You're attracting your beautifulness. Your light is attracting this darkness. And he just wants to see how far he can play with you before he discards you. And that's so that's not good enough. You're better off hanging out with us than with him. And when you find the right guy or, or girl, whatever, Whatever your your it seems like your orientation is is towards men, like I'm a, I'm orientated towards men, then you'll know it, and you will make you feel like you're the most biggest priority in your life because that's what you deserve, and this is for your future. This is for Mary's future. And may he help my my heart be healed too. And I stop giving it over to this guy. Same problem. We love too much. There's a book called that for women who love too much. So this is Mary's future. What is in Mary's future? Ooh, this is a feather. The woodpecker. <laughs> it says, 
Use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. See, Mary, this was meant for you. I'm watching little doves running around the room right now. We're going to look up the woodpecker. I'm glad we don't have any trolls around right now. The message is... The divine woodpecker drums his way into your consciousness to suggest the use of power and discernment for now. Using your mental energy and fortitude, you already possess what will be essential in your path of realizing your goals. Notice if you tend to be hard-headed or stubborn in relation to what may be a challenge. Can you allow a new rhythm to come into your way of doing things? You know, I have, and I told my, my betrothal or my heart broken breadcrumb man, you're my, my version of Chris. I said to him, I said, I'm learning to breed fish from eggs. I'm live streaming to foreign countries to help teach children how to speak English. I'm, I'm hanging out with my neighbors. I'm having a great time with my birdie. And I'm having, you know, I'm doing my health and I'm going to grow. And I know I, that I'm going through cancer and my recovery by myself. And God's here with me and God's all I need. And if anyone ever tells you that you, I couldn't have never got through this without you or never got through this without you. You're lying because God is all we need. Spirit is all we need. So basically I told him in my letter, I never needed you anyway. So you never needed him anyway. And you've got the woodpecker. And he's saying you have it all. Now, can you allow the new rhythm to come into doing new things? The answer is yes. Many blessings. Uh, there's a question the woodpecker has for you, though. Use your focus and fortitude to this message. To hammer your way to a for a purposeful way. So pick a goal and start working at it. And as you found that power to realize your dreams are supported... By the universe, it will become easier to find the rhythm you seek. So already you found lots of support here. I promise every time we live stream, you're one of us. We just said hello to Marcia. We had Sheila here tonight. We have Liz. We um, have uh, like regular people who have been with me for two years now. And Sheila, yes, Sheila was here. And, um, you know, uh, probably take a two. Yeah, I take a while. I'm still suffering the same thing. Do you know that big eclipse we had? Um, back in 2017, at the end of August, that was uh, a date we were supposed to be together uh, for that big solar eclipse. And um, basically what happened, we didn't get together that day and we tried everything. I saw people getting married in the park and um, God kept us apart from that special day because that was a day we were trying to rekindle our, our relationship. And we thought that was a special, that's a, that happens like once every hundred years or something crazy. And we were kept together that day and we met up that following week. Um, but we wanted to watch the solar eclipse together and I spent it alone. And um, it was just a sign from spirit. Like sometimes rejection is God's protection is what I'm hearing. So your affirmation, Mary, is I align thought and wisdom and fortitude in all my actions. So he's going to be your temptation, but he can be something like you. You indulge in, like, wait, sometimes you can indulge in a good cry and a cuddle. Like, I mean, yesterday I was crying over this guy, and it's like, I've loved men since him, but for something about him. Yeah, we all have our, our he might have been like your soulmate in a former life or something like that, but he's not your soulmate in this life. And you show who you are by saying, hi, Naomi, by saying, no, you only get one chance. Until I'm your priority, you don't. He'll only do it again. If you let him back in your life, he'll just do it again. So if you want to do it again, you just know now it's going to happen. Yes, it is Naomi, but I think we're going to close the list after Naomi. So after Naomi, we're not going to take any more new people. Just so I can have a, a sleep and I get up in the morning and do my daily read for all, all you guys. So welcome, Naomi. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you're welcome to be a birdie. Uh, we don't charge anything on our channel. We're here for love and light. 
Thank you, Mary. We really need you here. You help me too. You know, you help me too because I'm a girl going through that same thing. And I just, I met someone and they touched my heart like no one else has. And I don't even know why. I mean, he was the same height as me and I'm five foot five. You know, he, he was my quote unquote type in any way. And uh, he, I don't know what did it. Something happened. And, and so we connected and we, I, I, he, I know we felt it too. And, but they just, they just want, they, they just, they get lost in their own. They, get, they, they love the being sad. Oh, Shay, there is a list. You're the last one. Shay's the last one. We were, we said Naomi was, but now Shay is the last list. So who's up next after Mary? Thank you, Mary, for joining us. We're very honored to have met a friend today, and um, to have met you, and we have a lot in common. So you're, you're among friends. Okay, Shay, thank you. So who's next? Thank you, Mary. So Ja was next. Ja, is Ja still here? Thank you. Looking for Ja. Ja might have gone to bed. Yes, you're here. Will I finally find real love and uh, with a new guy soon? Okay. We'll do the tarot. Oh, God. I keep on trying to cut the list. Okay, yes, you can, but there's there's a fairly long list, uh, Lindis. Uh, but after you, we're going to have to say um, then Shay, and then, okay. Um, so you're next, Ja, and now we're going to say list of clothes. Otherwise, we'll be past midnight, and my neighbors will get start knocking the broomstick on the ceiling and get mad at me. So this close, um, thank you. Please subscribe and see you next time. And stay with us tonight. There we go. There we go. So then we have to close the list sometime. Otherwise, I've had once had a 10 hour. What do we have, Liz? Liz was there for We had a 10 hour and 37 minute stream. So Josh says he would like to know. Um, are you welcome to stay? You don't have to leave, Linda. I met it out of love. I just. Um, everyone's welcome. It just. Oh, thank you. Thank you for subscribing, Naomi. Um, so here we are with, uh, will I find a new guy soon? Will Ja find a new guy soon? Four swords. Sounds like you're in a restful time. The definition of soon. So we have um, the four swords, which says we're at a time of rest. So this is may not be the most active time for you to meet someone because you're in time of discernment. You're contemplating uh, in the Rider Waite, it's the soldier who's like meditating before he's going off to war, before he takes on his next goals and battles. So maybe this is a really good time for you to really discern what you're looking for in a new guy. So like maybe you want to set some boundaries and standards of what you're willing to put up with, you know. Like, for example, for myself, uh, one boundary I have is I only, uh, I'm exclusive. That's something I want. I don't want to date more than one person I court so I, I can go on dates I can copy dates but I'm only I'm exclusive I only that get romantic with one person at a time so I only I want that so you could say well you can make a manifestation list especially uh with the new moon uh the energy is very strong for making a, a manifestation list um when you uh decide what you do because this is the four of swords so this is a time of you reflecting so this doesn't seem like an active time i always need to meet guys who walk away after so long 
I'm single. My last partner passed away to cancer, but prior to that, I, I've been dumped. I've been ghosted. I've been cheated on. I've had, I've had all those things and I've let some people go too. Um, so it's, it is very, very difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult. The whole thing to do is do it with integrity and with love in your heart and always think about the other person and how they feel too. Um, but if they're treating you poorly, the best thing you can do is yeah, it's time to think of you. But when I see the four swords, I think it says that you need time for a little bit of discerning of what you might need in your new guy. Maybe there's been, is there a pattern in your past relationships that you keep repeating that turn out to be bad guys? Like, honestly, and I, and I this is me being very honest and it's hard to admit, but um, every serious relationship I had prior to my fiance, like serious relationships long-term relationship. I had a, a domestic violence. And uh, then my last partner, I, I was with six years, who died of cancer four years ago. Um, he never hit me. He never raised his voice at me. He never swore at me. And uh, he said that he never would. So, you know, maybe that's something, if you look in your past, it's like, well, I had a guy that used to emotionally abuse me or physically hit me. Um, but that's, uh, that's a deal breaker for me. There's no second chances. I'm done making excuses. Like, you know, you make your list, like make a list of things that are important to you. Uh, definitely manifest what you want traits and personality wise. You know, I, I'm a very shy person. So I like, a I like someone who's a little bit more outgoing and friendly than me sometimes, but you don't want a big flirt who always likes you know, I don't like people who are liking, you know, bikini shots and Instagram. I don't think that's an insult or in insecurity about me. I just think what kind of guy who's an adult who's in a dating relationship needs to go on Instagram and press the little like button. What is he like that little that little bird that drinks water? Don't don't like 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 I mean, they, I need some maturity in a man. So maybe you need to reflect in yourself and what you really look at that. You know, if, uh, and also head games and all that kind of stuff. Now we have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is basically someone who is not a very uh, a good mix for you. Because they, they are, just as I mentioned, they're, they're, maybe you've dealt with someone who was very jealous and possessive in the past. And someone who is sneaky and, um, oh, Pinkie Pie, you're on, Pinkie, oh, Star, we closed the list. But if you stick around, um, I'll, I'll squeak you in. But Pinkie Pie, I'll make sure Pinkie Pie's on the list because Pinkie Pie's been here a long time. But um, Liz has been taking care of the list. Um, let's take a peek here. Yes, Pinkie Pie's on the list. Shay's on the list. Um, Pinky, you have a few. Sorry, Star. Oh, but did is um? Well, I'll ask one question. Did did um did Lindia leave for good? Cause she retracted her question. Is Lindia still still here? No, yes, you're still here. Okay, okay. So Shay. I'm sorry, sweetheart. If if um, if you're still here at the end, I'll do. I'll put you on. But there's quite a list ahead of you. But if not, we'll get you another day. Okay, I'm so sorry. Please subscribe to our channel and keep in touch. But um, we've been streaming for two hours and and a half, and our longest stream was ten hours and forty seven minutes. I just got out of the hospital, had uh, some day surgery, and um, but uh, please stay with us and. Um, and if you're still here at the very end, we'll make sure you get a read. So right now we are talking uh, to um, Ja and whether or not she will meet a man soon. So I see there's there's a man around, but I don't know if he's a good, a good choice for you. If there's someone that's kind of like a cool cat or charming you with their charisma or, you know, too cool for school kind of guy, uh, maybe be Larry. Uh, if, if there's someone that you think is kind of sly, you know, be wary of the people that are too, um, you know, too afraid of, of commitment and are too afraid to say that you're their girlfriend or too afraid to 
uh, show you off to your friends, that kind of thing. That's what I'm seeing here, this energy. Um, yeah, there's an energy of something like that. Like you shouldn't uh, have that. Oh, dear. we closed the list. But if you stick around to the end, I'll see what I can do. I just want to have, I do have, I had day surgery. I was at the hospital and um, I want to make sure I get to bed around midnight at least so I can do my daily read in the morning. But if you're still stick around at the end, we'll see what we can do. Okay. I'm sorry. We did officially close the list. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. But keep in touch. Uh, subscribe to Gazelle Tarot. Keep in touch and we'll get you. Uh, please take care. Thank you. Uh, and then we have the four cups. And I think that's what this indicating here is that you're you're kind of bored, as we all are in this time. I'm single myself, and um, I'd like to have a guy that could take me out on the town or give me something, a reason to dress up nice, you know, or that kind of thing. And it would be nice to have a new guy in my life. But um, right now, we're kind of contemplating uh, life, just like with the four swords. You got two fours here, so it says that. But also with the Four of Swords is sometimes you don't realize maybe the new guy in your life is actually already in your life. He's just someone you just haven't noticed before. Someone you have to see with fresh eyes. There might be that wallflower there waiting the whole time that's like, oh, wow, you've been there the whole time? Like, is, is there like a platonic friend you have that you think maybe that maybe could be? Well, thank you, Stephanie, for subscribing. Um, uh, is there, is there like a platonic friend? Yeah. Is there, is there, is there someone that you think that might be, um, Stephanie? Oh, we closed the list, but if, if, if you, um, if you stick around, I'll make sure, uh, you get a reading. Okay. If you stick around, we'll get a reading. There is quite a list ahead of you. Um, uh, I just had day surgery. And I just got out of the hospital and I've been online for two and a half hours or so. And um, I was hoping to go to bed around midnight. So if you're still here, we have just quite a list ahead of you. But I love, yes, I want to give you a reading. And also, thank you for subscribing. And you'll get to see our daily tarot tomorrow. And you'll see probably lots of little doves because I always have, my pets are always with me. But I'll do my very best, of course. Thank you. So, um, but it says with the four of cups, that uh, we're not, we're, we're, there might be something in our midst or spirit is intentionally giving you a time out to let things fall in place for you to get the right guy. So I don't see the new guy coming very soon. But maybe spirit needs time. So with divine timing, it makes things all line up. So use this time wisely to do things you really enjoy, discover new hobbies, like really and uh, treat your pamper yourself, uh, you know, do what you enjoy. Uh, my hair is terrible. I lost all my hair last January for my treatment. So my hair is just growing back. So I grew this hair in 10 months, 11 months. So that's not bad for 11 months. Um, but use this time to spoil yourself. And uh, and uh, that will be. So is, is that okay for now? Friendship is a good base for rent. Yes, it is. It's a true one. Because once people care about you, they don't want to use you the same way. Destiny, are you next? Who's next on the list? Yes, thank you, thank you. Is Destiny our next? Um, let's see who we are. We have Jaw. Then Destiny, yes, Destiny, you posted, yes. Uh, how does Keen feel about me? Okay, that's a good question. Get out our tarot. Thank you very much, Shaw. It was a pleasure to meet you. Please keep in touch. I'd love to. I'd love to see how you're doing. Oh, we got we got one card already. We got a unicorn card for you. Thank you. Good night. How does Keegan feel about destiny? Ooh, ten of cups. This is a very good reading so far. One more card. 
Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. And we're also going to throw in an Oracle card to make sure that we have uh, a good reading for how uh, Keegan feels about you. Okay. So first of all, we have the Chariot. And the Chariot is in a very emotional card. It's ruled by the, the sign of Cancer. And it's very fluid and it's about balance. And it sometimes is about, uh, if you go at a certain rate and the chariot's going around a certain rate and you have to keep things perfectly because otherwise you have too many sp plates spinning. And I think Keegan's probably feeling like trying to decide where he has his time in his life um, to spend with you, like how to make you a priority, how he wants to work you into his his routine, into his life, into your dating schedule, how to intertwine your lives. So he's in a time of discernment of how he wants to best do that. But uh, you're definitely, definitely on his mind. We have the Ten of Cups, which is the happy family cards, which means that he cares very deeply about you. And it's also the Make-A-Wish card. So obviously, since you're asking about how he feels about you, uh, then that means you probably are hoping that uh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. We closed the uh, um, the the chat, but if you stick around to the very end, I'll see what I can do. We're trying to go to bed for midnight. I had day surgery, and we've been online um, close to three hours now. I'm sorry. Please subscribe to our channel, and uh, remember that um, uh, we'll be here for you. And uh, but I'm sorry, uh, we did close the list. I'm sorry. Please stick around though. Enjoy our readings. Uh, but make a wish. So what you're wishing for, like if you're wishing that he has warm, tingly uh, butterflies in his tummy, then perhaps you're getting your wish kind of, is coming true. And your final card is, um, list is closed for now. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. It's so hard for me to say that to someone. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about, uh, it's a very strong Virgo energy. And it's about perfection and it's about being very precise and also about being pressure. So he might be afraid to confide his feelings um, on how you uh, feel, Lauren. But uh, Destiny, I'm talking to Destiny right now. I get a lot of chats in the sides. I just want to make sure everyone's cool. So, um, so we're dealing with a very strong Virgo energy here and perfectionism and where he, maybe he's also kind of the person that he, he loves or, you know, he has warm, fuzzy feelings and he's afraid of being rejected. So he's afraid to show you how he feels or tell you how he feels. But, uh, I see warm fuzzies and make a wish and very happy, very happy. And, but the perfectionism and just the fear of uh, rejection maybe is something he's afraid of. He just wants to make sure you're on the same page. So maybe you could do something just kind of nice. Uh, ask him for help with something, uh, whether it be, I don't, I don't know your, your life situation, but if he's someone in your daily life, you could ask him to, you know, help you um, with your phone. You could say like, I don't know how to use this app. Can you help me with this app? Or I'm really not sure how to do this or this or just men love when they feel useful. Uh, so you can ask them, you could ask them if, you, if uh, or even ask him, like, can we take a selfie together or something like that? And see if he giggles and laughs, like see, see his reaction of what it's like, what it's like to have your picture taken together. Like we're doing like an impromptu selfie. Like if he says, why, you know, that says something, but it says make a wish card. So I see this is very promising. But for you, Destiny, we're also going to draw an oracle card. So this is about how uh, Keelgan uh, feels about Destiny. We had a card on board already, my heavens. We got the flicker. The flicker is a very beautiful bird. New rhythms are coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. So let's see what the book has to say about the flicker. The message, the divine flicker is the master drummer bringing awareness to where now is growing and moving 
and beating a new path in your life. This will be presented as a fluid and adaptive shift. So how he's feeling about you is going to gradually reveal itself. This will be presented as a fluid and adaptive shift. Now is the time to examine your past patterns and experience these during these shifts. Do you resist following natural rhythms of change? Self-limits are generally our most formidable hurdles. So, like, are you feel shy? Do you feel like, oh my gosh, like, like, try, try to feel confident, even confident in yourself that even if you do feel shy, whatever, that things are going to work out right. Like, say, invite you a bowling, and you're not a good bowler. Just go with it. Go with it, and laugh at yourself when you make silly mistakes. Things like that. Um, use your greatest gifts of the flicker to help you through any resistance you might have. Trust that this change is a sign of positive movement and growth toward your life. So this shows that you're growing closer to your friend. And your affirmation is, I trust in the infinite rhythms and the flow of life. So how does he feel about you? Well, it looks like me that your, your, the infinite flows of rhythm and life are going to bring you closer together. So this is a very positive, happy reading for you on how Keegan feels about your destiny. So thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. We are Gazelle Terrell. And uh, again, please please like our channel if you are enjoying our videos. And also um, subscribe to our channel to enjoy our daily views, uh, videos. There's normally a birdies or fishies involved. And I really want I really care. And you are shy. Oh, yes, I'm shy too. I'm shy, but you could just go and ask him for help. Men love that. Even if it's something you already know how to do, but something to make it like, can you show me how to um, do something on your phone? Or, uh, you know, can you, I, I just, you know, maybe get a selfie. Wouldn't it be nice to have you and a selfie together with him or something like that? Let's just do something. It's like, can you help me take a selfie? I'm not good at taking selfies. Can you show me, can you take a selfie of us and show me how it's done? And then, then you get a picture of you and him together, and then he feels special, and then it's up to him to kind of carry on the conversation. So I think that's fun. So I really love this. I really I feel really good about this energy. So thank you so much, Destiny. I'm very happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope to see your name again soon, and tell us how it goes. So... Uh, Next up is who? Oh, we had thank you for Tality and Pinkie Pie. So after uh, Destiny is Lauren. So we're looking for Lauren. Is Lauren still here? Pinky was asking for Lauren, and now I'm asking for Lauren. If you left Lauren and you come back before the end of her stream, we'll get you. But if not, we'll get you next time. Uh, leave me a message on our daily reads and keep in touch. And I'm sure you probably had to go to bed by now. So next up is Pinkie Pie. Is Pinkie Pie here? I know you are. What are CR's feelings and intentions towards me? Thank you. Okay. CR's feelings and intentions towards me. When I did this about the guy I had a crush on, I got the five of pentacles. And I was using the animal totem deck, and it was five deceased badgers in the back of a truck. <laughs> and the message was that the five deceased badgers, although it's sad that they were died, at least the family got to eat that night. It's like... That wasn't a good omen for my good life, my love life. But for you, it's going to be better than that, hopefully. So already the lover's card popped out for you. We got the lovers for you, Pinkie Pie. No, that, that, that was for me. That wasn't for you. The, the, that, not you. You got the lovers. I got I got the dead badgers. Um, um, and we had a bunch of cards follow, so we'll get some more. So you got the lovers so far? <laughs> I just laugh at my pain because someone asked to. We got five of swords coming. 
Five of Swords in the last ring. Hi, even the UK, first time you are. Welcome, Lewis. Our list is supposed to be closed, but if you stick around, we'll see if we can get you in. Be strong. Thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of friends in the UK. I'm half Irish, I'm half Scottish, but I'm knit in Northern Atlantic, Canada. We're doing a reading right now for Pinkie Pie on what how CR feel and has attentions towards her. The Knight of Swords. Very interesting. So we have the lovers, which is, which is the choice. I've already told you, and perhaps you saw. Yes, the readings are supposed to be closed. I find it very hard to say no to people, but very you're very, very good into the end, then um, I'll squeak you in. But if not, we'll have to get you next time. But please subscribe to our channel. We're not monetized. We're here just for friends and love, fellowship, and community. And I do a daily read, so you can watch your daily read and, and let me know how you're doing tomorrow. But I just had surgery, day surgery, and uh, we've been online about three hours. I was hoping to get a bed around midnight. But um, if, if you're still around, I, I find it very hard to say no to people. So if you're, if, you're, if you're really determined to get a reading tonight, we'll make you get one. But right now we're talking to Pinkie Pie and uh, how, how CR has feeling intentions towards you. Well, we got the lover's cards. So this shows romantic love. So there's love. Um, the lover's, as I mentioned, is the choice. So perhaps, though, um, it could be. I wish I oh. Thank you, Lois. Thank you. Please keep in touch with us. Um, so I, I just would like you to belong to our community of birdies. We normally have birdies or fishies on our channel. And oh, look at that! Fertility puts you in. But if you if you've gone to bed, I understand it's very late where you are. I guess it's very early where you are. Um. But uh, you're, you're always welcome. You're, we're a community and we're full of love and light and we're just here to support each other. Right now we're doing Pinkie Pie. So the lovers is for you, uh, Pinkie Pie. But I just get a feeling too, it used to be called the choice. So although he might have loving feelings towards you, um, he might also have, might have some discernment about some other uh, prospects in his life right now. So be very careful with your heart right now as well. Uh, he might be testing the waters, and it's up to you of how far you're, uh, you know, willing to, you know, go with that with your heart. But uh, make sure he's very honest with his intentions, because I see here he's going to be coming in very, very fast with the knight as a knight of swords. Oh my heavens! Well, you keep safe. Hundred, a few hundred miles away. My goodness. Well, you, you're in our prayers. Let's everyone keep Lewis in his prayers and his and and the beautiful little loved ones. Just the two little, uh, two young. You work with the youngsters. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Well, you're in our love and our prayers. So we don't get to you. Then please know that we're thinking of you, Lewis, and keep safe and come back and see us. If 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 you're not still here. So please remember, Pinkie Pie, that he could be discerning other people. And be wary if he's coming in too fast. Because this is the Knight of Swords. And they come in. They come in. He comes in. He loves bombs. Like, he's a, he's a love bomb, but he's almost an aggressive love bomb. Like, he's like, um, he's like rolling the barrel out. Come have a barrel of fun. Like, he's like, if, if someone comes at you too fast and, uh it might mean that they're just, he's just trying to, you know, put as many fish hooks in the water as he can and find out uh, if you're available, if you're interested. He might not want, he want like, sometimes men, they want to know, or, or, or partners, or even if ladies, they want to know if they can have you. It's not that they want to have you. So be very careful of that. And the reason why I say that, because we have the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords is... Um, is a sneaky fellow who kind of like goes about uh, the wrong ways of, of, of getting what he wants. So beware of someone with uh, a lot of charisma. Thank you very much, Lewis. So I'd be very careful uh, of, on how he feels. I think he's, I, you know, honestly, I don't think he knows how he feels and that he's kind of like, 
he's on he's like on a he, he's on a he, he's driving a bicycle with a wiggly wheel and he's not quite sure how he feels but he has loving attention towards you but i'm just not sure you're the only person on his mind right now that's what i'm seeing but that is not necessarily that's right now that's i mean he may choose it so i think we're going to draw an oracle card to um get a clearer picture of what um CR is thinking of you, okay? We got the lovers, but we also got some sneaky underhanded stuff. He might be the kind of person that would get you at all costs. He might be kind of cyber stalking you, things that you're not comfortable with. A lot of things go behind the scenes that we don't know about. I know that because I live in an apartment with thin walls and all my neighbors live in, you know, I hear them squabble and I had that kind of thing. So. No, 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 that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying to just be cautious, just to be cautious. Some people are like, you know, some people, like me, I'm just so shy and careful that, you know, I might want to see, like, what they're, what, like, stalking your social media, like, you know, that kind of thing. He might want, he might be doing it just so he can see if you're single. Like, what are you posting? Like, my, my, I have, um, I have two Facebook channels. I have one with Gazelle Taro, and then I have one with uh, a charity I volunteer with. But then sometimes my YouTube friends um, end up, for my tarot channel, end up on my actual real one. The charity one was my real one. Like, not my real one, but my one that says my, my common name, which is not a secret. Everyone knows my real name. Uh, but... Uh, it's just like they're checking up. I can see this person checking up on you. And maybe you find that offensive or maybe you find that as a compliment. Some people don't like that. Some people find it. Oh, what do you mean? You know, and some people do. Oh, I have an email uh, address. Yes, I do. But also um, the best way is for you to contact me Um uh, tomorrow, when I put out my daily read, leave your message there, and um, we'll get any contact with email right there. Because there's an email message I have for work for for my Gazelle Tarot channel, and it's it's there's thousands of emails a day there. Because every sometimes someone likes a video, I get a comment. So if you really want me, um, we'll give you a different address that um, that just the special people have. Just the special people who want to reach out, like Liz has. Like Liz has my personal address. Oh, okay. So this is this is for you, Pinkie Pie. This is very important card. This is how uh, CR feels about you. <gasps> the hummingbird. Release what you've been carrying. Lighting up. New joy is on the way. Oh, okay. So what I'm seeing now is that maybe he's been burned in the in the past. So he is a little afraid of commit of you know letting his feelings show for you because I mean you got the hummingbird, um, but I did see those things there. I did see that he might be you know he might be discerning some other ladies, and I do see things like he's sort of like searching you out. He might be asking your friends questions about you. I mean that's not a problem, but um, some people don't find it a compliment when you go and and uh, look them up on Facebook, and some people do. I mean, it's a social media, and if you, if you really don't want people to know, you just change your privacy settings, but. What did I say? I forget what it was. was I, I was dating a lawyer, and I looked up his law firm, and, he's, he's, and he was like, I let take him back. I was like, well, why did he give me the information where you work then? Anyway, um, I wasn't doing it for devious reasons, but I mean that kind of, that kind of thing, you know. So here we go. This is what uh, CR feels towards you with the message of the hummingbird. The hummingbird message signals a time of new joy and accomplishment in your life. It is important to let go of any burdens or negativity so you may fully receive the gifts on their way. Past desires, dreams, and new opportunities are surfacing. Hummingbird signals the time is right to embrace all these blessings. 
slow down, take the time to enjoy the process and sip the sweetness of this upcoming period. Lightness of being is the gift of the hummingbird. Joy, sweetness, and freedom. And your affirmation is, I am light, joyful, and free. I embrace the sweetness of life. So what I'm seeing here for you, uh, Pinkie Pie, is that enjoy this time. Enjoy this this tingly butterfly time where you're trying to discern. I really think, uh, I really like the idea of asking someone for their help and something very easy, something like, again, your phone um, or your iPad. You know, you could say, I don't know what's with this iPad. I've been trying to change my screensaver. Can you help me, please? You know, that kind of thing. Get a conversation going and... And then find, uh, let him pick a screensaver for you or ask what his screensaver is or like get a conversation going and, um, uh, you know, get a selfie, get something like that. But this is a sign of new opportunities, but it says live in the present. So enjoy this tingly time because it could be one of those times you're going to cherish forever is the beginning of a relationship, you know, when those new little sprouts of love start to blossom. So this is very good. But just be careful. There is chance, potential of jealousy and um, him not really being sure you're the one, only one. Hello, Nico. So thank you so much, Pinkie Pie. Keep in touch with us. We want to know how it goes. So let's see who's up next. We have... Go on, Piggy Pie. Lindita. Hey, Lindita. Are you okay, Piggy Pie? Hope I didn't upset you. The hummingbird is beautiful. Do you have fire or, or earth in your chart? You're, you're very much a leader, Pinkie Pie. I like you very much. Ask him the... Yes. Okay. That's important to me. Uh, ask him on behalf of my mother. Will her work take her back? She's injured her arm at work one year ago and wants to return back when she's covered. Oh, Scorpio. Yes, yes. Okay. Scorpios. Kindred, kindred spirit, Ruth and Ruby. Uh, that's my mentor. She's a Scorpio, and my Midhaven's in Scorpio, but Scorpios are very strong leaders, and um, I just see you have a strong lot of leadership qualities, and that's a compliment. Just like Liz. Liz is a Capricorn. She's a nurse sign. She's very strong, too. Uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very, a lot of air on my chart, a little bit of water, and uh, but mostly air and water and my fire sign. So um, it just shows out in our personalities, yes. So we're going to hope your mom is taken back to work. That's a rough one. I know. Been on sick leave. Depending on your country, too, and the laws of your country. Some countries, they have to take you back. Depending on how you were let go, if you're injured, especially if you're injured at work and the settlements and all that stuff. So this is our first card. We get the three of wands. That's a good card. Hopeful. Looking towards the future. Get another card here. The King of Cups. Ooh. One more card for Lindita's mother. Three of Cups. Very good. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, very, very positive. The King of Cups is a very good communicator and a very just ruler. So we're looking at if they do take your mother back, your mom is going to get full respect and honored and they're going to welcome her back with loving arms and they're not going to hold anything against her about her accident or anything like that that happened, um, which can happen sometimes in businesses. Like if you've been hurt at work, 
they might be leery because they don't want you to get hurt again, or there could be hard feelings if you got a settlement. But that's not what I'm seeing here at all. I see goodwill and, and intentions towards your mom at your workplace. I see the three of wands. Now, the three of wands is actually the emperor when he was young looking over a cliff. And it's, he's at a point where, like, he's releasing a falcon. And the falcon's going out to bring a message. And he's waiting for the message to return. So this is you. This is you with the fiery energy of hope. And three is a very special number. It's a, it's a sign of the trinity. It's of your heart, your mind, and your body. So that shows a lot of healing. Um, I think I think they miss her presence, says Liz. Liz, Liz is another tarot reader. And she's my moderator. And uh, she offers great insights into my reading. So we, we sort of do it in tandem. I feel best when I have Liz here uh, offering her, uh, her, her feels on the cards as well. Very important. But it just brings us, again, it just shows how we're a community here. It's all about being in the spotlight. It's about sharing in the community. So, um, so they do miss your presence. And they have also the card that we drew for you was the Three of Cups, which is a very social card. It's a very friendly card. It's a card, it's a card of a celebration of friendship and of, um, of good news and people getting back together, people uniting. So I say yes. I say yes, definitely. I think your mom has to take care of herself and make sure that she's really, um, you know, really recovered. And uh, I love you too, Liz. Thank you. You've been such support during my, my, my operation. And I'm doing a special uh, story time tomorrow. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to shower first, but I'm two weeks to go in the shower. I still have all my IV patches on and stuff like that for my surgery. Be very happy. She's been crying, sad. I went to surgery. Like, oh, well, maybe they'll take her back um, as a part time at first, just because there's probably cutbacks. But I do see them taking her back. And we'll also get an oracle card just for your mom, okay? So she'll have an oracle card you can tell her about as well. It's very hard with the economy right now and the cutbacks. But uh, your mom is, they miss your mom and they value her, her hard ethic. So if they, if they don't take her back, it's nothing personal. It's definitely all about the money. It's not about her. They miss her. You can tell her that. Two tarot readers said that they, they know that they missed her. See, the Gazelle Tarot, you have two tarot readers in one. So this card is for your mom. And we got the eagle. Your mom got the eagle. Heavens. What strength. So... This is a message for your mom. And another thing, this is a t taped, so you can timestamp. Um, it's 3.07 right now, so if you want your mom to see this reading, you can play it back for her. Just look around three three minutes or three hours into our reading, uh, and your mom can see this herself. Uh, and the eagle is the, is the oracle card that we drew for her. Uh, as you begin to soar, with eagle, you are able to reach new levels of spiritual understanding, knowledge, and connection. The eagle feather indicates great spiritual awakening, and happening is on the horizon. The power and grace of eagle is a steady reminder that this call demands personal responsibility as you begin to raise your vibration and perspective, as it's important to notice what you see from this higher place. Use this vantage point to bring new visioning into your life. Hold on as Eagle tells your highest point as, as you reach he, Eagle's highest point yet. And those are dove singing in the background. Know that the divine energy of the great spirit watches over your, you and Eagle as well. So divine spirit, God is watching over you. You have the protection of the eagle and the grace of the eagle and you're soaring. And remember again, if something happens, rejection is God's protection. So if you don't get this job, that means it was God's divine timing. Something better is going to come along. It's definitely nothing personal. That two tarot readers told us that. Liz is also a tarot reader and so am I. 
So that is wonderful. And you got the most, I think the most beautiful oracle and the deck, you got the eagle. So congratulations and good luck and to your mom. And I hope she takes care of herself too. Make sure she continues on with her, with her injury. I have arthritis and stuff and um, make sure she continues with home therapy and that she keeps her arm exercised so that the injury doesn't recur. I have arthritis, something terrible. So I do Pilates. Pilates is good for that. It's very gentle. And love to you and your mom. So let's see who is next. Very nice. Thank you very much. Um, I hope please subscribe and like our stream. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with everyone tonight. So let's see who's next. Naomi, Naomi, yes, please. General reading for Naomi. This is so much fun for me. I mean, I just got out of the hospital, so I'd be just lying here alone looking at my fish and my birds, and instead I get to come online and talk to people from all around the world. Journal reading. Oh, my gosh. We got three cards popped out at once. What happened there? Oops, there we go. Three cards popped out at once. And I think we're going to go with it. It, it. just They jumped right out for Naomi. I see Lendita did, retracted all her messages. Maybe she's one. Some people... They're very sensitive about uh, tarot, and they, they don't want other people to know. So they, that, so th that's why some people do that, and I understand that. I do, because some people, like, they don't understand that. We're just here in love, light, and prayer, and we, we believe in goodness and light, and some people think tarot is something different. But some, for some people, tarot is, but not for us. Tarot is a tool. It's like a, it's like a gun. You can use it for good. You can use it for bad. Um. So these are your cards, and they're absolutely amazing, Naomi. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Pentacles, one of my all-time favorites. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, so very, very strong energy. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, it shows that you have uh, good luck coming your way. You might have had things kind of grinding a little bit slow lately, kind of lulling a boat, and you're in for a, a rush of good luck which is very, very lovely indeed. Um, something unexpected is going to happen in a good way, and you're going to just, you're just going to feel your heart lifted with joy. With the Six of Pentacles, you're dealing with the energy of Scorpio, the sun in Scorpio, but in a nostalgic reconciliation kind of way. Perhaps you're going to reconcile something to yourself or going to reach something within your own self-acceptance. And you're going to feel very happy. You're going to see things maybe with a little bit of rose-colored glasses. And uh, you're a Saggy. I'm a Saggy, too. My midhave is in Scorpio. Uh, but uh, the, the, the Six of Pentacles, is, is it brings the energy of uh, for us Sagittarians to use our optimism and forgive and reconcile things. But I see more like reconciling things about yourself. Maybe you've been a little too hard on yourself lately and you're going to be a little easier on yourself because you deserve it. I see some self-care, some pampering yourself, much deserved. And um, I also see you looking back, maybe this is, this is the holidays are approaching and they can be very difficult for some people. I know for me, they are. I have some really good memories. I have some really bad memories. And of course, because of my age, not that I'm very old. Oh, you just had a bad breakup. Okay, that makes sense. Sometimes the people that we love, we, we're not with anymore, which I was just about to say. And um, when, we, when we approach the holidays, it can be kind of a hard time. And uh, we look think, we look back with rose-colored glasses and thinking things were better than they were. Um, and the thing is, we have to open ourselves with a wheel of fortune for new opportunity. And that's what you have. We have the wheel of fortune there, which is very exciting indeed. And bad breakups are, you know, you know, every time my heart breaks, it gets stronger. But man, my heart's been broken. I, I lost my late fiance to cancer four years ago, and I never really. I'm, n I'm never really the same person after that. And I'm still trying to find me, you know, how who I am without him. Even though I've been trying to date and stuff. 
It could be like, and you're going to do the same thing. That's a, that's a random, random, random comment there, Pastor Potter. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, if there's a song I've been promoting tonight. It's, it's kind of one of my favorite songs. And it's, it's, a, it, it's, you have to really listen to the words, but it's called, I wish you pain by Andy Grammer. And it's very beautiful because in the chorus is, I love you more than, than you'll ever know. And um, I just want you to know that like you're, you're stronger than you think. Wishing you pain is not wishing I wish you pain. It's that I wish you turn all the pain in your life into ways to make you stronger. So now that you're, 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 you've ended a relationship, a very significant love in your life is out. Now you need to turn toward yourself. You need to work on yourself. Like for me, I just recently took up uh, fish breeding. It's like the kind of like breeding fish with eggs. And I, um, I do rehab with birds. Um, I also, um, I do platies. Uh, I'm, I'm getting more active with my, my tarot channel was something I did every single day and I got away from it because of my illness. But now I'm saying, you know what? I'm coming back. You're not, I'm not keeping away from my tarot channel. I'm here because you guys make me strong and I'm going to do this. I'm just start doing things for me. You know, I had a partner, whatever. And <laughs> <laughs> that didn't like the tarot. They made they made jokes about me. Yeah, I'm trying to find hobbies. You're like, it's really hard to find hobbies, isn't it? Another thing I'm doing is I'm starting an indoor greenhouse so I can grow my favorite host plants that I used to have when I lived with my grandmother. My grandmother was very special to me. and um, um, But I have birds who eat my plants. So I'm getting a little indoor greenhouse, um, a small one, you know. And um, I'm also getting a, a nursery. I already bought it, a nursery for my fish. So my fish can lay eggs in the nursery and then I can take the fish out. So like these are new hobbies that take a lot of time and I have to learn new things. I learn, I have to manage the chemistry and the pH and the nitrogen and the ammonia and the, you know, um, all, all sorts of things. And uh, make sure the conditions of, 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 of everything are okay. But then what happens? I'm investing all this time learning new things um and it can be a hobby uh study i was watching um surgeries every night of related to my pancreas you know like i'm learning that's a hobby every night i watch a video uh, like a surgery so I, I like watching surgeries on youtube um uh, you know learning spirituality pilates is one you can have one that helps you um with your health uh helps you meditate uh things that you I like Trevor Isley. He's a speaker on YouTube. And he says, think back when you were a child and remember the first time you were told no about something you really wanted to do that was fun and do it. So for me, actually, it was kind of terrible because I, my mom was pregnant and she went to see a tarot reader and she was told that um, I'm from a very strong Catholic, half Catholic, half Protestant bathroom, um, Irish and um, Scottish, and um, my mom was told she was going to, she was going to, she was pregnant with a gifted tarot reader, a gifted, a, a child with a sight. So when I was born, my mom really, really encouraged. Um, and so um, encouraged tarot, but then as I got older, and you know, uh, the Catholicism started to come down a little harder and it wasn't just me and my mom anymore. Um, it was discouraged and I was basically told to give up tarot. And then I actually discerned to be a nun for six years, Roman Catholic nun for six years of my life. So, uh, and then when things in my life really turned upside down, I'm, I've, I've, I lost my career because of my health. Uh, I had something, my kidney ruptured and I had my pancreas go and my cancerous tumors and my, my fiance died. I went and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go back to something that really makes me happy. And I used to be a street busker and I used to read tarot. You know what I'm saying? It was something I was told no. And now I love it. And now it gives me a reason to get up in the morning because I have all these friends around the world like you who are asking, you're studying law. There you go. You're studying law and you can turn that into a job or you can turn that into a hobby. You can turn that in uh, ways that can help you. You know, ways that can help you in your own life because you know your own residential law about 
where you can like build a barn close to your house or when you can turn your music up loud or uh, any kind of law. I, I love watching law as well. I watch a lot of trials, live trials on TV or on live on th that are on, on the internet. Trying to keep busy is very smart, uh, but take care of your mind and your body and your spirit. So, you know, hanging out with us is cool because we're always very positive. We're here when you're sad. We're here when you're down. Don't don't always try to pretend you're happy. You'll have a cry when you need to, but give yourself limits. So like, you know, maybe you're going to say you're going to listen to sad songs and cry your heart out for 30 seconds, for 30 minutes, and then you're going to go do something fun. Like give yourself a schedule and then obey it. Like you set your own schedule and, um, and grow from this. You learn from this. And remember, if someone wasn't treating you like they're your, you, they were your priority, then you're just an option. You're worth more than that. Like even I know, and I have a low self-esteem, I'm worth more than being an option. I've been single for four years now since my partner died. I tried dating and I still haven't met someone who loves me as much as I do. <laughs> and I say that in jest, but it's true. You have to, You. May, I meet a lot of good friends, but like to hand your heart over, that's you. That's something very, very special. And you deserve to be treated with all the love and respect in the world. And as you better yourself, as you learn new things, you can have more things to talk about. Maybe you're gonna study astronomy. Maybe you're going to, um, you know, there's there's lots of cool things. Maybe you can lose your study of law to help promote a cause. Like I'm really involved in um, Plomy, Plomacy Dove Rescue in San Francisco. I'm a volunteer with them. And so I really want to learn about the laws of wildlife, especially when you have pigeons classified as pests and rodents. When, in fact, as you see around me, I have rescue pigeons. They make amazing pets. Uh, all mine are unreleasable um, uh, birds. They have injuries. They acquired injuries, so they can't be put back in the wild. Otherwise, they would be in the wild. But, I mean, I learned about laws. There's laws against certain things. And and if you, that's your hobby, what's your, what, what's your passion? And we're not here to judge. We're not here to talk politics. But say you're really into the climate. And uh, you have beautiful birds. It's, it, you, you could use your study in law. You could contact Plomacy and say that like, you like to study law and you'd like to study about the laws of San Francisco and how you can help protect the birds or how you can protect the wetlands in your own country, um, things like that. And you can meet new people, get on forums, and then you're meeting new people. Like People will share the same things in common, the same values as you. That's so important. You know, like when I had a friend I was courting and – he started making fun about me about reading tarot, but how there's a woman on the who reads tarot on the um, radio, I guess, wherever he lives. And, um, you know, I, I could be just like her, you know, like saying all this stuff. And I don't. I, 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 I'm a light worker. I'm not here to say you're going to own, you know, three dogs and have seven kids with starting with the letter name S. I don't do that kind of thing here. We do love, friendship, healing, community. And that's why you're here with us tonight. Um, and so, uh, yes, you're doing all the right things and things are going to fall into place for you. And use your interest in law, then study law. If, you, if it's a profession, as a profession is one thing, you can um, you could volunteer if you're, if you're not ready for that. If legal aid, you could call up legal aid and, and get some... Um, volunteer with them and get some firsthand experience. Isn't it? Yeah. Like a bird's roads, even though they have teeth and let alone. Exactly. You know, anything can be a pest. Anything too much can be a pest. You know, I mean, what, I mean, I, again, I don't want to get political, but some people call lots of things pests that certainly aren't. I mean, I don't, I don't kill spiders. I don't kill anything. I, that's me. I live my own life. I, God, in spirit guides me the way I'm supposed to live my life and I respect other people but uh, I also respect the laws of the land you know and uh, maybe you have a passion towards protecting seniors you want to hear more uh, I, I would like to see if I had any uh, judicial power I would like to see a couple of things number one I would like to see animals not ruled as property 
I like them to have rights, better more rights than just a can of tomato soup in my cupboard. Because uh, according to the law, like in divorce settlements and that, uh, humans are only passed. Yeah, I know I was trying to get around that one, but that's what I was thinking too, Liz. That's exactly what I was thinking. Some people would say humans are best um, with the way we make pollution and, and other stuff. But, um, you know, I like animals to have a, more rights than just be a can of tuna on the shelf or a can, a can of tomato sauce. And right now they're just objects. I own this dove. It's like, no, I don't. Spirit owns this dove. This dove, the dove, my dove owns me. And um, they're all rescued. That's something you can see the scar on the back of his head. He got that about six years ago. He fully he recovered. He was attacked, but he, he, had, he, he can't go back in the wild. So that's like something I, I'm very passionate about. Some people are passionate about children's rights. Uh, some people, you know, it depends how far you want to go with this. Like if you want to make it a profession or if you want to make it a hobby. Uh, but there's certainly uh, mummy, mummy ramblings. She does a lot of uh, talk about court cases. That's probably I don't know what level you're you're enjoying law, but mummy ramblings. They talk about all the court cases and the the Chris Watts and all that kind of of those types of cases. But um, I know the laws I'd be interested in too is uh, rights for mental health uh, people. Family law, family law, very, very good. Yeah, and one of my best friends is a lawyer, and he worked with family law, and it was very difficult. It was difficult and challenging because um, sometimes people don't care about the kids. They just care about other things, and it's your job to make sure the kids are provided for. And uh, there's two foster kids in my building where I live, and uh, it's amazing what foster families can do. And it's ama I was I was put in care when I was a teenager and um, you know some some of it's bad and some of it's good and um, but going to family law that's amazing you know I really strongly suggest that you uh, call up I don't know how old you are or anything like that but uh, call up some local lawyers or research some online um, and uh, see if you can uh, mentor them sit in their office listen to them or shadow them for a day as they do their filing and just talk their ear off, you know, get really excited, get, get right in there. And then that looks great on the resume too. Cause then you can say, uh, you know, you, these references that are already lawyers. And then, then you'll find out a family law is for you. My friend who was a, a family law lawyer, it wasn't for him. He did it for a, a number of years. And uh, then he switched to environmental law because he, he just said he worried too much about the people at night. And cause like he would have like, he would have to arrange where couples would meet in a parking lot and the kids would get out of one parent's car and go into another parent's car and stuff like that. And people were using the kids as weapons and stuff, using the, trying to use laws and, you know, and then there's custody battles. And he found them kind of hard after five, six years doing it. So you might start off in family law and then move on to different. Uh, he did entertainment law, you know, like the kind of laws that protect music. Um, but he did a bunch of different kinds of laws. Um, no, I didn't know that. No, the first report of child abuse may say, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. It, you know, there's, there's a, there's a lot out there and, and I'm a big advocate of mental illness and, uh, people being stigmatized for mental illness. Um, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not shy. I have anxiety and I, I have other, I, I bipolar. And uh, I see that I talked to my psychotherapist today and all that means I'm taking care of my mental health, just like someone else going to the doctor to get their um, elbow looked at, you know? So we have to destigmatize things. Oh my, yeah, my te telepathic partner's dealing with a nasty custody battle over for a lot of, yeah, I've seen a lot of that go on. But then uh, Naomi's job could be the person who, you know, says holes or horses. Kids come first. This is what we're doing. And she gets to make, you know, bring it before the judge or is the judge one day to make sure the kids are the, the priority because I believe children are the priority in all of this. They're more important than the money and all this stuff. People should realize that. Uh, my, pa my parents, my mom was married before she married my dad. And we had a very, I grew up to have been three grandmothers. And I knew my half-brothers 
dad and he was, I knew him by his first name and he was always kind to me. Like we made it, we made it work for the kids. We did it. We thought we did. We thought beyond the adults as kids. I, I grew up, my half brothers. I didn't know the difference. I had three grandmothers. There was this guy, the name blank. And we all were my dad and, and him. We all celebrate the holidays together to be together for the, the kids. Blended family is very important. Kids are important. And Naomi could have the power to make that happen. You know, she has the power to protect kids if she goes into family law. All these cases of, of children being neglected and, and, and worse um, could be prevented with the right person being, being there. And that could be Naomi. So that could be you. So definitely, definitely I see that. Uh, your general reading, um, very, very strong because look at this one here, Eight of Pentacles. This is ruled by Virgo and perfectionism and and law. It's the kind where you're perfect. You know, law is very cut and dry. There's the law is a law and like lawyers debate and debate, debate. But at the end of the day, the judge has to decide who won the debate and what is the truth of the, of the matter. And um, so this card definitely indicates like you know what i'm saying yeah coming getting that debate right getting that getting that lead that you need to um keep keep kids safe because the children are our future and they don't understand it's such a sad thing but uh you know and then and making sure the women are safe too and the men like, the men don't get you don't hear as much men stuff going on but uh, i know cases i know of uh, i work with people with disabilities and um, I did 10 years ago. And there was one woman, she actually was shot and paralyzed by her ex-husband um, because, you know, he didn't want to pay child support. And, you know, like, I mean, where was the restraining order? Where was the, where was the person watching to give him signs? She survived, by the way. She lived. But um, you imagine, you know, so you're saving lives being the law and um, my friend he's a PhD in law and uh, now he does environmental law and so now he protects the waterways so being a lawyer opens many doors and and then you can also you know as you as you get older and if you choose to have a family and you need more time at home you can do different types of law that don't take you know full time or you can become a judge you can be president honest. You know, a lot of lawyers, uh, one of our best prime ministers of Canada was, uh, was a lawyer, more than one. Child trafficking, bigger problem. Yeah. It, yes, it even happens to boys, definitely. Yeah. So let's get an um, um, uh, oracle card for Naomi. I really, you're a very special person. I'm so graced to have you in my life. I feel very, I just feel very touched. There's a, I have a foster child who lives in my building and he's so amazing. And he, he's, um, wow. Like, you know, he just needs, and he has, he has the most amazing family. Like, oh my gosh, he has the most amazing family. And uh, I just don't want to give any details or anything like that. But yes, it's like, yeah, wow. Well, this is, thank you, and I am, you're getting us all excited about thinking of all the children that are going to be helped and the ladies and the men that are going to be protected and, you know, things being just. Justice rise is slower horse, but we're going to draw you an oracle card. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. We got the white eagle. We got the eagle for uh, the lady who wanted to return to work. It says the connection to the divine guidance is within you. How is that for an oracle card? My heavens. Whatever you are going to do with your life is going to make a difference. And you know what? I'm telling you this. And I don't mean to say this girl to girl or woman to woman. But I sacrificed a lot in my life. Even my career. Uh, when I, I went to school for six years for my original career. And um, I made sacrifices all the time for men and that are no longer in my life. So... Let's not make sacrifices or hang up our hats for men. And we follow our own hearts and we live our own lives and we work in tandem as equal partners with our, part with our partners. And we don't put our 
everything on hold for chasing men or whatnot. Cause I did that in my youth and, um, you know, I think you're smarter than me. I can already tell that, but I, I was too emotional. And there I did, I did put my career on the back burner a few times for men. And um, I'm looking for white eagle because I know I just read eagle for our uh, other friend. I'm like, white eagle comes after eagle? No, white eagle is under W. Okay, white eagle it is. Picker. Tricky. Where's the white eagle? I drew the white eagle for you. Must be in the. I'm sorry about this. I don't know why it's so hard to find. I have to look up the white eagle. Oh, the whites are all together. Okay, white. White swan, turkey, eagle. Page 17. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Melissa. We did close the chat. I'm sorry. I'm a real easy pushover, though. So if you hang in there, I'll, I'll get to you. Or you can come back another night. Please subscribe to our channel. We do daily reads. And we'd love to have you along. I'm sorry. We got the White Eagle for Naomi. That is absolutely beautiful. I don't think I ever got the White Eagle ever. I don't know if you can see Diego. But you have a... Diego is falling, falling in the seat right beside the... There you go. That's a gray eagle. <laughs> so here's your white eagle. The white eagle delivers the message that now is the time to come into alignment with your soul's unique purpose. We are all being called to awaken at this time and receive our divine inheritance. It's time to let go of fear. Move ahead and step into the power of your soul. Whether you're called to service to your unique healing work or your service to humanity, see your unique energy and contribution as vital to the shift now taking place. Expand out from where you stand and see if you can use your gifts to assist and guide those around you. He is so cute. Isn't he? he has a baby due tomorrow. His wife He's sitting on an egg, and the egg is due to hatch tomorrow or the next day. So we don't know. She might be a Sagittarius. So this is your message, and your affirmation, Noemi, is I awaken to my soul's unique and divine, or no, white owl, what's, no, white eagle, white eagle. Um, I awaken to my soul's unique and divine purpose. So you are a very, very special person called by God to help people. So how you do that through law would be very beautiful. But anyway, just you're very present. Very, very much. Thank you, Naomi. Please keep in touch. Please subscribe. Like our video if you do. And keep in touch. We want to know how you're doing. That means a lot to us. We are a community of love, light, and prayer. We are not monetized. We are doing this for the friendship. Uh, let's see, Dee, how we're doing. We are on. Uh, we're saying uh, our next reading now is Let's see looking for the next person in line Shay is Shay still here is Shay here I don't see Shay. Shay might have had to go to bed. So let's see if Shay's not here. Then the next person, I'm going to start. I'm going to just have to write it down. A star. Is it star is here? Is star here? Then it's D. It's D's turn. Yes, D, you're next up. Thank you for waiting. Sorry. Yes, D, you're on the list. You, it's your turn next. 
Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. Like my my uh, co-pilot's here. He's, he's falling asleep, though. He's expecting a baby tomorrow. His wife's on an egg. Shay, then if there's time, Star, D, and Stephanie, AJ, and Lewis. So, um, okay. I asked for Shay and there was no call. But Shay is still on the list. We'll still keep honor it until the very, very end. What does SK... No, she got hers. She got her reading. She just deleted herself. She deleted all our comments. She had such a great reading, too. Yeah, Lindita, um, she had a wonderful reading, one of the best of the night. But her mom going back to work, and she got the eagle card. She didn't get the white eagle card, but she got the eagle card. But she went back and deleted everything. So she's done for tonight. Uh, but we're here for, for D now. So what does SK feel for me? What is the future of this situation? Okay. What does SK feel for me? Okay, SK. What does SK feel about D? Okay, we got one card. We got the Ace of Wands. Very beautiful. We've got the High Priestess. What does SK feel for me? What is the future of this situation? Oh. <laughs> it sounds like this makes me very proud to be a tarot reader. We have the High Priestess. That always makes us happy. The High Priestess is like the divine feminine. And, and every both men and women have it. The divine feminine, the divine masculine, but the high priestess is, I really resonate. The empress is beautiful, but I resonate more with the high priestess. It's almost like introvert, extrovert, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a high priestess person um, in the sense of intuitive, water, moon, love, emotion, but also mysterious and um, all-encompassing and knowing that, believing in divine timing, that things will fall into place. Um, I see that very strongly. We have the Two of Cups, which is the love card. Oh, we didn't catch. No, no. She said she was very good. And she was very happy. And I told her at she was at three hours and that she was welcome to invite her mom to come back and hear the reading. And she said, thank you. But then uh, Lydia went back and um, uh, Lindita went back and deleted everything. But I understand she... Some people don't want it known, you know, just like I, in my main, in my personal Facebook, I don't have a lot of tarot or of any tarot there. And then in my regular, I have a Facebook tarot too. And my Instagram is tarot and not because some people just think we're, don't understand that we're here for love and light. We're not here to predict the future. We're here with energy and love and community. Like there's some bad people that will extort you out of money. I don't want your money. I just want your friendship and I want to help you feel better. And I want to help. You guide yourself where you want to be in life through through spirit and love. I mean, that's, and I'm, I'm, I believe in Christian, I'm Catholic. I'm, you know, you can be whatever faith you want to be in and use these cards. They're a tool. It's like a gun. A gun can be a bad thing, but a gun can be a good thing too. So um, not that I'm pro-gun. I'm in a country that doesn't have guns. I'm, I'm a Canadian. But look at what we have for you. We have the high priestess. Uh, for your gentleman, for, for SK, we have the two of cups, which is a cup of love. So that's where you have the two people coming together. And we have the ace of wands, the gift of the universe. So um, I see you guys having something very, very special um, together for sure. Uh, we'll start with the ace of wands. Uh, being a ace of wands is uh, a fiery rod appearing from spirit and it's like flamboyant creativity growth discovering new things about yourself and your friend that you've never discovered before you're going to go on journeys that you've traveled roads you've never dreamed you'd travel you're going to try food you never thought you're going to try you're going to 
uh, experience things together that you've never experienced before. And even if you've done certain things before, when you're with this person, they're going to feel like it's the first time. So that is very, very beautiful, Dee. Very, very beautiful indeed. We have uh, the High Priestess. And she is telling us that things are coming through divine timing. She is telling things that things are a mystery and that there, there are some, some hurdles ahead. But those hurdles are meant to prepare you for the goal that is ahead of, of you. So any little detours along the way, don't worry. Keep your eye on the prize because you have the Ace of Wands, which is a gift from the universe uh, full of blessings and growth. So you have love in your future. And I say that you guys are going to have something very, very special. And if it's not a long-term romance, soulmate, love, it's a very special uh, friendship. <laughs> yes, I'm not surprised, Liz. You do giggle about such things. Um, <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz is, I'm well-behaved, but she makes, she makes me not behave sometimes but after we live stream almost four hours we get giggly here but here we go is yes this the fiery rod is definitely a sign of masculine um authority and your divine masculine energy and your friends divine masculine energy and fire and explosions and fireworks and beauty and creativity and growth and um there's no communication of now well you know what though the thing is, we're going to pull an oracle card for you. No communication now. Do you know what I said, though, with the high priestess? Divine timing. And I said there's going to be detours. I said there's going to be detours. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. We, we closed the list. We've all missed the live stream in four hours. And I just got out of the hospital today. And I want to get up in the morning and do some more tarot readings for you. So um, it's midnight where I am in New York. So uh, that's probably what we're doing. I just, because my romantical side was pulling towards this, but I do see this. I do see this. But at the same time, I'm sorry. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and watch our daily reads. And we do live reads all the time. You're always welcome. And um, mention, uh, I'll try to remember your name and uh, we'll see if you can jump the line um, next time when you come on. Okay. I'm very sorry. Just if longer we go, I may not start. I may get kind of silly and giggly, and no one wants that. <laughs> so with the uh, the high priestess knows more than us. The high priestess is like spirit, the divine feminine spirit. So she might be saying rejection is God's protection, which is one something I truly believe. But this love is still here. The love doesn't go away. Like my fiance passed away, I still love him. If he showed up right now, I'd be right in his arms. I wouldn't be asking any questions. I wouldn't I wouldn't care what form he took. He could be a yak and I'd be hugging him right now. Okay. He could be a water buffalo. I'd be whatever. I would I wouldn't care. I wouldn't ask any questions. I wouldn't people if he came in a ghost like form, I'd be in his arms. Like love, true love never goes away. But the divine knowledge of the high priestess says that sometimes now is not the time. And just like that friend that I do love that doesn't love me back right now in the way, or maybe he wishes he could, but doesn't, whatever. That could be a soulmate from a former life, you know? But you have the power of the gift of the universe is here. The gift of the universe we could be talking about. See, I'm all for, like, you participating and telling me how you feel because, um, like, the, like, the fiery energy could be your own creative force in the Two of Cups. Could be the love and the fire and the gift of the universe bringing you to somewhere new, somewhere fresh, you know, somewhere the foundation that you built with the person that you care so very much about that you haven't heard from for a while. That foundation might have been like Naomi. Naomi just went through a very bad breakup and she's using now the time to study law and she wants to be a lawyer and when she wants to, you know, get into child protection rights and stuff like that. No, you did miss your turn, but you're you're next. We we honor our people. You were you do were you we're on we're doing um D right now and so we're you're you're next up, Shay. We did ask for you and you were here, so now we're gonna we're gonna finish up with D and then we'll do you next. Okay. 
So remember that with the fact that's when we had the high priestess there. So that was the mysterious glow. Had this been the Empress and we had the two cups and the ace of wands, then we would say, you know, because Empress was child, and whereas the the high priestess is uh, is a celibate person like myself for four years since my partner died. Um, and she, because of the celibacy brings the mysticism into it and, um, and brings into the unknown. And it doesn't mean it won't happen, but remember again, and we, have to, we always have our cliches around here, is that if he treated you in a certain way before, he showed you who he was. If you walk him back in your life, he might treat you the same way again. Like that's common psychology. But I do see love and I do see expansion and growth and fireworks and seeing things like you have. And there's like everything I said feels the same. But the thing is, I also said is that the hurdles and the turning points for you to get there are, are ahead as well. So this is a very beautiful reading, but it's not going to happen overnight. That it's, it, there's going to be some hurdles and maybe, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, John. We we closed the list and we've been live streaming for four hours and I had a day surgery today. But um, please subscribe to our channel and we'll get to you um, next time. And we're on, you're always welcome. I'm so sorry. I want to be doing a daily read tomorrow. And um, so please subscribe. And I don't do that. I do this for free. I'm not monetized. I just want you to belong to our community. We'd love to have some more gentlemen in our group because we're mostly ladies here and we could use some more masculine energy so please subscribe so d i hope that makes sense we're going to draw an oracle card to try to make better sense of this um but it is a very beautiful reading you understand yes love's so hard because you know it's never just about you and the other person it's always about the other person's family the other person has a career you know good night john thank you blessings Oh, you got the herring. It says, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. So let's look up the herring. Hello. I love Tarot Lorita. Hello. We love Tarot the Tarot readers. Oh, we closed the list tonight. We closed the live streaming for four hours. I'm sorry. I like especially other tarot. I <laughs> I'm very especially other tarot readers. We love to, we love to support each other. Um, if, uh, please subscribe to my tarot channel. Um, if and if you have one, I'll subscribe to yours too. Okay, and uh, we'll be friends. So keep me in mind. I love supporting the tarot community. We're not in company competition. Um, you finished the live show? Oh, wow, well, you've live streamed too? Okay, well, let's be friends. I want to be friends with you. You're already subscribed? Okay, well, I'm going to subscribe to you. And um, I will do that. So Liz Liz is my, um, has, um, um, Liz has, is my moderator. So if I don't, subscribe to you. Liz will hopefully remind me, but I will. I promise I will. So we are drew this herring for um, we drew the herring for D and the message is as follows. The herring messenger weighs in your world <clears throat> to encourage you to embrace your own unique path. Let go of the pressures to confirm to unwritten rules that may, keeping you, may be keeping you stuck. As you begin to steady yourself and find a different way around an old, familiar pattern. Is this starting to make more sense now, D? Like, as you begin to steady yourself and find a different way around old, familiar patterns, you will feel more certain and you can indeed stand on your own and in this way. Your unique viewpoint can assist others in resolving issues and can help bring harmony. The power of the heron urges you to look into your surrounding world and reflect with a patient and loving heart. 
Let go of judgments and allow your personal path to unfold. And your affirmation is, I now embrace and accept my true life purpose. So, Dee, uh, that is for you. I hope that brings you comfort. And, um, you know, I, I just know, I know how it feels. And you have beautiful cards of love and you got the high priestess. And you have this card saying that, you know, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. You have very, very special gifts. So thank you very much, Dee. It's been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Hello, Donna. Or the, the list is closed. I'm so sorry. I've been live streaming for four hours. And I, I, um, I had day surgery. Yes, Fertility, thank you for the suggestion. But I'm reaching out more to him in the past. And I realize I'm abandoning myself by chasing another person. You are. You are. I'm in the same thing. There's this guy I like so much. Thank you, Crystal Ball, for subscribing. Um, there's a guy, and we were together, and, you know, and just... You know, sometimes we we have to realize people show us who they are. If you're not their priority, then they don't get that part of you. You still be friends if they're friend material, but not in a romantic sense. Don't compromise yourself. No one is worth compromising yourself over. You are you you are made by spirit. You deserve the best, and you're not allowing room in your life for someone new to come in. Lots of love, Dee. Good luck. We love you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Donna. I'm sorry. Please subscribe and, and uh, watch our daily read. Tomorrow I'm going to do a daily read. And I'm also going to do um, a thank you video for everyone who prayed for me during my surgery. I had, um, I'm recovering from surgery. I just came home with my, got my badge is still on. Find your own passion. So who's after D? Was Shay? Is Shay here? We missed Shay originally, and now Shay is back. Come on, Shay. Did Shay step away from the computer again? We're going to have to move on. Who's after Shay? Oh, here we go. Is Shay Myers here? I saw your question, but I don't see you here. Is Shay here? You wrote his question, but I don't want to do a reading unless I hear no, he's here. Is Shay here? Shaw oh, here. Whoops. Shay. Shay, Shay. All bums. Okay. He's not saying anything, so I think we should move on. And then if he comes back again, we'll get him. We have He put his question, but I don't want to do a reading for someone that's not here. When there's other people waiting. Um, so who's next, everyone? I'm going to start writing it down. I'm a big uh, legendary tarot. One of my mentors as well, and he writes it down. I should do that, too. I just, I always take for granted Liz, and poor Liz is busy enough without keeping track. Um, who's next, please? Shay's supposed to be here. So who is after Shay? Nikki? Is Nikki? Nikki's up next, I think. Okay. I see your question, Nikki. I'm just going to scroll up. I'm, I'm normally on my iPad. And uh, I only um, I only come on this dinosaur live top for live streaming. To Stephanie, AJ. So it's not Nikki. Is Stephanie here or Nikki next? So right now I'm looking for Shay, Stephanie, or Nikki. Any one of you guys, let me know you're here and I'll do your reading.
Jay, Stephanie, or Nikki? Is AJ here? Is Lewis here? I think everyone left us. We have five people in the chat right now. Oh, you're Brazilian. Nikki's not here either. So, this is so it's the case to come back calling Nikki. Stephanie. AJ and Lewis. This feels so bad not giving everyone readings. I have a Libra moon. That's my Libra moon showing. Okay. So um, it's at four hours now. But whoever is in the room right now, um, we're going to open the list right now. The list is open again for anyone in the room. So if you list your name right now, we'll do a reading for you. So if Dawn is here, if um, if Crystal Ball is here, if Taro Latura is here, if anyone else is here, uh, now we have three people in the chat room. So it's me and Liz and one other person. <laughs> I think I think it's a night, guys. Okay. Reading for anyone left in the chat. Here, now I can go to bed with clean conscience. I guess Liz, it was just you. It's just you and me. There's three people here. And one person. Um, so I guess that's it. Wow, that's been fun. I really enjoyed that and uh, I'm just so grateful. I I have a wonderful story time with my surgery tomorrow, Liz, and uh, I can hear you, great, okay. Last call <laughs> for our most favorite. I can say that because no, no one else is gonna hear. But um, I love when you, whenever I love, love uh, go on live stream, I always pray that you're going to be online because you, I had a horrible troll talk at, at the very beginning of the live stream. You wouldn't believe what he said. And I said, well, if Liz was here, she would handle it differently. But I said, call, call the authorities on yourself. <laughs> okay, so what would you like? Just general reading or what would you like? You're my moderator. I, I like you to be my moderator. You are my moderator already. If I knew how to give you a wrench, I would. <laughs> the strangest thing, though, was um, Marcia, when she showed up today, she had a wrench. And I don't remember giving Mar. I don't mind. Marcia's great. I mean, anyone that knows us. I just don't want trolls coming. Oh, no, I, I didn't even know it was coming out. I was just so depressed. A lot of stuff went on, and um, I came home from my surgery, and, and I'm alone. And um, so I decided I, I thought what better way to use my time. And um, i just so excited because Diego has an egg that might hatch tomorrow. So let's see about your your partner. Your partner? How you like the situation at all? Your partner, your, your parent, or your partner? Only on the, only on the birdie channel would I have to clarify that. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a par parent par, your parent your parents. See about your parents or your partner. You're not doing you're not into parents, so it's probably your partner. I think we're on a delay as well. 
they're screening me for swear words. I never swear, so. Fiddly sticks or something. See about your partner. Okay, we'll go for partner. You know, sometimes with my accent, partner, people think I'm saying I'm my parent. And I say I, I have uh, two parents at home. And they say, oh, you have two. Shay, you're sneaky. You you missed your turn again by two other readings. Now I'm going to do one more reading, and then you're next. You're the final reading of the night. We, we call for you. You look back in the chat, we call for you many times. And I still want to do your reading, but I have to do one for Liz now. So, but you, I promise you, look, I was begging you. I begged you. I begged you. <laughs> Stick around. You'll, you're right after Liz. The last one, 100%. Everyone else is gone. We told everyone else, no. I have to go to sleep. I just had day surgery. I just got out of the hospital and I have to um, get ready to be well rested for tomorrow's reading. So we're going to do a reading for uh, Liz's uh, partner and how the situation will resolve. For our dear friend Liz, for my dear friend Liz, who I love dearly, resolving situation with her partner. We got two cards already. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. How will things resolve with my dear friend Liz's partner? That one almost jumped. I guess feel the energy. Ah, <gasps> the Empress. Look at the Empress. I wish Ruth and Ruby were here to see her. You got the Empress. We have the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, which I bet you love, the beautiful Woofy, and the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting indeed. So, I think things are good. <laughs> The Empress says a very, a very much, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of sensuality, a lot of uh, forgiveness, a lot of uh, sharing of food, and um, a lot of uh, nourishing. That's the best one, unless this is Shay's. That's what I got. I got, for you, I got the Empress. The Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Who did this cycle he have his daughter with? Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, the Empress is. Well, I don't think you're with child. I don't see that. I don't see that. But um, he is. He is. He might have a baby tomorrow. I have his ultrasound. I'm going to post it online so you everyone can see his ultrasound. But the baby's due like in the next couple of days. So I see here is, is very positive in love. You're, you're blessed by the Ace of Pentacles. You have um, a gift in the universe. It's it's uh, very earthy, very sensual, very, um, mm, you know, it's like very, very, after four hours, that's what we're getting to sign language now. Like, like purring like a cat. The enacting session was. <laughs> me too. Yeah, it would be for me. That would be something. I actually, I hope, I hope it would be a parrot or a dove, <laughs> or an owl. I'll be, I'd love to be with owl. <laughs> or maybe, maybe a little, a skunk with no nails. <laughs> But uh, this is your reading, Ace of Pentacles, overflowing um, with with abundance of love, of, of uh, maybe some nice food in your future. Maybe you're going to get some really nice, uh, tasty something to eat. I ate solid food for the first time in five months. Today I had three cherries that were mushy, so that wasn't really solid food. But, I mean, something really tasty, some culinary delights that maybe you weren't expecting might be coming your way. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. It shows your work very hard for what you do have. 
and um, I also see that you you're you're very you're free. I see a, a big free. Perhaps before you were worried what other people would think, although that doesn't sound like you. But now you're definitely not worried what people think. The you know the hood is off the falcon. You are totally um, ready to sit back and enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor. And uh, you know maybe it's even your your beautiful uh, rescues. Uh, you I know you're worried about some of your little the dove in the thumbnail. Um, normally there's a dove in the thumbnail, that's, that's quills. Oh, here, she's right here, she's asleep here. Um, oh, she's on her nest over there. Yeah, quills is right over there on her nest. Yeah, she went to bed, it's midnight where I am, it's 1220 where I am. But, um, you'll probably see her tomorrow. I have Diego though, he's right here. And there's my son, he's fighting fish, a candy cane in the background. So, um, I love your name, Ezekiel, by the way. That's very lovely. Um, so, uh, you've worked very hard, and you're going to get the fruits of your labor being paid off. Perhaps in one of your rescue animals, you're going to see something uh, very lovely, a very good surprise, maybe a visit. Well, he was studying the culinary arts. There you go. That's true. Uh, but you're also going to see that you're being appreciated for your beauty and you're going to be appreciated for your hard work. So not just your aesthetics, but also like who you are as a person, like just like that. I think you're amazing. Anyone who rescues animals is someone I admire and look up to, you know, and when, when uh, my friend Bob, um, when his pets, his outdoor skunk said he, he helps. So when I seen you, I just, I just felt desperate. I had to reach you so much. And you just showed up in the chat and just like it's the connection we have. And the same is with, with uh, your partner is that uh, he truly respects you. So no matter what's gone on beyond, you, beyond with your relationship, he still truly respects you for what you do in both your beauty and also in what you what you have accomplished and your skills. And then you have the Empress, which shows you as a very sensual, sexy um, person in his eyes. As I hear my neighbors downstairs fighting. But yeah, this is a beautiful reading. I just can't take my eyes off the horse. I just wish Rose and Ruby were here to see it. So that's a beautiful reading. Now you get your Oracle card. And then if Shay's still here, we'll do Shay. I had no idea I'd be on for four hours and 11 minutes, but I'm happy being here. I'm still in a lot of pain for my surgery, so I love spending time with you guys. Oh my gosh, the flicker just hopped out. We had the flicker already tonight, but he hopped out, so this is yours. New rhythms and coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. Well, good, because I can't see my kids for Thanksgiving due to the state line. Oh my gosh, you can't cross the state lines for Thanksgiving? You know, we have the same thing in Canada. You can't cross the provinces. Oh, hello there. So let's read your flicker. Um, your flicker message. I'm very sorry about your family and Thanksgiving. Well, you can join me for Thanksgiving. We can go online. We can talk and be silly. Maybe we get a bunch of tarot readers together and we can just talk, make jokes and talk about tarot and all the fun readings we have. Yeah, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I had Nameless come here to give me my COVID test and they were dressed in beekeeper suits. So this is for you, Liz. This is your message. The divine flicker is a master drummer, bringing awareness to what now is growing, moving and beating a new path in this life. This will be presented as a fluid, adapted shift. 
Now is the time to examine your past patterns and experiences during these shifts. Do you resist the following natural rhythms of change? Self limits are generally out of our formable self limits are generally our most formable hurdles. Use the great gifts of flicker to help you through any resistance. Trust that change is a sign of positive movement and growth. And your affirmation is, I trust in the infinite rhythms and flow of my life. Guys. Guys. I love you all. I love you all, but we... We had last call like three, four times. I had just, I got surgery. I want to answer all your questions and you keep on coming. Let's see how many people are here. Angel's back. Liz. How many people do we have now? Okay, well, we already had last call, but um, we're, I don't like to, uh, you welcome positive change. Yes, I, and just kids be wonderful. It's a wonderful way to get together. Oh, look at all these lovely people. Okay, um, let's see. In this day of computers, I don't have a pen. So, we were going to call it, we, we were, Shay came back. Okay, I don't expect for uh, Liz to stay up all night unless you're willing. Um... But we're gonna, we're gonna. Everyone here now will do a reading for, her, and then we're gonna have to call it a night because I had day surgery. I had surgery today, and uh, we've been on the line for four hours and sixteen minutes. And I really want to give you the best of me, so I don't want to be too scattery. So we're gonna make a list. Um, and I'm gonna write it down here. So of all the people who want to be added, um, I'm gonna start adding names. Um. Shay has come and gone many times now. Um, we have Jossica, the Divinely Guided. Then we have, thank you for being a new sub. Then we have Cheryl. Then we have Angel. I saw Angel's name earlier, but it was a long time ago. Angel one. Um, I have a dove named Angel that might have a baby tomorrow. And then we have Monica. I remember your name before, too. I wonder if we've met before. Okay. Well, look at all the new subs. So I made a list this time, Liz. I'd love to have... Um... <laughs> oh, yes. Amha? Yes, you're here, too. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Okay, uh, Josh, uh, Josh, Jessica, uh, would you like to ask your question or do you want Angel to go first? I'll let you guys sort it out amongst yourself. But everyone, uh, Shay, Josh, um, Cheryl, Angel, Monica, and Emma are going to have readings tonight. New stuff's rolling in. I know. It's hard to walk away. 
Can we let Angel go? She was waiting longer. Oh, you'd like to ask? Yes, you're going to ask, but can Angel last first? Or are you on your lunch break and you can't? Okay, okay. Josh, Josh you're going to be first then. Really? Wow. I must have been meant to come on tonight. I was I was feeling so low and down, and, and it, I just feel so filled with spirit right now. Lunch break. Okay, Angel, I'm sorry. Uh, he's on a tight uh, timeline because he's on his lunch break. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Angel. Extra blessings and love to Angel for, for allowing Josh to go and because um, it was my fault. Okay, Sophie. Yeah, after you, you're the last one. After Sophie's one, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. The last, Sophie's the last one. No, after this, I have to go to bed. It's because I had day surgery, and it, I've been on live for four hours and 20 minutes. So, uh, Joss asks, what's my next romantic partner going to be? Yes, extra blessings for Jay and Angel. And what is Joss's extra next romantic partner going to be like? Are we female, by the way? Oh, good. I was going to make a joke and say it depends if you live in my city, maybe. <laughs> it's always fun to meet other um, tarot readers. Yes, thank you, Angel. We consider it. And I have a bird, named Angel, right there. And Diego is her husband, and she's expecting a baby tomorrow. So you're meant to be here. So what is your next romantic partner going to be like we got one card we got the eight of pentacles that's coming up a lot tonight very strong virgo energy you've got the seven of wands okay Ooh. oh and the two of swords okay Whew, the screen froze for a second there. So I shuffled your cards, and these are the ones we got. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So I think your number one, I'd like to start off with the Eight of Pentacles. This person is going to be very, very um, into perfectionism and making sure they're they're very they're they're very creative and they have a lot of artistic talent and they really like things done right. And their, their, their word is bond. And um, between a Virgo and a fire sign. I'll, oh, um, the eight of the eight of pentacles is ruled by um uh, the Eight of Pentacles ruled by Virgo. Yeah. So um, this this is for uh, for Josh. Uh, I just don't want to say your name, Joshica. That's a beautiful name. Uh, so uh, you're very strong. You'd be creative. They could be uh, very into woodworking, uh, really good with their hands. Um, Liz. Um they could be very uh, talented with um, your professionals too. Yeah, yeah. I love. I love. I'm. I would like to be one. I'm a failed one, but um, I'd like to be a perfectionist. I wish I was one, but I love perfectionists. I, I just love when people are. I, I have OCD, but I I still can never get things right. But some people they just they can they can cut wood. They can yarn. They can they can do some things and they're just so graceful and this is what we see yes go with your hands yes and um uh woodworking uh maybe with cars computers could be something with tech i see the seven of wands so there's a chance this person is a very uh, strong fiery individual who they're going to stand up um uh, you both see me we have that in common and 
And so they, they really stand up for they believe in. They're a very strong person, both inside and out. And uh, that's very good. That's a good characteristic to have in your next relationship. And the final card that we drew for you was, I believe, was the Two of Swords, if I remember correctly. The Two of Swords? You're not going to this card? Yes, here it is, the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is the moon in Libra. And that is romance. I just mentioned I have my moon in Libra. They're very, um, it's about decisions. So uh, they have very romantic. They're just kind of like me in the sense of like, they don't want to do anything to hurt your feelings. And I, I do see like, like, oh, like if there was one cookie left, of course I want you to have it. You know, that kind of thing. Like it's going to be someone who's very generous and kind and hearted. And uh, it's also um, the two of swords brings a decision in your life. So you might actually have two suitors at one time and you have to discern which one is the one that's going to be right for you. So because this means decisions. And so you're like, but it's a happy time because you're going to make the right decision. So now we're going to draw an Oracle card for you to get a better idea of your next relationship. Oh, it sounds wonderful. It sounds wonderful. And then we'll see Angel. Oh, look at the Marie. Yeah, this is Diego. Diego is uh, married to Angel, and they're expecting a baby to hatch. And I have the ultrasound, which I'm going to post on my YouTube channel, so you can see the ultrasound. I don't know if the baby's going to hatch. You can't catch your chickens for other hatch, but uh, there's a, definitely the baby is growing inside. I, I, I took an ultrasound, and I... I have worked with endangered wildlife and stuff. So this is your card for your next relationship. Bluebird! You are being gifted with blessings and happiness and peace. How amazing is that? Bluebird! So we're going to read this oracle for you. And thank you for spending your lunch hour with us. Here we go. The message of Bluebird flies into your space to deliver great blessings of peace, joy, and happiness. The messenger reminds you to honor the purity of your speech, communication, especially those messages that you feed yourself. The lightness and color of the bluebird help make you aware of the spiritual links of the sky and the realms beyond. Invite the tranquility of bluebird into any area of your life that could use more lightness. Then, share the energy of bluebird with those around you. Have you forgotten the simple pleasures of life? Bluebird is here to remind you that it's okay to let go and fly for sheer pleasure. As you do, Feel the weight of life lifted and soar higher up into the blue sky. And affirmation, I invite deeper sense of peace and joy into my life. So that is your reading. Uh, Jessica, it's been absolutely wonderful to have you. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please watch our daily reads, leave messages, say hello, meet our community. Um, I encourage all the uh, birdies who watch my channel, that's the nickname for our subscribers, um, to uh, start their own conversations and friendships. And I I've met a lot of friends in my chats from other tarot channels too. So um, you have met new friends today and you have a beautiful love reading. Thank you very much. Hi, Sophie. You're still here. How? I Angel's next, okay? You're still here. I have written, I have written down. Um, at what I'm going to be more organized next time. I'm going to write down in pen. Before Liz and I were both doing it, and um, some names. Some people went away, and then they came back and came away and came back. But I have your name written down. But Angel, hello, Zena. How does Yatin feel about me? We're on to Angel, and I again mentioned many times. Um, we have a few people on the list ahead of you, sweetie. I'm sorry. Yes, Cheryl's here. You're written right here, Cheryl. Okay, we're supposed to say. 
I'm going to go in and take out his... Go, Josh. Oh, crap. Okay. So, Angel's next. And Angel's asking, How does Yatin feel about me? Okay. Ooh. Come on, what's does that feel about you? I need one more. Okay, here we go. We have... Oh, what did you do? It's beautiful. We have the uh, Queen of Cups, which is a very good card. We have the Three of Swords, which is something to think about. And we have the King of Swords. So, Angel, um, I think number one is that he he's afraid of losing you. I think he's afraid. He's afraid of getting hurt. And this symbolizes... Mind, body, and soul. And he's afraid of getting hurt. And the king of swords is a very practical person. So sometimes like he might be really shy and try to avoid you and stuff. Because he's afraid of getting an overthinker. And he also, like, he has to live in the present moment so we can enjoy the present moment. And not worry so much and not put so much pressure on himself. Now, the King of Swords is very much like that. He's very analytical. And he takes his sword and he just cuts through. Um, he cuts through confusion. And so that's what he's called to do right now. He's called to cut through confusion. And just learn to take it day by day. Like even people who are married sometimes. They're planning for retirement when they're 20. And, he, and they have to... Um, you know, people have to live in the present. But, I mean, I really see here that he, he want, he, he's afraid of being hurt for sure and that he is not presently living in the here and now. He's projecting in the future of getting hurt. So, therefore, but he sees you as his Queen of Cups, which is very, very beautiful because this is the Queen of Hearts. And he... Uh, that means that symbolizes love and emotion and sensuality and Venus and, um, you know, Aphrodite and uh, like the beautiful soothing ocean and his calm, like you're his safe place to fall. So he's in a little fear. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to lose you. You know, he wants to know that, you know, he's safe giving you his heart because he's afraid of losing you. Yeah, cheated on the past. See, we, we pay the price. Every time someone gets cheated on, the next partner or so, we are forever. I've been cheated on, and I always have to keep my eye out. What will, what will be his next action? Okay, well, let's look. Let's draw you an oracle card for the next action. Liz just had four big raccoons on their chairs on the porch. <laughs> They're probably getting quite chubby this time of year. So what is the reaction for Angel's love? King Fisher. Prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in perfect form. I think it's a, just kind of a phase he's going through. I mean, with, you know, the thing that's going on in the world today, that that's a flag word on YouTube. Um, you know, people are a little unsure and worried, and so maybe he's just he's worried about just losing you and, and just, like, you know, being cheated on, and that's so wrong. People shouldn't do that. You know, it really hurts people forever. 
even when, when our parents cheat on each other, it hurts the kids, you know, because the word is bond. So the message that we have for your friend, uh, your special friend, your I don't, boyfriend, um, uh, says King friend, Kish Fish, Kingfisher Messenger dives into your awareness with the promise. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, mine, mine did too. Kingfisher Messenger dives into your awareness with the promise of abundance and prosperity, urging you to have faith and take the plunge. Ooh, so he's being urged to take the plunge, like to maybe, maybe get a little closer with you. This divine message is a reminder that prosperity comes in many forms. New love, warmth, opportunities are among favorite gifts. The feathered messenger also indicates luck is with you. Stop trying hard to create things and just allow a natural flow of abundance to come to you. So that's his message. He just has to relax and just let the flow of abundance and just knowing you that you would never hurt him. Like, you know, he just has to learn this. He has to like relax and prepare to be open to receive. You know, he has to receive. And men are, you know, they're, they're always the, there they're are knights, you know, there are kings. And he has to receive your love and then realize how true your love is for him. Prepare to be open to receive. Gifts of prosperity are to be assured. And the affirmation is my world is loving and abundant and I'm open to receive these gifts. You know, maybe, yeah, go with the flow. Like, go with the flow and just live in the, live in an abundance. We have so many gifts together right now that you can share and celebrate. And, um, you know, maybe he just needs a little reassurance, you know. You know, maybe spoil him a little bit. You know, some men like it, some people don't, but some you could give him, like, a full body massage and spoil him a little bit and just... You know, give Eskimo kisses. Do you guys do that? Butterfly kisses. You kiss with the eyelashes. Do silly things. Yes, he needs healing. You know, and sometimes, you know, I've had people in my life that needed healing too. And sometimes you can't reach them. They project their old person on you and that's, it's not fair. You know, there's a, there's a song by Ed Sheeran and it's called um, uh, Sunburn. And in it, he's talking to one girlfriend, and then he s slips into Alice, and he talks to another girl named Alice. So it's like he's mixing up um, the girlfriends, and just in the sense of like one hurt him, so this one's gonna hurt him too. Yes, it's not our job to fix people. That's for sure. He has to make you a priority, even if he's hurting. You can help. But he has to help you in your journey because not every we all need help. Okay, so let's see who's next. I believe it's Cheryl. I know that's beautiful. He should know that. He should know that. You know, I know I had a my fiance was thank you. Thank you. Um, he passed away four years ago. He was my last boyfriend. And he um, he was very extroverted. And he liked to go out. He loved food. And him and his buddies used to go to fancy, expensive restaurants. And I don't like, I'm actually, I'm on liquid diet because I have an illness. And my, I can't digest solid food. So I can't even eat food. So he would go out with his buddies and then go to expensive, expensive um, yes, he's go unless Cheryl's here. Cheryl or Cheryl or Monica, whoever hops in first, post their question, I'll answer. Um, sometimes I get a little worried because he was so going and friendly and handsome. He was six foot six and a half and had green eyes and I just gorgeous and I was so worried. Okay. Here we go. Six people in the chat. Uh, looking after looking at my last status, is on the on. 
the on to me is perfect. So uh, your friend, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I'm so, uh, my apologies. I don't mean to. Um, I'm only an English speaker. You're not making first move. Will you propose to me when? Oh. Um. Okay, let's see. Very true, Liz. Very true. So what's going on with Shaz? Hello, Manfred. Hello. Hey, you. Getting the devils all back here. They're all. I have to arrange my doves carefully. Where are things going if you will propose? It's really hard because to read a propose, I generally don't do it, but I will say about, I talk about your relationship. Okay, we got one card. Do we have two cards or four? We have the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Ooh, the magician. Okay. This is a very important time for you. Uh, Coma, I see so funny. Okay. Um, it's hard to tell right now if he's your karmic soul flame. But what I see here right now is you are given the power by spirit to manifest your dreams. So if he is truly meant for you, he will definitely propose. Um, yes, there is a difference. There is a difference between those. But you're also asking in present day. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Um, whether or not he's going to propose to you. But this is about you manifesting your desires. So he has to know that you're ready. He wants to know that he's going to get a yes. And he won't ask unless he knows he's going to get a yes because he's afraid of rejection. Here with the Seven of Cups, he has many choices in life. Are you, you are the magician. You're the magician in the sense of like you can, you can make things appear. So you have to let him know. You have to let him know that you're interested. You have to tell him. Thank you. There's similarities, but karma, you resolve karma, should be done and be life partnered. Yes, Cheryl, you're next, sweetie. Thank you. Um, is he karmic? Seven of cups? Well, right now, when each one, each one of these cups are full of different things, and you don't know which one's real, some of them have... Um... um We'll see. We, we want to close this down by five and by, by one o'clock. So we only have a few more readings. I'm sorry. I've been reading for almost five hours now. I just got out of the hospital. Um, but um, you're not dating anyone? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's make even more sense. Then your man, the magician manifests your. Uh, dreams. So you make a list. You say write down and you say what you want in a partner. You write what you want for. Do you want him tall? You want him educated? You want him gentle? You want him intelligent? You want him good dancer? You want him great singer? You make a list, and then, then, then you wait and you manifest your dreams. And then you see lots of things all there and you see some things that are true and some things that are not true. And you have to choose what ones are real and what ones are fake. Is he wealthier than you? Ace of Swords. Yes, he is wealthier than you. He is wealthier than you. You have the gift of the universe. You have the Ace of Swords. And that is um, uh, a blessing from the universe right now. And yes, he's wealthier than you. 
And now we're going to get an oracle card for you. Thank you, Cheryl, for being so patient. I'm going to have a written list from now on with pen and paper. Go back old school. Because so many people love it. come in and come out. This is your oracle card. This is the oracle card for you, Monica. And you've got the white spawn. And it says the power of divine grace is within you. So... Well, it takes time. It takes time. No, no, that's a good, that's a good one. That's good. Sometimes we have to wait to get the good stuff. Things worth, things that we wait for are worth having. Oh. Well, you know, rejection is God's protection. If he's not meant for you, then someone better is out there. But this is your oracle card, sweetheart, okay? And it's a swan. It's a nice, it's pretty swan. I'll try to show you the picture. Try to show you. It's the white swan. And the message is the white swan brings with it the message of power, divine grace, and deed is with you and within you. Your connection to source is powerful and healing potential is connected with your collected merits in the form of grace. Now is the time to embrace these divine gifts where you're needed most support. That healing may be in the form of a blessing over a current situation or a trend. I can't make that first move. Self-respect. Oh, you have the power through your own grace to move through the situation or challenge you in a in a smooth, um, facing a smooth, harmonious way. So I think we're also dealing um, with culture differences too, because you're probably from a different part of the world than than us, and so you you like the gentleman to make the first move, and um, that's tough. That's tough when you have your eye on some. And I've asked men out and I've been told no and it really hurts. Yes, there's culture difference. Yes, but there must be things you could do. Like you could ask him um, like to help. Ask him for help with something in your class. Ask him with something uh, about schoolwork. And so then he has to come over and help because men love to help women. So, like, if you say, ask him a question and he feels important because you asked him. Yes, you have many options. Yes. And you have this beautiful swan. This is the power of the divine within you. But if you ask him, you can ask him for help. Yes, you can. Yes, you can manifest someone else. Just think about what you truly want. Yes. <laughs> Yes, his loss. His loss. We're so honored to have you here. I love people from other cultures. And it's wonderful to learn about other cultures. And I just think it's an honor when people from all the way around. I'm from Canada. I'm in Canada. And Liz is in uh, USA. And we're talking now. Like, isn't this wonderful? So you, we love you. We love you. So, am I with Ashley next? Uh, no. Being the magician means you manifest. You like manifest. You make your dream. You write down what you want. Divine, divine is heaven, spirit, love. How to manifest? A uh, dream, like mm, think. Hold your heart, think, manifest. And just you pray, pray. Are we okay now? 
Yes, I imagine. Visual, I see. Sophie's helping us. Yes, I know. We all have friends. And Liz is like one of my best friends. Oh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I think you might manifest someone else. Just make sure he is your, he make, he is your, he makes you a priority. He doesn't like any other girl. He, he has to like just you. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. We're all friends here. And you're not, we, we don't speak your language, so it's harder for us. So you, you're smarter than me. You speak two languages at least, probably three. Karmic vibes, I didn't see no. No, the, you powerful though. You are powerful. You are the magician. So my, you manifest the magician. Me too. Me too. I want one too. <laughs> Is that okay now, Monica? Is Cheryl here? Oh, Sophie's here. Okay. Sophie. Love you, Monica. Love you, Monica. Thank you. Oh, gosh, I got everyone here. Who was first, Sophie C or Cheryl? You guys decide. I'm too gentle. This won't happen again. I'll write your names down. Oh, I love you, Monica. I love you, Monica. We all love you. Liz, Sissy, you don't mind? Oh, thank you. Okay, Cheryl, thank you very much. Thank you, Sophie. So, Cheryl, how does Denver feel about me? Well, you can talk to Fertility and, um, and I'm going to do Sophie's reading. Or I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do Cheryl's reading. It's, just, it's been five hours. I had, I had surgery today, and uh, so I'm not as keen. But normally, I'm more on the ball. How does Denver feel about you? Okay, so I'm so lucky to have Liz to help me out. I, it's a team effort. Oh, thank you, Monica. So nice to have a friend. I love that you're from a different part of the world. You're very welcome here. How does Denver feel about Cheryl? How does Denver feel about Cheryl? We got two cards already. We got the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords. And now we're going to shuffle one more. Ace of Wands is very powerful. Two of Swords is about making decisions. Come on. Wow, does Denver feel about Cheryl? Cards are very energetic. Knave of Pentacles. Okay. Lots of love from India. I love India. I've been to India. Oh, look at I'm getting kisses. I'm lucky. So these are your cards, Cheryl, for uh, how a uh, Denver is. Um, feels about you and we have the ace of wands which is a very powerful card indeed it is telling us that we are dealing with um a lot of creativity 
a lot of uh, uh, power and love and sensuality. We have two of swords, which is ruled by the moon in Libra. And um, hello, Bobby. Hello. Uh, and it's about the moon in Libra. That's what I have in the moon in Libra. And this card, it looks scary because it's two swords, right? But uh, the moon in Libra is uh, De Stevie Wonder sings what I just called to say I loved you. He says, oh, no, Libra moon. Like, you know, like he sings about the Libra moon in the song I just called to say I love you. So when you, um, when you think of Denver, like think of the Libra moon and Stevie Wonder, I just called to say I love you. And I see a lot of power and sensuality between you and Denver. Uh, but I also see the name of Pentacles. And the name of Pentacles is contemplating. He's thinking about stuff. And he's still like, I think he's still considering different options, maybe if it's in his career. And um, maybe he is uh, making decisions like now could be about even like making a major purchase in his life. Uh, it could be making some sort of, um, but it's something where he is having to contemplate. So he is in Denver is in a period of contemplation, really thinking maybe it's something because of the economic society in the world right now. But as for how he feels, um, thank you, Bobby, uh, how he feels about you. Uh, he feels you are a very sensual, very creative person. That was a dove fly by, by the way. Uh, he sees you as Lever Moon. You think of Stevie Wonder. I just called to say I love you, and making decisions and and trying to be clear on on what he truly wants. And sometimes you need to pull back a little bit before you go forward. And then the name of Pentacles says is that he is he's very much concerning things. He's discerning. He's like considering his options. Maybe even considering relocating. Uh, or trying a different venue of job, but he definitely has sensuality feelings towards you. But he has lots of things on his plate right now that he's thinking about. You know, maybe work, maybe um, could even be some health things he's thinking about or other responsibility. Is that okay, Cheryl? Do you like that reading? Yes, I love the company too. So that was our reading for Cheryl, but I think Cheryl disappeared. Yeah, King of the Hill. So Sophie, the most patient, sweetest uh, person of the night, is going to get her reading now. So are you what you? I think you posted your question already, Sophie. Sophie, I just posted Sh Cheryl and she disappeared. Anything Spirit wants me to know. So Sophie would like to know. Anything Spirit would like her to know. Okay. These are good readings because we really can get something. Thank you, Liz, for taking care of Monica. For getting some good advice. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm so worried. Beautiful reading. Thank you. I was so worried you didn't like it. I was like, oh. And I really care. I really care. I want to be everyone's friend. And I don't. I never take money. This is just um, love, light, and community. And people reaching out. We got people from all over the world here. We have broken hearted people. We have happy people. I just had an operation at the hospital today. Um, I've been online five hours now, and I, I've been having so much fun meeting everyone. So thank you, Cheryl. Good luck with, with Denver. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm D Gazelle Daily Cheryl. Uh, we have lots of animals, rescue animals, and um, I try to do daily reads. I'm getting stronger now after my operation, and uh, hopefully I'll be there every day. And you'll meet lots of people, cool people to get chat with. So this is for Sophie who's been so patient, anything that spirit wants Sophie to know.
Spirit likes these kind of readings. The star? Oh my gosh. We got the star. We got the seven of pentacles. And... The star. Oh, you got you got the star. One more. One more for Sophie. It's been so sweet. <gasps> the floral. Look at this. Look how cute the floral is. What spirit is telling you? This is a wonderful reading. I'm I'm really enjoying this one. So first of all, we have the fool. So this is saying that you should be lighthearted and have fun and just know that, that, you know, spirit has your back and that it'd be adventurous and uh, just know that life, you know, there's a song I really love by Andy Grammer. I talk about him a lot. He's my favorite artist, music artist. I also love Jacob Lee, but he's a little darker in his music. But um, uh, Andy Grammer song, Naive. Um, I'd recommend you listen to that song, uh, Sophie, if you know that one, um, Andy Grammer, Naive. And it's just about saying that, Lord, help me, please. You know, if I'm not supposed to be, uh, see good in everybody, but you're just going to have to call me Naive. It's just about just the beauty of seeing the good in people. It's the beauty of not even going there, saying, thinking and negative, negative. And that's where you're at. It's just like just embracing the goodness and love of other people, not worrying about agendas or time or our geography, geography, geographical things. We're just like we're friends here. You and I are friends. Who cares that I live on the other side of the world or whatever, you know, like I had an operation today, but I'm home now. That's all that matters. Um, you know, just think about living in the present and just being enjoying being naive be allow yourself to be naive and allow yourself to feel the freedom of love and uh the beauty of butterflies and and counting the legs on on ladybugs and um just really really embrace that and then the next next spirit message uh has for you sophie is that the seven of pentacles is telling us to uh, you know, reap or harvest and know when, know when to call it breaks and know when to uh, continue to work harder. So if you've been working a lot lately, maybe take a little break. If you've been taking a little bit more time and watching, uh, watching YouTube and hanging out with the coach, maybe it's time to, you know, plant some seeds or uh, get, get some work going, get some kitchen cover organizing, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you can see little bug, little bug heads popping up in the background. Um, but it's saying that it's time to harvest, reap what you sow. So all the kindness that you've given out there is going to come back to you in threefold. And then finally, you have the star, which is one of the most beautiful cards ever you could have. Especially when you're asking the question, what does spirit want you to know? And spirit wants you to know that you're very, very loved and that your dreams are coming true. And that in the Rider Waite deck, you have actually have Aphrodite's dove is perched up in the corner. And I have two little doves behind me. I'll try to show you them. There we go. Two of my two little love doves behind me. And uh, there, and you're saying you're, you're very loved and you're achieving balance of, of love and spirituality as well as living in the practical world of, of getting stuff done. And um, you, you're, you're, you're doing a great job and you're, you're staying naive. So think of if, if you get a chance, look up that song by Andy Grammer, Naive. And that is the message that I see Spirit wants you to know. And then we're also going to draw you an Oracle card. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They're all rescue doves. So this card is for Sophie. And this Oracle card is for you too, Sophie. So what does Spirit want Sophie to know? Let's see what we got here. Blue Jay. The time is right to assess and master your abilities. 
do so with humility and control. That's your message from spirit. Let's see what the Blue Jay has to say for you. Okay, Sophie, this is for you. It just shows what a kind person you're awaiting so patiently. The energy of the Blue Jay which Liz is going to love because she loves Blue Jays just like I do. I just recently rescued a baby Blue Jay with Liz's help. Uh, the energy of the Blue Jay invites you to step forward and uncover your mastery. What is the need of support to realize your goal? This messenger reminds you that there are many paths to one end. That there's many times when we need to access a variety of skills and behaviors. Some more forceful than others, some more passive. True mastery lies in the integration of all the qualities, skills, and traits you possess and using them appropriately. Look at the parts of yourself you have disowned, disavowed, or denied, and then invite them to return. True mastery is found in wholeness and truth. And your affirmation, Sophie? I reclaim all parts of myself and open to receive my highest potential. What a beautiful reading. Oh, Blue Jay, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> my mom used to do that. I'm from a very cold climate as well. I'm from Northern Canada. And my mom used to cut up chicken hot dogs for the Blue Jays. They're big birds, big, very intelligent birds. And Baby Blue, Liz, you were so right. Um, blue baby blue, I'd say call him Tom. Uh, some friends call him Tom. Uh, he comes and visits me every single day since I released him. And I released him how many months ago? Every morning he calls for me. And my neighbors too, because we released him like everyone in the apartment went out and stood on the sidewalk. And then we went in a little few more steps into the woods because across the street from the woods and then there's the water and uh, there's big, big trees. And, um, So who's next? Who's up next? He loves me. I love him. You're up? Okay, Mambri. What's your question? All the way from India. Ooh, that's a tough one. We have a lot of friends from Australia. Uh, we have a lot of people that you can talk to. Um, they will friend you and everything. Um, uh, Eileen, she's from Australia. And we also have Bobby, uh, Patty, Patty. Yeah, I didn't want to say her last name. Uh, Patty, Patty's from Australia. And uh, Eileen's from Australia. And uh, if you want to talk to someone about Australia, if they are in the room, uh, they'll be able to give you all the ins and outs. And so you applied for your work visa? Oh, thank you, Bobby. Okay, N.O., you can be next. You're next, N.O. Study visa. And when does it begin? What term? Next September? I just hope the borders are open. That's my only worry. I don't want to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with, I'm not supposed to say, but, you know, with the epidemic in the world today, if they're still taking foreign exchange students from different countries. I don't know if Canada is. I don't think we are. January. Oh. I want to say yes, but I'm afraid. You know that it's not your fault if you don't get in January because it's because of the virus, right? So long as you know, it, it may not be in January. It might be postponed, but we'll get a reading for you. So we'll 
Okay, so far we got two cards. Okay, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Emperor. Ooh, okay. So we have the Emperor here. This is a Divine Masculine card. This shows that you're very smart, and you're very intelligent, and you're very confident, and that you definitely qualify and deserve to get the work visa. So 100% you deserve it. So I believe you qualify for it, and you deserve it. The Ten of Cups card says that you, it's a make-a-wish card. So it's like you can really um, make this happen. But do you know what we have here? We have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords means the anxiety. That means you're going to be really, really worried. And what that means to me is that you are going to get your, your student visa, but it might be delayed. It may not be in January. It might be in May or later time. You have stress. Yeah, this card says stress. This, this card here says stress. But this says yes, yes. You will get your visa, but there might be delay. There might be delay. So let's get you an oracle card to find out more about whether you will get your visa for Australia. You got the eagle. And the eagle says you are learning all the aspects of spiritual connection and reaching new heights. As you begin to soar with eagle, you're able to reach new levels of spiritual understanding, knowledge, and connection. The eagle feather indicates a great spiritual awakening is happening or that is just on the horizon. The power and grace of eagle is a steady reminder that all calls demand personal responsibility. As you begin to rise your vibration, your perspective is important to notice that you see from this higher place. Use this vantage point to bring your visioning into life. Hold on as eagle takes you to your highest point yet. Know that your divine energy of great spirit watches over you as well as eagle as too. And your affirmation, I am awaking now to my power, knowledge, and vision. So that's a very beautiful reading. Please keep in touch. Yes, law of attraction. Beautiful. So, no, what would you like? What what question does no have? Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Hello to India from Canada. Yes, I hope so too. General future reading, okay? I jumped out, the King of Swords right away. Five of Wands. Four cups, okay. So first of all, this shows that this is the time for you. Don't be jumpy, you're bouncing. Uh, this is the time. I keep on getting that card on my own deck. Oh wow! Well, maybe it's you really identify with with the energy. The King of Swords is very wonderful. He's very just, and he's very precise. And he's very, um, very intelligent, very intelligent and analytical. And he knows he takes his sword and he just cuts away nonsense. He just focuses on things. So he's very smart. He's he's not flighty like me. He's smart and focused. So this is the general reading is like you're focused. 
The five of wands means that you could have some people trying to cause some conflict in your life, but they might be just teasing you. You might find people that are just trying to like, do you hear the expression stir the pot? You know, there's some people that might be just like teasing you or bullying you or, you know, because, because of your success, they're jealous of you. And that's not very nice because that might make you want to, you know, spend more time alone. But you have to realize that some people are jealous of your success and that you should always be true to yourself. And uh, with the Four of Cups, it can mean sometimes you can get a little bored or stir crazy, which is common for this time of year where we're all kind of stuck in, you know, with, with quarantines and not being able to travel. So we're supposed to look to see that there's a lots of things in our own backyard that we can do that are very fun and adventurous that we can learn new things and new exciting things. Make the best and most of your time right now. Hello, Wending. And uh, make sure that you uh, allow opportunities to present themselves to you and not just focus on one thing because there's new things coming in uh, to your life that are very beautiful. And so again, with the five of wands, I, get, I see some, some tension. It could be like just, it could be just banter or blather or like people just being jealous of you, bullies, you know, saying things about you, but take the high road and not let them get to you because you are the king of swords. You can see above all that and you don't need, um, you know, anyone's permission to be you. And it, it's a very powerful card of just being very analytical and getting goals uh, set and achieved. And for your Oracle card. So please feel free to subscribe to Gazelle Tarot channel as well as uh, like our live stream. It really helps us out. And I, I do tell I'm going to be back to doing daily tarot every day. You just saw a spirit. Woo. So for you know, uh, this is your message. Osprey. That's a very beautiful bird, very powerful bird, very intelligent bird. This is your card, Osprey. And the message is, Osprey bird swoops in and delights you with a message of success and abundance. This divine message encourages us to use our own unique skills to provide what is needed and share it with others. It shows us that there's an abundance available right now in the perfect form. Be sure to make your priorities clear and set your heights, excuse me, set your sights because now is the time to jump into something feet first. Offspray supports yourself with success and encourages you to nurture yourself and serve your family as well. Keep an open mind as you do, for it is certain that your view of abundance may shift and evolve. Affirmation, I am grateful for the divine abundance in my life. So what a beautiful card this is. Thank you very much, No. Thank you. This has been wonderful. I've been having such a fun time tonight. Thank you. Please don't be a stranger. Do, um, keep commenting on our daily reads. And um, we have some Australian friends, too, for uh, Manjeet. Uh, if he wants to know more about Australia, we have regular birdies who watch that, are, that send me mail from Australia. I have mail from Australia here. Um, that will help teach him about Australia before he gets to go on his visa run to to school. So who's next now? 
we lost track because I think my mom, I don't know if Liz is still here. Okay, Bobby, you're up next. What would you like to know? You're fun. You're a welcome addition to Gazelle Tarot. What did Maddie think about me today? Okay. What did Maddie think of Bobby today? You got three cards all at once. I think I'm just going to take one because that's too many to take all at once. <laughs> we got one jumped out. We got the moon, but the moon has a bunny rabbit on it. So it's mysterious. Secrets could be secret crushes. You like rabbits? Hello, trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> Three of Cups. Oh my heavens, Bobby. Look at this. We got the Three of Cups. We got the Sun card. And we have the Moon card. The Three of Cups is a cup of of a uh, party of like friends getting together and laughing and having a good time the sun and the moon so maddie thinks the sun and the moon of you um but uh, the three of cups uh is a card of, of friendship of fun of parties of getting together of uh social events which is really hard to at this time of year you know with things going on but uh, i think i think definitely she sees friendship and fun uh, the sun means that you made her laugh and that she enjoyed your company today. And with the moon, it shows that there's something mysterious. There's something like maybe she has a crush on you. There's some unknown truth out there because that the moon is full of secrets. So maybe she has a crush on you. And uh, But you made her laugh today. And, of course, the Three of Cups is a strong card of friendship. There you go. That's great. Well, let's get you an Oracle card and see what else we can have. What did Maddie think of you today? Okay, here's our card. <gasps> the White Eagle. For the second time the white eagle made an appearance to tonight. This is the white eagle. It's hard to see. If you when I film during the day, I don't need a I don't need a light. But there's the white eagle. It's kind of can see him. But it's a white eagle though. That's cool. That's this very special card. When the animal is is uh, white, like a white swan or um, the white owl. It's different than the like, like the gray owl and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, we have a dove here. A dove, and here's a good omen. Hey, sweetheart. It's, this is uh, Anderson Coo Cooper. Uh, so, White Eagle. And this is your message. The White Eagle delivers messages, and now is the time to come into alignment with your soul's unique purpose. We are being called to awaken at this time and receive our divine inheritance. It's time to let go of fear. Move ahead and step into the power of your soul. Whether you're called to service through healing work or to service to humanity, see your unique energy and contribution as vital to the shift taking place. Expand out from where you stand and see if you can use your gifts to assist and guide those around you. Your affirmation is, I wake in my soul's unique and divine purpose. So that is very, very beautiful. So we're surrounded by doves. And you got, um, we have three doves here actually right now. There's another one here. This is the third 
So that is an absolute I read the Sun and Moon card, yes. And the White Eagle is your animal card. So that's a beautiful reading. That's a, they're laughing doves. That's their name. They're, they're turtle doves, but they laugh. <laughs> So is there anyone left that would like a reading? Is there any uh oh we get the we get the we get the, we get the singing going? Thank you very much, Bobby. Please subscribe and keep in touch. You were you're a lot of fun. It's, uh, please join our chats. We're gonna be doing them more often and uh, please subscribe and let us know how you're doing and and uh, we can connect. You make friends in the chat with other people. That's very common here. It's wonderful. I'm so thankful for Liz. And I'm thankful for the... Oh, thank you. Marcia. Yes, Marcia. Definitely you. You're up awful late. You're, you're a local person. <laughs> I, I had my uh, surgery... And I couldn't sleep, and I thought, well, I'll just go online for a few hours. And now I'm here five hours and 24 minutes, and I'm having great time. So what would you like to know, Marcia? How's your husband doing? Marcia is one of our regular birdies. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure they're very difficult. I'm very, very sorry. You're in our prayers. You're in all our birdies' prayers. Oh, Felicity woke up. Well, I just came on. I was lonely. I, I here by myself I thought I might as well go do some streaming and here I am five hours and a half later and I'm still having fun so I think this is what I've been called to do I'm going to make a special thank you uh, video uh, tomorrow for everyone who prayed for me for my operation I'm so, I still have my IV bandages on and everything from the hospital so is there a special question you would like to ask Marcia Oh, man, that's rough. Yeah, that's very rough. Yeah, you should get help. You need some days to yourself, too. My mom went through that a lot with my dad. I helped when my dad was in the hospital. I stayed with my dad. And um, um, Uh, she was exhausted because she just didn't want anyone else to help. But it's very important to let help just so you can get a breast, you know, some time to yourself and and rest up. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Black Lives Matter, yes. You almost need maybe even a second nurse so then you can have more breaks. If you, you can get um, compassion fatigue, like you're, you run yourself down so then you get sick. That can happen. And that's why you're waking up in the middle of the night. And you're talking to me, which is cool. But, you know, I'd rather you be getting your rest. So can I do a reading or an oracle card? I'm happy to see you. I saw you earlier. This new, yes, for sure. Would Marcia like a reading or a, a oracle card? We're going to do a last call now because I've been online five hours and 30 minutes and I had surgery today. So we have Marcia and Vishnu. And, and is there anyone else? Oh, there's another person, Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Welcome.
six people left in the chat. Eventually, we're going to have to call it a night because it's... Oh, your name is... When times get better. Oh, yes, when times get better, Marcia. Yes, you may receive an oracle, Adriana. We'll make sure you get your... Oh, yeah! Good morning. Good morning. I was just telling everyone how much I love you. And I, uh, when I had my surgery, I had uh, the locket with Ruby's hair uh, right in my pocket. So uh, thank you. Thank you. I was going to make a proper video uh, thanking uh, Ru Ruth and Ruby for uh, their beautiful video they dedicated for me. And uh, I've been a bit out of sorts. I'm covered in doves right now, which is a happy thing. Um, but, uh, you would love to have an oracle. Okay. Well, Kindred Spirit is my mentor. So she, she taught me. So we're going to have to give an oracle card to Kindred Spirit as a, as a, because she's, she, I love Kindred Spirit and Ruth and Ruby are my best friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See the sweet not a reading for five hours. <laughs> now we're almost at we're heading towards six. I just came on for a couple hours. I told everyone midnight. Now it's like two in the morning. <laughs> so this is for Ruth. An oracle card for Ruth. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby's new to our a new subscriber. You should check out Ruth and Anne. You could ch check out um, Kindred Spirit. She makes beautiful readings. She's my mentor, Bobby. Yeah, I think you'll love her too. Thank you. So for Ruth and Ruby, what is your oracle from the Divine Feather? Divine Feather Oracle. I can just feel the energy. They're warming up. Literally, the cards are warming up. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Look. It's a cardinal. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I didn't think I looked good. I, I thought I, I still have all my IVs and all that stuff. You know, but I was like, thank you. Others. But you got the cardinal. Yes, Vishnu, you can. But we're going to re... I, this is a dove feather. I'm not wearing a feather in my hair. This is an actual dove. <laughs> So Ruth and Ruby got the cardinal. I mean, that's very appropriate. The message. And a song. Anderson Cuckoo is going to sing. Examine the opportunities in your life where a path of leadership may be opening up for you. Moving forward requires self-awareness and confidence in your unique qualities and gifts. Feel assured of all your importance on this journey. Cardinal is calling you to see yourself in the new light. Use that light to move forward while you lead others to do the same. Well, you do that every day, Ruth. Cardinal bestows a special message of self-worth. Choose to claim this right as a truth. And your affirmation reads, I embrace and open a new opportunities with confidence. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, Marcia. It's Ruby in bird form. I know. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, the cardinal is is the symbol of of, of special uh, souls that have passed into the next dimension. So this is this is Ruby. Nice red ruby, but in bird form. If 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 Anderson Cooper was well, a horse, she'd be red. No, how does that work? <laughs> if if Ruby was a dove, she'd be a red dove. But if she's a cardinal, she's gonna be a red cardinal. <laughs> ruby birdie. I haven't told many people this, Ruth. Um, but you know. Diego, he's my digin. He's Sunshine and and uh, Pumpkin had a baby. Sunshine's my big giant peace pigeon, and uh, Pumpkin's my little tiny gray dove. And they had a baby named Diego. And he's here somewhere. 
<laughs> he's very big. And he's supposed to be sterile because he's a digin. But he married Angel, who was four years old, born October 7th. And they had a baby, and I have the ultrasound of the baby, and the baby's scheduled to be born any day now. Like, tomorrow, even. So I don't know if the baby will hatch. We shouldn't count our doves before they hatch, or digins before they hatch, but um, I just wanted to share that news with you. It's a very special bird because science says that Diego is sterile, but that the egg is fertilized with a digin. I can tell by looking at the embryo. I'm going to post it online, too, so you can see the ultrasound. Another uh, god birdie for you. I know, I know, a baby, but a half half peace pigeon and a half dove. And their baby got married to another dove. And they're all rescue birds or oops babies, as we say. Or a little card from Marcia. Marcia is on one of our regular viewers. I think I met Marcia and Gregory Scott. Marcia, uh, the kindred spirit is Ruth and Ruby. I'm sure you're familiar with her because everyone loves Ruth and Ruby. Mercy is um, going through a lot right now. She's looking after her sick husband and uh, being in the home care and just moved. And um, so lots of love to Kindred Spirit and Ruth and Ruby. Uh, and please also pray, pray for Marcia. She's going through so much. It's such an honor to see you here, Ruth. Oh, I love you so much. Sheila was here earlier. I've been really sick and I have a story, a story time to tell about my operation. And um, I, they couldn't give me anesthetic, so I had to do it with the anesthetic. <laughs> I screamed three times. So this card is from Mar Marcia. I know, I know, it was very ouch. Card from Marcia. Oracle card for our dear friend Marcia. He's waiting for the energy to come out. It was Ruth who taught me to shuffle like this. Ruth of Kindred Spirit. So anyone who likes me, you'll like Ruth probably more. So please subscribe to... Um, Kindred spirit, too, if you want uh, a wonderful start to your day. Marcia, we got for you the white owl. The wisdom and messages of the divine are within you. How beautiful is that? Yes, you'll be next, Vishnu. These are regular uh, viewers and subscribers. So that's why um, I'm talking so much to them. But I hope you are one day, too. So you've got the white owl, which is beautiful. So here, this is for you, Marcia. The white owl awakens a keener sense of living, listening, seeing, sensing, and knowing. This divine messenger encourages you to follow your intuition and allows those senses to expand as you do so. Our ability to connect to the divine messenger is a skill that needs to be used for the highest good. Now is the time to pay attention to the messages you're receiving, whether through synchronicity, repetitious thoughts, or direct revelations. Follow the guidance that asks your only for follow the guidance that asks only for the best and highest goods of all. And the energies are intuition, wisdom, and knowing. And your affirmation is I honor. My messages and guidance with the divine that arises within me. And I think we already know what that's about. Um, it's, it's about you taking care of your husband and being the home care and getting a nurse come in. I think maybe, you know, maybe get a few more hours or, or get another nurse, nurse come in. So you can have a bit more time to yourself to rest. So you can enjoy your time with your husband a bit more. Because I think you're really tired. 
but you have the white owls as your blessing so that you can't get much better than the white owl. The white owl and the cardinal are like the most powerful cards in the in the divine deck. So we saw two of them in a row. Okay. Thank you so much, Marcia. I hope you like that. Uh, Vishnu, this is for you. Yeah, this is for you. Oh, popped out already. We get the kingfisher. The kingfisher for you. So please subscribe to uh, Gazelle Tarot and uh, like our video if you like our video. And um, we are, we're going to get back into doing our daily videos. I just, just had an operation, so I've been uh, a little out of commission. Looking up the Kingfisher here for Vishnu. And this is what we have. Yes, you're very tired. We love you very, very much. Well, Ruth taught me to shuffle like that. So, because it lets the energy choose it. Like, then just, you know, everyone shuffles their own unique way, but Ruth suggested I take that way. So, uh, but this is the message we have for you of uh, this new mensch. And she says, ma'am, please, oracle card for me. And this is your message. Kingfisher message dives into awareness using the promise of abundance and prosperity, urging you to have faith and take the plunge. The divine messenger is a reminder that prosperity comes in many forms. Big thank you to you too. I love you, Marcia. The most likely you have, Kurt, is yes. Can, Ruth is right. Urging you to have faith and take the plunge. This divine message is a reminder and prosperity comes in many forms. New love, warmth, opportunities are among your favorite gifts. The, the feather message also indicates luck is with you. Stop trying so hard to create and just allow the natural flow of abundance to come to you. Prepare by being open to receive and gifts of prosperity are assured. Are you okay with that one? Is that all right? Do you like that? Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I've lost track. Who is the next person uh, who asked for an oracle card? Uh, Adriana. Did we do Adriana yet? Is Adriana here? Oh, that name. This is for you, Adriana. Oracle card for Adriana. We were doing tarot readings for five hours, so now we're kind of just doing oracle readings. Yes, thank you. I had a moderator, but I think she went to bed. Whoops. The herring hopped out. It says, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. Looking up the herring. I've been online almost six hours now. There we go. Here's our herring. The herring message weighs into your world to encourage you to embrace your unique path. Let go of the pressure to conform to unwritten rules that might be keeping you stuck. As you begin to steady yourself and find a different way around the old and familiar patterns, you will feel more certain that you can indeed stand on your own in this way. Your unique viewpoint can assist others in resolving issues. And can bring harmony to others. The power of the herring urges you to look into your surrounding world and reflect with a patient, loving heart. Let go of judgments and allow your personal path to unfold. Your affirmation is, I now embrace and accept my true life's purpose. So perfect. I'm so glad you like it. You have a sleeping dove on my shoulder. That's a good sign too. I'm so glad you liked it. 
I just have a kitten peek as a graduate. Aww. Darlene. Hello, Darlene. How are you? Please subscribe to Kazelle Tarot. And uh, we would love to have you as part of our community. We don't charge money. We just work for love, light, and prayers. So we're going to draw a card for Darlene now. And then we're going to have to go to bed pretty soon, guys. Thank you very much. But please subscribe to our channel and um, like our video. Oh, you also asked for Oracle? Oh, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and get to bed. <laughs> I don't want to. I'll, I'll do Darlene and then I'll do uh, Prega Joshi. So I just, I've been online for almost six hours and I just, I had a hospital today, operation, so I'm a little sleepy. So this is for um, what, Darlene, Darlene, this is for you. Almost had one. Oh, Bobby Hill, you're still here. Oh, you were here before, okay. I thought I remembered your name. Also your icon. So it's very nice. Welcome. I'm going to start writing them down with pen and paper like Legendary Tarot. But my moderator, I think, went to bed, I think. Did she? No, no. She's still around. It's hard work. It is hard work. We've been doing this for almost six hours, and you see lots of names go. Oh, no. I love it. I love it. It's my pleasure. And tomorrow, I just want to get a good rest so I can do good tarot readings tomorrow morning. I was in the hospital, and I'm I'm having fun. I'm healing by doing tarot with you guys. So this is for you, darling. You got the hummingbird. Hummingbird. I just have a hard time saying no because I enjoy it so much. My longest stream was 10 hours and 45 minutes, and uh, Liz was there with me the whole time. I'm like, oh, there's one more one reading, one more reading. But tomorrow I want to do a special thank you for everyone who prayed for me during my um, operation. A little bit of a story time. So here's the hummingbird. This is the feather. And this is your oracle, darling. The hummingbird messenger singles a time of new joy and accomplishments in your life. It is important to let go of any burdens or negativity so that you may fully receive the gifts that are on their way. Past desires, dreams, and new opportunities are now servicing. Hummingbird signals the time is right to embrace all these blessings. Slow down, take time to enjoy the process, and sip the sweetness of this upcoming period. Lightness of being is the gift of the hummingbird. And the affirmation is, I am light, joyful, and free. I embrace the sweetness of life. So this is very beautiful, Darlene. I hope you really enjoyed it. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, with her little love for you. It's like, oh, Anderson Cuckoo Cooper. Thank you, Darlene. Please subscribe and leave messages for us. We would like to get to know you better. Say, I don't know, sweetheart. We, we, we've called for you so many times and you keep on missing you. I've been on for six hours now. Um, I owe a few other people some readings. Uh, we're just doing oracle cards now. So, because it's, it's two in the morning where I am. So, I'm really, I'm getting, I had a surgery. So, I've. But, um, okay, okay. Um, uh, I did promise, uh, Praggy, Joshi. Okay, I'll do you right after a book of enchantments. You're next, but Praggy, Joshi for, uh, um, is that okay? So Praggy goes first and then book of enchantments. 
This is for Praggy Oracle Card. We got the hummingbird again. Do you want a different one? Yes. <laughs> the hummingbird hopped up again. The hummingbird energy didn't want to leave Darlene. Oh, here we go. You get the flicker. That's a woodpecker. This is the message. The divine flicker is a master drummer, bringing awareness to what is now growing, moving, and beating a new path in your life. This will be presented as a fluid adaptive shift. Now is the time to examine the past, patterns, and experiences during these shifts. Do you resist the followings of natural rhythms of change? Self-limits are generally our most formidable hurdles. Use the great gifts of the flicker to help you through any resistance. Trust that your change is a sign of positive movement forward. And the affirmation is, I trust in the infinite rhythms of the flow of life. Book of Enchantment is next. You want a yes or no question? Okay. 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 We're going to have to cut off in 10 minutes, okay? Because then I'll be streaming for six hours, and I think that's that's cool. Thank you very much. Okay. You guys keep on top of it. And uh, no more. This will cut off now. I've, I've cut off. Thank you for liking and subscribing. That means a lot to me. So, um, uh, list. Uh, list. Over. Now, so if you're here now, you're going to get an Oracle card. If you're not here now, then you wait another time. Okay, so uh, Book of Enchantment, which is, uh, we're doing a reading for them now. They want to know if they're working too hard or they're putting enough work in. I think we're going to use this, this beautiful Oracle card here and just feel what energy comes out for you. We'll work it out together as a team. The White Eagle. It says the connection to divine guidance is within you. This is a beautiful one. So do I need to worry? No. No. Would you like to hear the oracle reading? Are you doing enough? This this is what the eagle has to say to you. You listen to the eagle's message because there must be some, something in the message that comes to you. But no, things are very, very good for you. The white eagle delivers the message that is now is the time to come into alignment with your soul's unique purpose. We are all being called to awaken at this time and receive our divine inheritance. It's time to let go of fear, move ahead, and step into the power of your soul. Whether you're called to service through healing work or the service to humanity, see your unique energy and contribution as vital to the shift now taking place. Expand out from where you stand and see if you can use the gifts to assist and guide those around you. And the affirmation is, I've awakened my soul's unique and divine purpose. I think you do need to take a break. I think all of us do with so much but you're on your wow you're you're doing great uh liz is my my moderator and my co-tarot reader on our channel and she's saying 
uh, that you should take a rest, but that is a beautiful oracle for you. Good night, darling. That was a pleasure having you. Uh, Michael? Who are you asking, Liz? Oh, good. Liz is taking care of the Book of Enchantments. Michael's here. Okay, Michael. Thank you, Book of Enchantments. You don't have to worry, but you do need to take some time out. But you saw that view of the White Eagle. That's a very, very divine card. But if you rest, you'll be fine. But rest is in, is in the, literally in the cards for you. So, Michael, this is an oracle card for you. This is for you, Michael. Does Audrey want me to come over to her house? I do tarot reading story in the early, but now after six hours, I have I had hospital. I had an operation today in the hospital day day surgery, so um, I'm getting a little tired. Um, so I want to give you my best. So I'm just using oracle cards for now, but I was using tarot for like five hours. So please join I uh, Gazelle Daily Tarot, where I'll read your tarot um, every day, uh, and subscribe to our channel. And so, Michael, does Audrey want you to come to over to her house? That's a, that's a that's a tough one. We got the dove. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is divine quality. And then the doves start cooing. I think I'll read you the oracle message, but I really think you should message her before you go to her house. So I'll, get, I'll do this, but at the same time, I don't want you to surprise her. The dove delivers a message of peace, love, and blessings. Now is the perfect time to open up a deeper sense of tranquility and balance. Have you felt in harmony with your world and with your life? Are you holding on to anything that's keeping you from feeling at peace? Dove floats down to share the message of the serenity that lies within. Stop and take a breath. Connect to the energy and be open to receive. Once you come back to this place of inner peace, you will feel a greater connection between your inner world that surrounds you, and that is a blessing indeed. And the affirmation is, peace is within and all around me. I accept this and share it with others. Energy is peace, happiness, and serenity. Oh, no, you never do that. <laughs> I, think, I think you should message her. As long as it's wherever country you're in, it's not a, it's 2 a.m. where I'm at. So as long as it's not an unrealistic hour, you got the dove card. That's the love card. But as long as you make a, arrange it first, I think she'd be willing as long as she doesn't have to get up early in the morning. But you got a love card. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I, uh, I've been reading for six hours. I had an operation today, and I was reading tarot for five. And now I'm doing oracle cards. That we should. I, I, I say she should say yes, but I think you have to ask first. I'm, all, I'm just a tarot reader in Canada. <laughs> the, the, the energy says yes. I mean, we have doves on my back. Dove. This was your card, the dove card. Here's another dove. So I say yes, but just make sure you let them ask first. And I don't think you'll be rejected. And if she does reject you, it's just because she has something to do in the morning. And you sound American when you say that. Which means she'd be down. I think she would be down for it, but I think you'd have to message her first. So let it be known that Gazelle Tarot said messenger first. 
but you got the dev card. You don't know, sometimes ladies aren't feeling well or the certain times of the month, that kind of stuff. Hello. But uh, that message is, is very positive because the dove card, which is a very loving card. So, Michael, I'd say she would be down for that. But just please call her first or text her first and get permission. Thanks. And let us know how it goes. I just really care. I just don't want an accident to happen. Something like a guard dog gets you or you get arrested or something. Um, we've closed. We closed the list. I'm so sorry. We closed it a few times now. I've been online six hours. But um, I promise um, I'll, I'll probably be on tomorrow night. And also I do daily reads. So is there anyone else um, that came in before the close button? Nick, Nicola, where do we close? Michael's here. Liz, are you here? Charlene's taken care of. Sanya. Kyo, Kinder Sphere is still here. Oh, well, Kinder Sphere is here. Yep. Well, should we do some more? We've reached six hours. Or should we call it a night? You guys tell me I'm too passive. I'll be here all. I, I've done. I've done ten hours and forty-five minutes with Liz at my side. I just can't say no. You make the choice, Liz. You should rest or all. Okay, Kinder Spirit. Kinder Spirit's my mentor. Uh, I have lots of little doves here, sending their love to you. Another little dove here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll be on tomorrow. I loved, absolutely loved your reading that you made for me. It made me cry. I listened to it like four times. And uh, I feel so bad about Rachel. And that's one reason why I didn't post right away. Because, um, you know, like I just, I had a surgery. But Rachel had, uh, you know, her hose taken. And I, you know, I just felt kind of. I felt really bad about that. I still do. Wow, we ended off with a troll tonight. Imagine. We had, we had a few trolls tonight. Some were funnier than others. The fashion trash bag guy was my favorite. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I like the funny ones. Yeah. Okay, then. Good night. Good night, Rose and Ruby. I love you so much. Good night, Liz. Uh, Fertility of the Land of Truth and Spirit. If you're still here, please subscribe to my friends. Uh, Ruth uh, of Kindred Spirit Tarot uh, is my mentor, and I strongly recommend her because uh, she inspires me every day to be a better person. And uh, also... Uh, fertility. She she posts sometimes. Sometimes you post your wildlife. Lots of love to everyone. Good night, and I'll be back online as soon as I can be. And watch for our daily reads and my story time tomorrow. I love you all, and good night, sweet hearts. I love you. Thank you. Much love to Ruth and Ruby and Liz and everyone uh, that belongs to our little birdie club here, and. Uh, uh, peace and love be with you all. Thank you very, very much for making this special day for me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, trash bag guy. <laughs> he asked me if I could do a reading with a trash bag on my head. Because <laughs> he was in the trash bag fashion. <laughs> Oh, that hurt my that hurt my incision. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I love you. <laughs>
She lives is cool. Oh, I, I'm a Catholic. I'm not a Wiccan, but Wiccans are welcome. Good night. Good night, Ron. Thanks for the smile. We're just having fun here with you. Thanks for making a smile. Good night, Mercy. I love you. We're going to sign off now. It's hard to do. But, um... <laughs> well, like Liz said, you need my permission first. Just like Michael before he goes visit his friend Andre. <laughs> Sweet dreams, everyone. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, everyone, for participating. We'll see you soon. Please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to getting to know you more. Love and prayer and sweet dreams. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>